Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. And I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street. Do you know what? I've got such lovely positivity in my ear this morning. Literally like whoop whoop. Uh, do you know why? Because I've got the original Sewing Street team. I feel like I'm back to day one at school. Day one at school. The first day we launched Sewing Street was me, Paul and Joe. And it's the three of us in today. I can't remember the last, three, last time it was us three. It was probably back in the old studio over a year ago. So we've got a really, really lovely show today. Um, I've literally even got, look, a mimosa. <laughs> no, it's not a cocktail. It is, Kat left some, she texted me a lovely audio note saying, me and John had some soup, there's some soup left over. There's um, some orange juice, there's some saurine. We've got in this morning and there's like half a carton of this really strange, <laughs> <laughs> fruit juice that me and Joe can't work out what it is but it's really nice it's really nice hi Julie hi everybody right so Jules is here as well today and Jules as you can tell we're doing a bit of a, a mermaid theme uh, it's going to be amazing we've been taking photographs of Joe in the mermaid suit this morning we've had a right laugh in fact I've got to show it you now because it's hilarious uh, we had him modelling on the desk. Paul, Paul has had a knee operation. So I did try and get him up on the desk, but he says, no, I'm not risking it with my knee. So instead, we got um, our nimble Joe look at him with his mermaid blanket. Oh, look at him with his um, dingle hopper, a.k.a. a fork to brush his hair. And the, I just love the mermaid uh, the mermaid doll as well. It's going to be brilliant. So that's going to be coming up later on. I'll show it you um, as we go. This is Jules's daughter. Oh, it's so cute. So my goddaughter, she's turning seven um, on the 15th. And this would be perfect. She absolutely adores everything mermaids. So if these two things go missing after the show, um, don't come calling me. <laughs> <laughs> um, come say hello anyway, we're on Facebook Live today, so come and say hello, starting with the early bird. Now, keeping with this lovely sort of pastel theme, we've got all of these buttons. So, I'm getting fed up of the doom and gloom. It was minus two this morning. Paul's windscreen was not only frozen on the outside, it was also frozen on the inside. 
Um, so I think we just need a bit of colour and a bit of spring. Uh, these are beautiful, aren't they? Big pack of buttons. I remember uh, Rebecca Reed showed me a picture of her craft room and she had all of these buttons all lined up on, a, on her shelf and they just look lovely as well as obviously being very, very useful. So you're getting two tubs of the, uh, the trim, it's assorted colours and assorted size buttons, which is great, isn't it? Because we all collect buttons, but maybe they're just like the boring ones that you get on cardigans, whereas these are so beautiful and bright for spring and summer. Uh, you're also getting the two packs of wooden beads. The one of them is like lovely um, ice creams, cakes. That one says happy birthday. And then this one, you've got bicycles, you've got um, a sailboat, you've got a little moped in there and we're dropping the price as it is the early bird so your price per button pack how much is your price per button pack now five pounds 76 divided by four if my maths is correct is um um i, I don't know my maths is the point i need help from the voices in my ear Oh, you were ruining the magic then. We're at £1.44 a pack if my maths are correct. £1.44 per pack of buttons. And I was actually doing a bit of a research this morning. Let me find it. Right. And on Pinterest and, and online, there are so many different ways of using buttons. So I found this blog that was 26 innovative and beautiful button craft projects. So you can do a thing called a button bowl. Have you seen this before where you get like a paper mache? So you do it with the blue um, and then you can make yourself a button bowl. Imagine doing a lovely Easter bowl that you keep all your Easter treats in with these. You could make quick bookmarks that'd be lovely wouldn't it bookmarks i've got wall art here i've got christmas tree decorations <gasps> this is cool plain pair of shoes jazz them up for easter and for spring with a happy birthday one maybe birthday shoes or flip flops just using a few of them on flip flops oh um what else is on here fridge magnets necklaces bangles um, cuffs. Yesterday on Jewelry Maker we were working with leather actually. You could add buttons onto cuffs. Um, oh, a little bit of cupcake art. That'd be perfect, especially for the birthday one. You've got birthday theme buttons here, which you could also paint and decorate. Headbands, we've got um, flower bouquets, garlands, fun frames, bags. If you've got a bag, you could embellish your bags. Um, I've got paperweights woven coasters, a button tray, this is cool. It's almost a bit like how you would do decoupage, is it? That looks amazing. Just gluing them, I suppose, at the bottom of, um, at the bottom of, of a tray. T-shirts, clothes, hairpins, multi-bidders on this. I love this, an embroidery clock. Those of you that are brand new into us, um, well done everybody, there's lots of new bidders who are checking out for the first time and you will only pay one p and I mean that's just a blog that I found online but there's loads, there was hundreds of ways on Pinterest as well of you using buttons. So maybe, you know, new year, new craft, new hobby, this is going to be a great way of using buttons differently, thinking outside the box. Obviously you can use them on your dressmaking or as a function on a bag but um, Think about different ways of using them. And these are really cool. I've got cake in there. I've got birthday. What's that one? Oh, that's like a present look with a bow. And these ones are then like adventure ones. So you've got um, adventure. Oh, I took Maisie to a class yesterday. I took her on a class yesterday called Adventure Babies and we went to space in a tray. So they said, oh, you've got a space rocket adventurous to the little babies. I was like, rocket, this is so cool. I only paid about four pounds this week for this class. And, um, and then they bought out this plastic tray that we put them in and swung them around, <laughs> swung Maisie around. She hated it, hated it. Oh, also, what about embellishing your mermaid doll? So you could uh, embellish the, the bra, her hair. You could use buttons for her earrings or for a necklace. Her tail you could embellish with buttons. Look how cute she is. Hi. Uh, £5.76. I'm laying her down like she's just swimming through the, um, 
through, it's swimming through the sea. Okay, loads of you who have got it in your basket need to now check out. Remember, if you are if you are um, shopping with us today, then you can you only pay one post in packaging throughout the whole day, no matter how many times you check out. Um, loads going on today, by the way, so you're definitely going to want to make the most of that one PMP. Hi, Laurie. Laurie said, morning, Vicky and team. Have a great day. Oh, it's a great team today. Me, Paul and Joe. Joe and Paul are in the in the gallery. If I could, I'd show you the gallery cam, but we we can't. We haven't got the gallery cam up and running today. We should do it, shouldn't we, really? Elliot, oh no! He's gonna know! Oh no! Oh no, Elliot's here. How are you? He's looking round now. Oh no, he hasn't spotted it yet. Don't, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Right, that's the early bed today. Oh, and the show we have got is brilliant. So he's now looking round really sketchy, thinking, what have you done? Brand new, beautiful collection. Leela Tula's Lucy June, it's called. I think it's not Lucy Jane, it's Lucy June. Um, this first hour, which is gorgeous. At nine o'clock, we have got our three shades table topper. Now it's, it's, it's called a table topper. Have a look at it, it's like a quilt. It is a mini quilt really, and it's under 50 pounds. The bundles are brilliant. Um, have a look ahead on pre-order. The bumbleberry fabric is perfect. Joe, can we have a look at the, the quilt, please? Um, there it is. How cool is this? Whether you have it as a table topper or on the back of a chair, sofa, wall hanging, we've got that coming up with jewels. Have a look on pre-order for your kit as it's a really affordable way to make an amazing quilt. Um, coming up under 50 pounds at nine o'clock. 10 o'clock, quilting tools and fabric. So I've actually got, not just quilting tools, we've actually got, for those of you that want to start a new hobby or a new craft, we've actually got needle felting uh, starter kit. Absolutely love, love, love our Delphine. In fact, it's her very special birthday this week. Well, we're going out with her for a special birthday this week. I don't think it's actually till the end of the month. But um, she's going to be doing more demonstrations of needle felting, so you can get your starter kit at 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock, the mermaid doll and mermaid blanket towel. This is going to be absolutely amazing. The kits are gorgeous. Great. Anybody who knows, we all know probably somebody who loves mermaids. My goddaughter, as I said, oh, absolutely loves mermaid, and the fabrics are gorgeous. So this is coming up at... Um, at 10 o'clock, I'm going, at, oh that's 11 sorry, at 12 o'clock, Claire from Native Lighting is going to be joining me, she's a bit later this time isn't she, I'm watching you Elliot, um, at 12 o'clock we're going to bring back some of her favourite lights and some of your favourite lights back in stock at 12, Anne's just said, morning Vix, how lovely to have Paul back and Joe. I added the Anne Joe, by the way. <laughs> Anne said it's lovely to have Paul back. Oh, he says I'm not back. He says I'm not back. I'm just just for today, one day only, um, and Friday and Saturday, but one day only. Um, always miss the first few of Sewing Street as I'm having to listen. Oh, to the ladies on the CBD or oh that surely it should um. It should automatically change over to us, Susan. It should automatically change over. Um, right. We have got a brand new fabric collection. As I say, this is a Leela Tula design for Riley Blake, and they are absolutely beautiful. We're talking about, you know, just, I've got my lovely cocktail this morning, put my pastel jumper on, I'm ready for spring. And then I stepped out the front door, defrosted the car, had the heating on full blast the whole way to work, so it was freezing, minus two here in the Midlands. But this is exactly what I needed to see when I came in this morning. Bright, fresh, beautiful colours. If you as well are done with winter and looking forward to spring, how stunning are these fabrics? Lovely producer Kat sent me um, an audio note yesterday as she was getting the fabrics out like, oh my word, I'm so jealous you've got the best fabric launch. Look at these, launching today. The avocados are just amazing. Can we have a bit of a look through before we launch the bundle, a bit more about Leela Tula because she is, as I said, designer 
um, who has designed the, the one about her, please. Uh, the one that Haley, the one about um, about her. So we've got one about the, the about the collection, but we've also got a bit of information about Leela Tula, um, who is the designer. As I said, she's designed for for, for Riley Blake for. For a number for a number of years now, uh, Leela Tula has has almost um, always been an artist and sewing enthusiast. From the age of eight, she began doing portraits and drawing, and at twelve, she began sewing clothes. In college, she studied drawing and watercolors, painting and ceramics. So you can tell straight away she's very, very, very creative and has always been very creative. This is what amazed me. She also, I don't know how she fits this in, but she also has seven children. Whilst raising seven children, she found that she loved to sew and do paintings for her home interiors and also loved sewing and accessories for herself and her children to wear. Her love for textiles and fashion, as well as creating art, became the motivation to move forward into fabric design, a long time dream. In 2008, she began creating color drenched fabric designs for quilting, clothing, and the accessory industry. Her bold collections and lively, uh, are lively and artistic, sometimes classic, sometimes whimsical, sometimes a nod to the 70s of her youth, and nearly always with a vibrant palette. Her hope is to continue to create forever. And I think this collection, you can see straight away her love for, for watercolour, um, her love for vibrant colour, Bit of a nod to 70s can you see that in here as well you've got such a fresh beautiful palette and i was watching a video um, on youtube about her actually and she says that she's a very visual person so she takes on board everything all of the surroundings she's always looking for her next fabric designs she's always taking inspiration from everything around her now this is obviously a quilting weight cotton collection but as she said for soft furnishings for 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 children's clothes as well this is perfect Leela has designed six beautiful collections for Riley Blake Lucy June is her latest collection which is named after her grandchild and this is a bit of inspiration of how to use the fabrics in a beautiful quilt. Now, who wants the whole shebang? It's absolutely beautiful. You're getting your blenders as well as your large scales of print. The lovely um, patterns, they're stunning as well. This reminds me of watermelon. I don't know why. It's all these colours. And then you're also getting the avocado prints. How amazing are they? This one I've seen um, quite a bit actually over Pinterest. This is the latest collection um, and already there's lots of inspiration online. Now you are also making a saving if you're getting all 14 half metres, which is seven metres in total, you're actually seven, saving £7.49, um, which is half a metre for free really, isn't it? £97.37. and pence. See, this is a quilt kit. See this as um, stash that you can then, of course, add your solids. Um, we've made a complimentary bundle, which would look lovely, which will make it go even further. But imagine doing one of um, the quilt kits that you, if you've already got instructions in your stash at home. Gerardine, hi Victoria, wondering, is Paul going to model the mermaid tail today? We tried Gerardine, we tried to do a bit of a blast from the past because I don't know whether you remember, he did do it for us at Sewing Quarter. Um, he's had a knee up recently and he's on crutches, so trying to get him onto the desk was a little bit of a struggle. So in the end we had to rope in Jeremy Joe and he... He started to go, oh no, I can't. And then he grabbed the fork off me like he was in The Little Mermaid. And then he was there lounging on the uh, on the desk. And we're like, we've taken the photo now, Joe, you can get down. And he's like, oh, but I just take some more shots of me. I know. He was loving it. He's all over my Instagram. He's like, put it on your Instagram, Vic. <laughs> 97 pounds and 37 pence i'm thinking if you've got stuart hillard's bags for life book how beautiful would this be for the craft caddy how amazing would this be for your picnic blanket maybe so all of this we are going to do these all individually it's the first look at the whole collection with a saving under a hundred pounds, 97 pounds and 37 pence. Can we have a bit of a read about the collection? So the, the one that I sent to you, Paul, please. Next slide, please, Paul. 
Here it is. So, a bit, a bit about the line. So, named after her grandbaby, Lucy June, um, it evokes memories of walking through summer gardens of beautiful painterly flowers. Uh, you'll be enchanted by the gorgeous palette of aqua, plum, lime and pink. Those four colours I'd never think of putting together and they just work, don't they? Among the prints of flowers and stems, blocks and dots, there's a charming avocado print. Let this dreamy collection inspire you for all kinds of quilting, sewing and crafting projects. And as I said, I was actually looking online and there were lots of different inspiration on there. Lots of quilts, some dressmaking ideas as well. This would be perfect. Geraldine says to get better soon, Paul. He's trying his best, he's trying his best. He said he twisted it the other night trying to get into, um, into bed. I said, you need to stop dancing. And he said, I wasn't. I was literally trying to just get into bed and he's twisted his knees a bit. So he's, he's trying to um, be really, really careful with it. Oh, so this is I found um, online. I think I found this on Pinterest. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the left-hand side you can see there is from um, this Riley Blake collection, Lucy June. Beautiful dress. We have got that fabric. We have got that exact fabric here. Also, glasses, cases are just lovely aren't they even if you're just getting um a little bit today if you're just getting half meters today if you do want the whole collection oh my word you could really really do some beautiful accessories i'm thinking you could kit out your whole of your sewing room with new bits and bobs cushions you could even do um like pin cushions and needle cases a sewing machine mat a sewing machine cover maybe uh, remember these are all cut into half meter pre-cut so if you're multi-buying as we see some people are today it's just uh, they're already pre-cut into half meters. You're getting both avocado prints, two of the squares, the floral. That one's lovely, isn't it? Pretty garden fabrics. Um, okay, so shall we go by the half meter? I'm going to start with the one that I just showed you with the little girl's dress because I think this is going to be perfect for dressmaking. It's JSYV21. It's so soft. The colours of aqua uh, and lilac. You've got beautiful rose tones in there. Look at that. I'm thinking huge oversized cushions for the garden, um, like kneeling stools for, for your gardening. I'm getting really into my gardening this year. I am. Um, Kat's even bought me my own trowel that says gardening queen. £7.49. Now, this is your chance to buy it by the half metre. It's going to be cut off the bolt to whatever, uh, however much you need, however much you want. Uh, it, it has been very, very popular, in fact, on pre order. This one is called Tossed Floral Aqua. Let me open it out and you can see what you're getting half a metre. Half a metre is 112 wide, 100% cotton quilting weight. And you can see straight again, away again that Leela Tula has got. Um, a real background in art and um, watercolour and painting. It is absolutely beautiful. Perfect for spraying, isn't it? And this one, even if you team it with, well, there's loads of colours that you could go for in your stash. Would you go for a blue? I'd probably go for maybe the pink. Half metre of pink to bind a big cushion maybe or the back. Um, the brighter pink goes really, really well with it as well. All the purple, I must say, our team have put together a really beautiful coordinating bundle here for you. Um, loads of you coming in for this. It's brand new in today. Leela Tula, beautiful fabric for Riley Blake. Um, we have this, do we have this in another colourway? We do in white. So, same print, this time with white. Your code, Paul. Yes, he's got it. This is lovely. Imagine a beautiful summer dress. I'm thinking quite a, a, a big sort of skirt, actually. Like a, those of you that have seen Karen in Wiggins dresses, oh, this would be beautiful, beautiful, that style. Hey, Margaret, she says, morning, everybody. She says, looking good, Vix. Oh, gosh, I had... Um... <laughs> They're going, really? You're looking good, Vix? Are they watching a rerun or something? Thanks, Joe. Now, I thought I'd put on my fresh pink pastel jumper today, uh, uh, and I'm a bit warm already. But this is lovely, isn't it? 
Uh, I'm even thinking if you want to do, yeah, home accessories, it's perfect. But for quilting, you've got this really big scale print. So if you do want to do a nice large border, I'd struggle to cut this up into smaller pre-cuts, but to have this as your big border around the edge of a quilt. Maybe you're going to do, um, get the Annie's quilting books, the big blocks quilt that we've got. This one would be lovely to have as your centre squared. So for this quilt, this size, you need a metre and a half of this if you want to use this as the the one that the bumbleberry is, you'd need a metre and a half. It's absolutely beautiful. Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. The only other one that we have in this print, this is the only other colourway, the two together would look lovely. Your aqua and your white. Lots of you checking out on the big bundle. It's limited now if you do want that big bundle, if you want all of these prints. Right, shall we do the avocados? because they are almost like the flagship, really, of this design for me. We've got the purple and we've got the pink. Let's do the purple, which is ending in 16, Paul. This is just so cool. I'm thinking like uh, a lunch bag. You could do um, some really fun, funky sort of rucksacks. Kids' clothes. Imagine little children's dungarees, avocado dungarees. See, right, I, I have given Maisie avocado and she likes it like this. And then I thought, right, I'm going to do smashed avocado, really fancy, on toast, with a bit of egg and everything. And she just picked it all off. She didn't like the texture of it. She much prefers it like this. Um, I love smashed avocado, do you? Very on trend, isn't it? It's very on trend. You go to like some really cool cafes and they all do smashed avocado and poached egg on toast. What do you mean? Seven pounds, 49 a half metre. Beautiful lilac. And then of course, your really cool avocado print. I don't think I've ever seen a fabric with avocados on before. And you could fussy cut these, couldn't you? You could fussy cut them. You could have these on uh, as a plique onto loads of different projects. Have you ever seen like little t-shirts with avocados on? And um, there's different slogans, isn't there? Oh, let me have a look. You keep looking at the fabric. Let me see if I can find what I mean. Avocado. Uh, <laughs> do you know what I mean, Joe? What sort of puns can you do? <laughs> I'm thinking if you applique this on something, um, Keep calm, eat avocado is the only one I can find. That's, that wasn't as catchy as the ones I had in mind. Seven pounds, 49 a half metre. I'm, I'm just trying. Oh, avocado. For your gym gear, a gym bag or something. That's a good one. <laughs> we'll do the other avocado, which is in pink. Remember, you can get the whole collection from Leela Tula uh, today, all for under £100, the whole collection. This is lovely with the pink in the background. See, I'd put this with a pink. What about with green? We have got some complimentary bundles coming up. Is that what you just said? Let's avocuddle. So, no, you don't like that one. I'm thinking of avo puns that you can, you can put. You could applique them, you see, onto, um, onto T-shirts. I do like the avocado for a gym top. Brand new. Oh, there's a lot of people who have got this in their basket. You do need to check out. Have a look online and get some inspiration. Um, right, we also have, I love the little um, the little garden stems, this one. We've got this in two different colourways, one in ending in 87, it's KHYV 87. Also comes in this lovely, lovely light green as well. 87, KHYV 87. 
Oh, brilliant. Now, this one is the most popular on pre-order. I think it's a lovely scalar print if you want to use it for your EPP, you can. If you want to use it for smaller um, subcuts, sub smaller piecing for quilting, this is perfect. And how pretty is that? I'm thinking small little cushions with lace around the edge. Is my Tom watching? Hi, Tom. I've not seen him yet on here. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, maybe mine's a bit slow today. It hasn't come up on mine. What's that? 7.49, a half metre. This is the most popular print so far. There's no direction to it as well, can you see? Which is useful, isn't it? If you're doing things like bag making or if you're doing dressmaking and you're worried about direction of print, you don't need to worry about that. Don't need to worry about it. Good morning, Claire. Morning, Vix and all. Loving the pink. Thank you. You talk about my jumper or the avocado print in pink. Just 7.49, a half metre. 112 wide, let me hold it out again. Little clutch bags or purses would be really pretty for this. Is anybody going to any nice summer events, summer weddings, spring weddings this year? Oh, so, right. A bit of um, a, a predicament I've been in. So before I was pregnant, my best friend Lauren was getting married. She's still getting married, but obviously with everything going on, it's, it's, it's been delayed a long time now. And we were planning to go to Vegas on her Hindu. In the meantime, I then got pregnant, I had a baby, but I was like, right, I'm sure I'll be fine to go to Vegas in May. And I've been getting really anxious about it, thinking, oh, I don't know whether I can go. I don't know whether I can leave Maisie yet. But anyway, it's uh, they've decided to just do something low-key in the UK now with the world as it is still quite uncertain so we're not going to Vegas and now I'm gutted I was really ready for it now but um I actually think oh I don't know Paul loves Vegas you're you um uh, you've been there a lot haven't you oh you weren't absolutely you didn't love it right this is then in the green spring green can I show the picture of the uh the pretty dress again um, there's patterns online, obviously those of you that have got any dressmaking patterns at home. This would lend itself perfectly to a little girl's summer dress, wouldn't it? But even doing smaller projects like notebook covers, doing projects like glasses cases or pouches or little scrunchies, this is absolutely perfect. Oh, thanks Claire. Thinking of getting a couple of different colours. I do like this nice bright pink. Seven pounds, 49, a half metre. Really good price as well, isn't it? For designer fabric. Remember, Leela Tula designs for Riley Blake. This is Riley Blake fabric. Um, and it is super, super, super soft. Quality quilting cotton. Oh, it's very, very busy this morning. Very, very busy. Have we? we we're doing all right, I think, on time, aren't we? Always think that we're um, that we're going too slow. I've got the larger watercolor ones. This is Ray V eighty nine. We were listening to some um, dance tracks this morning, weren't we? <gasps> oh right, I go for a blind with this one. It reminds me of something you would see in a really fancy interior store. Imagine having guest bedroom blind or Roman blind or um, in a downstairs bathroom, uh, downstairs toilet, something. this would look so beautiful. Big cushions again, I'm thinking like a bolster style cushion. Definitely screaming um, home interiors. It's the lovely watercolours. And if we uh, again go back and think about um, Lula Teela's background, she was actually originally an artist in watercolours and painting, and you can see, can't you, that influence coming through, but they're just so pretty. What inspired her was walking through a beautiful garden, uh, named after her granddaughter, but um, uh, 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 the collection is Lucy June, but it is so, so pretty. Certainly makes me ready for spring. Very, very busy this morning with this collection. I'm so pleased that we're all on the same page, that we're ready for some spring and some nice bright colours. Just makes you feel better, honestly. Putting on this jumper today, this pastel jumper, just instantly 
makes your mood feel um, better. Oh, I'm pleased it brightened all of their moods walking in this morning, seeing me nice and bright. Look at this. Oh, with that blue background, this is definitely my favourite. You were in quite a good mood anyway. He wasn't very happy on the way here because he had to deal with a frozen windscreen on the inside. What do you do with that then? Do you have to scrape on the inside? Oh, gosh. Hi, Claire. Claire says, I have that or very similar fabric. She says, I need to make a spring dress with it. Oh, yes. Because of the scale of print, there are certain ones that lend themselves, I think, perfectly to you know, self-cutting for patchwork, but this one, oh, I'd really struggle. Keep it as it is for a dress, this would be beautiful. How about a really lovely apron with like um, a frilly, I'm thinking like frills around the edge or lace even, embellished with lace. With the buttons that we had as the early bird, they'd go perfectly. Um, now we do also have our mixers and now calling the mixers they're still the designer fabrics these are still really interesting prints as well um they remind me a bit of you know the liberty garden gates one that's so cool it's trellis isn't it that's what it is it's trellis pardon damask damask that's a good film yeah damask Oh, sorry, we might have a little interruption on Facebook for a moment whilst we sort out YouTube. It's only temporary and we'll be back with you if we lose you on Facebook. Find us on um, other platforms. £7.49 a half metre in lime. You could still mix this though with your pinks and your purples if you're thinking of it. This would be a lovely lining actually for a bag, wouldn't it? Imagine having this as a lining for a bag. <gasps> Very indulgent picking out one of your other larger prints. Or fussy cutting it for your EPP would be really beautiful. You could do that mirror technique that I was talking to you about the other day. Hello, Patricia. Good morning, Violet. Love from, um, love from Blackpool. I think it's um, auto-corrected Vicky to Violet. <laughs> Call me Violet. I'd be called worse. <laughs> just by me, just by Paul and Joe this morning, I've been called worse. Um, Paul said something along the lines of, and I heard it in my earpiece, I was in the kitchen, that he hates working with me. Then he started to backtrack, and it wasn't what he meant, but he didn't realise that I had my talk back in. Oh, look at this purple. Oh. This literally looks like it's been uh, printed. It's gorgeous. I'm only joking. He didn't really. I'm telling tales. What would you use this one for? I think this would be great for a bag because you can sort of see this as the, 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 a panel of the base of the bag. Again, maybe for a dress. Yes. This is, again, damask. Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. Um, still opportunities, by the way, to get the whole mega bundle. Now you're starting to look through all these different designs. Don't forget about that whole mega bundle. Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. Do you know what colour this is? Have a look online. Oh, I'll do it for you now instead. One second. Have you seen the Pantone colour of the year? Is very Perry. Very Perry. Pantone colour of the year is I would say very very similar to this colour it's a bluey purple this is the very peri you see it's like um it is very very nice very peri nice it is like uh oh I'll, I'll click onto it bear with seven pound four I think we're back on Facebook I think we're back on Facebook any second now Colour of the year, 2022, very similar to this. That is lovely. So if you want to be nice and on trend, ready for spring and summer, absolutely perfect. So do I need to get back onto it, do you think? Do I need to click back? Oh, thank you. 
If we found you on um, Facebook, if you found us, I should say, if you found us on Facebook, sorry about that slight interruption, but hopefully that means that we are going to be back on to YouTube as well. Brilliant. Um, now, let's do the squares. Uh, in pink, please, first. I have got the code. It's LQYV57. Very popular on pre-order. It's literally virtually the same colour as my top, isn't it? Oh, that is lovely. <laughs> How does that go? Oh, gosh, stop singing, please. Stop singing. <laughs> I nearly went on a quiz show with Joe's dad called The Hit List, which was all the, you know, the songs. Um, they play all songs through the different decades and you have to guess the artist. Me and Terry would have done so good on that. To be fair, I think you'd be very good on it as well, Joe. You and your dad should go on it. I'm all right with music from the 80s onwards. Seven pounds. I would know that one. 7.49. Um, again, with, uh, remember, designer fabrics. It's an amazing price. All the prices of designer fabrics I've found are going up and up and up. Uh, today, discounted huge bundle. If you do want the whole shebang, then you can get the whole bundle under £100, which means that you're saving £7.49. In aqua, oh, this would make beautiful toiletry bags. It's like that sea foam blue, isn't it? It's like you can see the tiles at the bottom of a swimming pool. That's lovely. Uh, good morning as well on Facebook. See your messages coming thin. Um, we've got R A. Sorry, no, that's an N. N A Y V sixty one. Thank you. What were you thinking, Joe? Ricky Martin. Seven pounds forty nine a half meter. That is true swimming pool blue. And if you're teaming it with any of, if you want me to put any of them physically next to each other, let me know. This one was a very, very popular one. Maybe if you just want to do a bit of detail, um, maybe sashing or your binding. Binding would be really lovely with that actually, because you've got the squares, it will add a bit of interest as well. Instead of just having a solid, that will create more interest. Um, that is one of my favourites, actually. That is a really beautiful one. Even though Paul's taking the graphics out, don't worry, it doesn't mean it's sold out. You can still come through for any of these. We just want to show you as much as we can. Then finally, this is like the watermelon. I've got this one and I've got the blue. These are the last two. The last two in this print. So we've got the, the pink and then we've got the blue. This has got the white background with a pink speckle it's a really beautiful pink splatter um, there's no sort of rhythm to it it's very very random but it would be absolutely perfect for I'm thinking dressmaking again how about doing a little piece of pan collar with this to accent with it's the same pinks obviously that goes with it with all of your others linings for bags backs of cushions borders Again, a bit more interest than just a solid, just a plain white. I think that's a good one just to have in your stash anyway, whether you're getting the Leela Tula collection or not. 7.49 at half metre, super, super soft, 100% cotton. We've also got it with the blue. This is lovely again. It's this similar, not exactly the same. I'll put it next to the aqua. Can you see? This is more... More of like a sky blue, very similar to the background, but the exactly same as the, the first one that we showed to you, the very, very first one. It's the exact background just without the floral print. Beautiful. That's the last one of the whole collection. If you do want the whole shebang, you can go for it. The big bundle, you can get every single one of these prints with a saving. So you get the two speckle ones. Then you also get your squares in pink and in aqua. The largest scale, I think that's my favourite. I am still calling this trellis, even though it was called damask. The trellis in green and purple. 
with the blue background as well. My favourite, the blue background. All oh, these were the most popular on pre-order. The blue and the aqua wildflowers. Don't forget, you also get your avocados. And then the first ones that we started with, um, with the speckled background and those large floral prints in white and in blue, that whole collection with a saving of £7.49. You're saving, well, you, you get half a metre for free. That's a lot of fabric. That is seven metres of fabric, all for under £100. Think about the, the massive quilt that you can make with that. Bear in mind when you're looking at a quilt kit, how much you're paying, 130 pounds, 190 pounds, especially one with this amount of fabric, you're definitely looking way over 100. And if you've got any patterns at home, which let's face it, we've all got different pattern books, there's a beautiful quilt book that's coming up and it's an Annie's Quilting, it's less than a tenner. I mean, it's really affordable to get loads of different blocks. So if you do want some inspiration, stay tuned. That would be perfect for that. Now we have a complementing fabric bundle. Now I've reached for these a few times um, as they are absolutely perfect coordinating colours. Now you can't get these individually. I'll let you know the names of them. So if there's one in particular that you wanted, um, then you can go onto our website. But today we've bundled them for $16.99 and they complement absolutely perfectly. So Paul, are you ready with these names? So you've got all of the different colours that complement absolutely perfectly. The purple, the green, the pink. I love that. That is a perfect match again. The blue is a lovely soft sky blue. That goes perfectly with this one. So you've got fuchsia, which I believe is this one. Lavender. Lime. Powder blue. And raspberry. And Wesbury, as Paul said. So you've got powder blue, raspberry, lime, fuchsia and lavender. If you do want any of those individually, they're on the website. £16.99. These are all cut into half metre pre cuts, just so you're aware. All ready, ready to go. That's a lovely bundle anyway, isn't it, actually? That's a lovely um, colour bundle anyway. Very, very vibrant indeed. All of those for just $16.99. The only way of getting that is in the bundle. All five half metre cuts. Now, that is everything from the Leela Tula collection. Remember these, by the way, are the Rose and Hubble. They're just complementing the Leela Tula collection. They're your Rose and Hubble solids. Um, don't you worry. Don't say sorry. As I said, I've been called worse. She called me Violet. It's fine. I love the name Violet. That's a really beautiful name, isn't it? Maybe I'll just be called Violet for now on. I like that. Thank you, Patricia. Right, now, something completely different. Um, this has got a really strong... If you love things like the mode of the French General, if you love the, the, the uh, Three Sisters, you'll absolutely love this. Now, we've got two bundles. We're starting with the reds. We've got red and we've got taupe. Now, this is, again, beautiful Moda fabric. When was this launched? Isn't it gorgeous? Because I was going to say, I've never seen this before. Ah, it was launched back on the 2nd, so it's a really new collection of Moda. Um, look at that. We've never, ever put together this bundle. This is a brand new bundle, I believe, but the collection launched on the 2nd. And look, it's so, so soft. Paul, that is your cup of tea, isn't it? I could see a shirt in this. I could see a pool shirt calling. That is a lovely paisley print. Now, you get half a metre of each of these prints, which is probably perfect, actually, for a pool shirt, isn't it? <laughs> you also get your red and white. Something very traditional about this collection, but the prints are so intricate, aren't they? The detailing... Is amazing little. It is amazing. <laughs> Do you think cat's free? Look at this. <gasps> I love the shading. You can tell, obviously, with Moda, there's so many people who have um, who have come to us and solely only bought Moda from us um, for their quilting. 
it is beautiful quality uh, so the fabric again new only launched the start of this month and the bundle itself is brand new 44 pounds and 94 pence joe this would be a really lovely one again for the the quilt that's behind me this is coming up in the next hour. It's already selling on pre-order, by the way. I love the background colour of this because you've got white, but you've also got this taupe background on this one. It gives it a bit of an aged feel to it, doesn't it? It looks quite antique -y. Very classic, beautiful feel, and um, was a really, really popular collection when launched just a few days ago. <gasps> it could be new to you too. Look at this one. All half metre pre-cuts. 44 pounds and 94 pence. Now we also have the same prints in a top colorway bundle. First time we've ever put to work together this bundle again. We can do some of these individually, not all of them I don't believe, but we can do some of them individually. See that is just such a lovely neutral palette. Again for home furnishing, if you do want to add a splash of color in there, you can. Um, there was a, a quilt that I had the other day, the Country Roads quilt with Stuart, and it completely sold out. And I think it really inspired a lot of people to think outside the box with colour choices. If you're just doing quite neutral, then with one pop of colour, just choose one colour to go with it. Uh, that would be beautiful, wouldn't it? But this is definitely my colour palette. All my sort of home furnishings are, are this sort of taupe. It's very on trend. It's not grey and it's not beige. It's like greyish <laughs> um isn't it lovely and of course as i say because it is moda um it's called cranberries and cream it's a beautiful beautiful collection it does have a very classy classic look very vintage-esque look to it it's obviously all brand new beautiful fabric from moda 44 pounds and 94 pence. Right, we might have time to squeeze in some of these individually by the half meter. We'll go back to the reds. Have we got that Paisley print on its own? The code is KNW142. Oh, right, anybody who wants to make our little Paula shirt, this is perfect for dressmaking. Um, this would be beautiful for a shirt, wouldn't it? Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. This one is the one that I find absolutely incredible that all of your detail in the background is, oh, really clear. That's the difference, isn't it, with your, your quality of mode of printing. The detail up close is amazing. Um, you also have, let's go for this one with a white background. This is BKW109. We can do this. Don't forget, Jules Mayouf is here. She's coming up in 10 minutes' time. Oh, I haven't even mentioned last three 570As in stock. Jules is going to be using it. If you've got any questions about them, get them in and we can try and answer them today. I'll show it in the 10 o'clock hour, but Jules is going to be using it um, in the next hour, so you'll see it then. But it's the last three that are remaining. That was the first thing I was going to tell you um, at 8 o'clock. These are lovely again. I, I love the shading. It almost adds depth, doesn't it? It gives it a three-dimensional look. Moda Cranberries and Cream, seven pounds, 49, a half meter. Uh, if you do want the whole of the red bundle, there are some of those still remaining. It was the first time we bundled them today. Very, very popular indeed. I'm flying through these because I am aware of the time. LMW141. This is again a really lovely one for dressmaking. It feels very, very soft. It almost feels slightly lighter weight um, than some of the other mode. It is still a quilting weight fabric, but um, this is going to be perfect for dressmaking. Absolutely perfect. Seven pounds, 49 and a half meter. <laughs> Q 
quilting, this is a really beautiful one for your smaller piecing. If you are doing lots of little half square triangles, you're not going to lose any of that detail, are you? TQW192, please, Paul. Um, yeah, we have got this available by the half metre. Ah, oh, right, this one was really popular on pre-order. Look at that. That is such art, isn't it? Beautiful design and real depth to the printing. This by the half meter, you can have it as much, well, you can have as much as you want, cut off the bolt for you, um, in half meter increments. I say that um, we are now very limited, in fact. So if you do want multiple meters, do be quick. What's that? It is amazing what you can print onto fabric. The, the detail in there is, is brilliant. I suppose that is why Moda is so famous. It is absolutely beautiful. 7.49, a half metre. Really detailed print. Um, we also have Stars, which is OFW175. What song's that? Seven pounds forty nine, a half metre. Cranberries and cream. Don't forget all of those brand new Leela Tula fabrics, perfect for spring, really, really beautiful for all of your spring and summer makes are available still on the Today's Show deal page on the website. Everything is underneath is on the website. You can still shop for that if you've just tuned in. We've just done an amazing fabric launch um, and there are still mega bundles as well to get the whole bundle together. Now this is the one with the top background so it's got that sort of aged feel to it. I don't know, what do you say? Tomato, tomato, taupe, taupe. You say potato, I say potato. I don't know anybody that says potato either. Seven pounds 49. That's the last of the reds. Um, let's go on to our top bundle. There is still bundles of the top or taupe available. This is KBW186, please. These are really popular on pre-order. Really, really popular on pre-order. Today, seven pounds forty-nine and a half meter. What's that? Oh yeah, children's clothes would be really cute with this. Really, really cute. Um, seven pounds forty-nine. Paul's thinking a huge floor cushion. £7.49. Oh, that would be nice, like a big bean bag. And um, we've got, oh, don't talk to Joe about bean bags, it's still a sore subject. Have you not heard the bean bag story? Um, no, you probably don't want to talk about it, do you, Joe? I understand. The code is RBW196. So Joe had a beloved bean bag. He's had it for many, many years, many years, probably 15 years plus. Joe then went off to university. His mum got rid of the bean bag and she he he still hasn't spoken to her since. <laughs> Didn't ask, just threw it away. He's still so annoyed at his mum. This was ten years ago, he still still hurt. Imagine if we could recreate that bean bag for you. Seven pounds forty nine. What was the pattern like? And we hopefully we could get a printed fabric. Oh, it's quite nineties by the sounds of it. Then this is a uh, QSW one nine two. I'm thinking like really big opulent cushions on a sofa because this is going to go with if you've got a cream decor or a, a brown decor or if you've got a grey decor. It's going to go with everything, isn't it? I'm thinking really big cushions for on your sofa that you do. You have to fill with lovely um, soft feathered inners and then you do. I've heard the, the the chaps across the road in the really fancy designer shop. Oh, thanks, Helen. She's just put enjoy the show. Thank you. 
um, and they, they called it the Chelsea Chop. Have you seen in fancy interior magazines where you've got a big square cushion and it's basically the inner that you use as well and you go chop down the centre and it looks like that sort of shape. That's the in weight out your cushions now. I, I, I haven't done that on my sofa yet, but I saw it in the fancy interior shop. That's what it reminds me of here. This fabric would be beautiful. It's a big square cushion with a piped edge with a chop, Chelsea chop. With my big table. Oh gosh, that was great for um, table tennis. SNW171, this is your um, paisley print. I'm very good at table tennis. I was really good. I won a tournament once when I was on holiday when I was 10. <laughs> £7.49. Um, this one, again, in red was very, very popular today in this lovely, I'm calling it greyish. Uh, RLW139 is next. We've literally got w one minute to squeeze these both in so you can see them individually. <laughs> Have you been over at Jewelry Maker, Jo? No? Seven pounds forty nine, and then finally one other. We've got jewels coming up. Don't forget with the quilt that is behind me. It's called a table topper, but actually this is a really lovely size for a lap quilt, isn't it? Lap quilt or over the side of a chair. It's just perfect size to still snuggle up on the sofa. Uh, we've got some lovely fleece, in fact, by the half metre in the 11 o'clock show. It's on pre-order. And you could back it with fleece, couldn't you? And you could have it as a lovely snuggly blanket. Or a picnic blanket's a good size, actually. £7.49, the final print. Your hydrangea, again, with lovely depth, real attention to detail with the shading on the print from Moda. So stunning quality cotton. And it's again just seven forty nine per half meter. Buy off the bolt if you are thinking of larger home furnishings, maybe for blinds, uh, for larger projects. Imagine doing a full duvet set with this. Loads that you could do with our mode of fabric. It isn't just for quilting. Seven forty nine. Okay, have a look back through at the tea, uh, uh, at the Lula Lila. Leela Tula fabric that we launched at the start of the hour. It's all under um, us on the Today Show deals. We've got jewels coming up, beautiful fabric bundles and an Annie's Quilting book for some inspiration. Don't go anywhere. We're back after this. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance, and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. 
I love doing anything to do with um, textiles, so embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making, oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new and I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it and you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. And I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Really exciting day today. Um, I, I'm so pleased that we're trying to get out of these January blues and get into summer and spring mode. And later on with Jules behind me, we, we tried to find the best way of displaying this blanket because <laughs> it's huge, it's absolutely brilliant. So we've got a mermaid blanket tail coming up along with our mermaid toy, which we're gonna be launching at 11 o'clock today. Um, this first hour though, we've got our quilt now it's called a table topper i think on the schedule whereas actually this would be brilliant as a lap quilt this would be lovely as a, a, a um, I'm thinking if you could back it with some of the fleece that we've got in the next hour, you could have it as a blanket, couldn't you? But I love the block of it. So it's from a brilliant book, Annie's Quilting Book. This is um, the Big Blocks Quilt. Those of you that might already have this, we did this separately to the bundles because I know it's been a very, very popular book in the past and you might already have it, but it's fab. We've never done this project from it. £8.99. Look at how amazing the value for money is you've got in here well 10 projects less than a pound a project and we're working with um, this one today so it is a table topper which is perfect for your dining table um, or a coffee table but actually there's so many more uses for, for for this project which is perfect so not only do you have the, the project that we're working from today. There are also some really, really great designs. And this is why I was talking about the, the Leela Tula collection that we just launched. The great thing about this book is that it is, it's quite big blocks, which mean 
that you can use some of the larger scale prints. It will all come together quite quickly. If you are starting out quilting for the first time, it's quite daunting maybe to look at um, lots and lots and lots and lots of piecing. Whereas this, for example, you could frame some of your favorite fabrics. So if you got the Leela Tula collection and those large floral prints would look beautiful and for a border as well, it would look amazing. Or if you've got maybe any of the Tula pinks, you know, the Curious and Curious range, you could frame the Alice in Wonderland faces. Or you could actually do it, thinking of that, you could actually do it as a photograph quilt. I was rummaging through, um, my garage, I've had a big sort out when I put the Christmas decorations away. And I found, it was from actually when past life of sewing quarter, I bought some um, fabric printer paper, basically, that you run through your, your printer and it's onto fabric. You could put photographs, couldn't you, and do like a memory quilt. But there are some really lovely designs, giving you lots of inspiration about colours as well. That one's a lovely one. We've done lots of these in the past, but this is the first time that we've worked on the tabletop quilt. Um, there's an applique in there. Where you need any templates or implique you don't need to upscale it they're all to size very clear lovely instructions from Annie's quilting and it's always great value for money so if you've got the book already we thought we'd do it separate to the bundle so you are going to need this for your instructions and of course we're going to go through with Jules $8.99 for your book and then at the back for anybody who's not done um, quilting before there is also your quilting basics at the back which, which give you um, a bit of a binding tutorial there but I did do a show um, with Stuart uh, what date last week and he did a full binding tutorial actually because it's something we don't normally necessarily get to so it's worth jotting that uh, down and having a look back uh, $8.99 for your quilting book and then we've also got three bundles so the one that the quilt is made up with or the table topper is this one most popular on pre-order it comes with loads of your bumbleberry which is Lewis and Irene designer fabric I love this a meter and a half and that's obviously going to be the center of the, the blocks uh, by the way why is this 39.99 that's a meter and a half of fabric a meter of your blue and a meter of your stock um, now we said that these were all going under 50 pounds this is under 40 Oh my word, make the most of it. It should be about 45, 49 to be exact. This is 39.99. So here you're getting your designer Lewis and Irene. This one, so I launched this with Neil and it was, do you remember the Japanese collection that is exclusive to us? It reminds me a lot of Liberty, I actually said to George, it's that Liberty one. And then I looked at it and it wasn't, it was the Japanese amazing exclusive collection that we've just got in recently. Um, so you get a whole metre of this one. Even if you're thinking of a different project, what a beautiful bundle. They really work well together, don't they? And then your stuff, metre bundle as well of, um, of this fabric, which is your Hannah Basic, 39.99. Three and a half metres of fabric in total. Brilliant saving. You're saving £6.50 on this one today. Um, just because, doesn't say in the graphics, but just thought I'd let you know there is a £6 saving if you're buying this bundle today. Most popular, already flying into baskets. Now, the demo is in the yellow. Let's do this one next. So, oh, this is really cool. So you get a metre and a half of the fabric with the jars. I love this for spring. This is cute, isn't it? meter and a half and then you also get a meter of these really little pretty ditzy floral prints like little um what are they called when you blow them and all the petals come up dandelions are they a bit like dandelions or buttercups they're really cute aren't they 39.99 right so we have put it in the graphics on this one look five pounds saving today uh, a meter of this print and then you also have a meter of your little um crosses as well um, I'm saying £5 saving. It's actually a £5.50 saving on this one. If you were to purchase all this individually, it would cost you £5.50 more. So brilliant savings today. And as we are talking about spring and, you know, getting ready for, for the spring again, this one's going to be a really lovely table topper. I'm imagining for springtime and Easter time how lovely that's going to look on your dining room table. £39.99. Or for, for a picnic blanket, that would be perfect size. There's a little garden pink picnic blanket, wouldn't it? Now, this one is Paul's favourite. Don't let that put you off. He's got good taste. He says, this is lovely. Um, 
Oh yeah, good choice. This is a meter and a half of this lovely sort of hot paprika, hot tomato sort of color with, um, with with really lovely texture, it almost looks like a linen, it's not, it's a cotton, but it's got that texture to it. And then this, oh, first time I've seen this fabric, where's this from? Don't let this collection pass you by, because obviously we've seen the blue one made up, we're working with the yellow, so don't forget this one. This one is Folium Bouquet, it's a Jap Japanese fabric again. I've never seen this one. I've never seen it, it's so lovely. Um, we did a monochrome quilt the other day with Stuart and it was monochrome with a pop of colour and this is what it reminds me of. It's so beautiful, so, so beautiful. So this one would be the centre of our blocks and then these two would you would use for, for your patchwork. And look at that. New to me as well with all of the little um, dragonflies, butterflies, little moths, that's so cute. And it's got an orange and a really light pink. Um, once again, Paul, are we saving on this one? We thought that we were getting these all under £50. What an amazing quilt bundle. If you're looking at quilts of that size normally, you would be looking over £50. You're saving £5.50 on this one. £5.50 today. So even if you're not necessarily thinking for this project, these are great fabric bundles for your stash. Really great fabric bundles at that price. £5.50 saving and they're, they're kitted together by our team so you know that they all work really, really well together. We're going to go through start to finish as, you know, new year, new hobby, new year, new crafts. If you just want to do it with plain fabrics, just your solid fabrics, we've got another bundle here where you're getting a metre and a half of this lovely, is it a cadet blue? And then you've got a metre and a half of the lighter blue and a metre, sorry, a metre of the lighter blue and a metre of the ivory. Cadet, a metre and a half, yay! <laughs> Duck egg, a metre. Cream, a metre. Um, so there you go. If you want a really affordable way to have a go, try out a new hobby, new craft, it's 23 99 how good is that? With your book as well, looking still less than £40, well, way under. Um, absolutely make the most of that. That is an absolute steal of a deal. I know that sometimes it can be quite daunting buying quilt kit for the first time, especially when they can be quite expensive. Whereas, you know, with this quality, you're still getting your rose and hub oil. It's beautiful quilting cotton. Um, just as a great stash builder again, that is another one with a saving. It's so good to Hello. see you, Jules. How are you? I'm fine. I haven't seen you for ages. Happy New Year. I'm trying to actually not allowed to say it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if months. I've actually seen you since you've had Maisie. Are you yeah. kidding? I, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh, she's nine what months What happened? Old. I well, there you go. I've been lazy. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm so pleased that we're back together anyway. Yeah, and no, it's good fun. Really <laughs> lovely projects today. I'm really excited for our mermaid yes. show later. We're going to bling her up later. Brilliant. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> and this one, we're always talking about, you know, new year, new hobbies, new crafts. For anybody who is starting quilting for the first time, what? Because the bundles are so affordable. Yeah. yeah. But also, is this something that's quite achievable? Yes, it is, definitely. Anything from an Annie's book, you know, right from the beginners, you can have a tackle at it. You've worked you, it with Annie's books before, yes, haven't you? Yes, yeah, love them. They're very straightforward. You can, if you're more experienced, obviously you can do a few hacks on it. Uh, that's not a problem. But if you're brand new to stuff, it's it talks you through very easily with pictures and words um, so you can get to the end product just take your time and it's all fine but yeah I like working with Annie's well I like the way stuff. it's sort of spaced out yeah. it starts off you know going through your cutting your project notes step by step with images with photographs with diagrams it's all yeah. very clear to see it's not yeah. just text that's yeah. quite daunting and I think um, depending on what kind of learner you are I'm, I'm a visual learner I found out in later life but I do like my pictures to be on there and I do like to reference I I suppose I'm always on the go and like kind of speeding along and I like to see the diagram yeah. because that means that I don't have to read anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm turning think... into a, a man. I shouldn't say that. Sorry, boys. But <laughs> Do you know, no, I think a lot of creative people are visual learners, aren't they? Yeah, so it yeah. is good to have those images and diagrams on there. Right, so we're going to start from the start with the cutting because we're talking about complete beginners here. You might be a bit daunted by the cutting process. Yeah, um, and I think as well, I, what I decided to do 
as we were saying, but we're aiming it as somebody who's new to the hobby, um, is to maybe take you step by step through one block. So I'm not going to pile through and do the whole quint. Of course, I, I can talk you through it, yeah. but um, we'll concentrate and find out the block pieces. Where is the block then? How many blocks are we looking at in this? So world? we're looking at four Brilliant. blocks, which you think, looking at that, you think, oh, I don't see where, where the that? four are. Yeah. So the block is actually this piece here, this one. Oh, yeah. So you've okay. got a top row, a middle row, bottom row, and then the outside is a wide sashing, and then the outside again is your binding. So that's what. Stuart would have done the other day yeah. uh, with the binding with the mitered corners. Yeah. Then the sashing just goes on to when you've got your four blocks and you put them together. Um, there are some matching of seams, which mm -hmm. I'll show you how to do that. Um, but it comes together fairly straightforward. Um, okay. There's a couple of hacks I'll give you as well. Brilliant. So, yeah, I, it, it's not a, not a difficult project. If you are brand new, take your time. Yeah. As with always. Yeah. Um, if you're not and you think well uh, you know i can do this fairly quickly you can you could do this in a day well this is a nice one actually if you did want to make it larger you, you could just keep adding you could do yeah. six blocks yeah. and then do your border around yeah you? you have got a little bit i didn't not extend enough, it yeah. but you have got a little bit more you possibly get another maybe another one or two blocks out right. of it okay so even cushion. if you didn't do that cushion table mats yeah. that kind of thing Perfect. I mean and you can also um, take the ideas of this and just sort of scale it up yeah uh, so that there are a few different things that you can do so that this block for example is fairly straightforward mm -hmm. um, so you can just scale that up and make a you know tabletop of that on its own if you yeah to. oh brilliant fab so, yeah. right so where do we start okay then, so on the notes level here um, it just gives you a bit of an indication as to Stitching with a quarter of an inch seam, which if we're doing any quilting, it's always a quarter of an inch seam. So kind of remember that. Um, if you are a dressmaker, it's something different. Mm -hmm. So switch to your kind of quilting head, if you like. So a quarter of an inch seam, and we are, we've definitely got more than 40 inches. So it, it says assume 40 inches of usable fabric. And basically that means that when you're cutting a width of fabric, mm -hmm. so that's selvage to selvage, and then cutting straight across, that you've got 40 inches or more. Ah, right, so actually the finished size of it is 40 inch. So does that mean that I don't need to use extra wide fabric to back it? No, you should be okay with, with normal. Just regular width, yeah. so that's yeah. good as well. You're not having to piece your back it. Yeah, Brilliant. exactly. Um, and it gives you some abbreviations here. So WOF, width of fabric, pretty standard stuff, but if you're new, it looks like it's yeah. farine. <laughs> uh, HST, half square triangle, which is, um, where are we? That effectively, that will be cut, but that's a half square triangle with quarter squares on it. Right. So we'll get there. And a quarter square tri triangle is literally, you have your square, you cut it either in half or into four. I'll, I'll go through that in a second. And it also tells you, um, so we're picking light, medium and dark green on the actual sample here. Mm -hmm. When you've got your um, meterage, your dark fabric is akin to the 1.5 meters. Right. So your most fabric is the dark fabric. Right, so you go for this one, or you'd go for the... The red. The hot or tomato, or your bumbleberry bumble, yeah. with your blue. And then the other two, it doesn't matter whether you go light green or dark green, so which one you choose for those, because you've got exactly the same things out of it. Fab. Okay, so fairly straightforward. So the first thing that you'll do is you'll cut some strips and squares which I've already done to the um, coordination on there, but basically when you're cutting strips and squares, uh, so on here, it says, for example, um, that you cut 16 three and seven eighths mm -hmm. squares. Don't <laughs> take your whole area of fabric and cut them into squares. Cut a strip, which is three and seven eighths, and then subcut it. So mm -hmm. cut it again mm -hmm. to make your three and seven eighths square, for example. Mm -hmm. So don't be put off that you've got 16 to cut. You're actually just subcutting a strip. Right, okay. And then you will have strips of fabric as well. And you can see I'm a, a post-it note or other kind of notes are available person. So you like to be Sticky notes, organized. like to be organised. And also when you've got, um, until you get your eye in basically and, and start working with the fabric, um, it, you have to keep referring back, is it, is it fabric F? Is yeah. It fa so if you've got a sticky note on the end, it's all fine. 
Um, so you will have your strips of fabric and the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to make these little pieces here. So they kind of like edge. Oh quilt. nice, okay. So if we turn over the page, I'll walk you and talk you. So this bit here is the first instruction and it tells you to sew one of the darks to one of the lights. So one of them has to be the three inch strips and one has to be the one and a half inch strips. Now you're going to then cut it up again um, and make one and a half inch bands. Mm -hmm. When just a, a kind of an ease really, um, in the instructions it says cut a whole strip D and a whole strip E and sew the two together. Those are just the, the thin and thick strips. I would only cut 24 inches because um, we need 16 units and the maths are, uh, equate to the fact that you only need 24 inches to sew together. So rather than having to sew the whole strip um, and then unpick it later on, can't good, be, can't be doing with that. So 24 inches and basically the way I got to that was I need to cut 16, they're one and a half inches wide. 16 times one and a half is 24. Thank you for doing the math okay. for us, There's Jules. So it's just <laughs> simpler to do that. And basically all you're going to do is to take, so this is my strip E, which you can see I've been chopping into. This is my strip D. And literally we're just going to, now I never worry about the selvages in something like this because I'm going to cut that off to level it up. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to use selvages in your main quilt or topper or whatever you're making but it's quite handy to start off the main fabric so that if you're for whatever reason your cotton puckers or anything like oh, yeah, that get dragged under or anything yeah. and then that's an edge that you can make your straight edge okay and then do your sub cutting so let me show you what I mean so I'm going to take this and do put them both together you can pin if you want to of course you'll know that I probably won't ever although in the next hour I will be pinning you go, a lot. You go in rogue and I'm using go, I'm, pins. I'm using lots and <laughs> lots of pins. Um, <laughs> by the way, the five seventy A, the machine that Jules is using, there are only three left in stock for the foreseeable. I do not know when we're going to be able to get more. So if you were umming and ahhing about it, today's the day, last day to get it. I think. <gasps> very, very exciting. I'll talk more about it in the ten o'clock show. But it's a lovely machine, isn't it, Jules? Really useful machine. Um, Things that are hot about it are obviously you've got your automatic reverse, which is just like above your needle, so you don't forget where it is. Um, you've got a needle up, needle down, and you've got a thread cutter. That is a game changer. Da -da -da. Yeah, we love thread cutters, and it's very easy to thread up. Very easy to drop your bobbin in. You can see when your bobbin's running out. All of the oh, all of the tick points it's got. So for a, for a now, entry point machine is the wrong thing to say, isn't it, really, for that? Because it's more than that. It is. I think it's one that, it, but it's also not daunting if you are starting out and you want to, maybe you're upgrading from, uh, this may be your first computerised machine. Yeah. Or, um, it's one that you're going to be able to grow with because it's got lots of features and functions. And actually, like you said, a lot of the features and functions you've got on there, you're probably looking at a machine that's normally... A higher, higher price point, definitely. Normally more around the thousand pound mark when you're looking at things like a memory, a thread cutter, an alphabet. And there's lots of other fancy stitches on there. Oh, there's, there's nice there's stitches to use. Stitches. So useful stitches because you, you can get, I mean, some of them, they go into hundreds and hundreds of stitches yeah. and you think, I'm never going to use, use all of those. But these are really nice stitches to use. Oh, so. great. So what great. I've done here is I've sewn those two pieces together. I'm just going to take off the end. So that was my selvage. So, so straightening it up. Straighten it up. And the way that you look to straighten it up is that you'll make sure. So these did start off straight. The seam, seams might not be straight, but your seam is now your straight reference. Yeah. So even if your seam is wonky, that's your reference point. So line it up. I've lined it up with one of my markings and just taken that off. And now I've got to subcut this. So what I'll do is I'll subcut one that I've already started. So done exactly the same thing. It's the opposite colourway, but it doesn't matter. So this is my F and G colourway. <laughs> uh, and they are going to be an inch and a half wide. And how do I know that? Because it tells me on the instructions. So it's not something I've just made up. Although I do make lots of things up. But I didn't make that up. So you just cut them. And this is what you call subcutting. 
Now the creative grid rulers are, are really, really useful. There's lots on the website of the, the different sizes. I think Jules is using an eight inch square. Um, they're brilliant because they've got these little grippy bits on the bottom, which means that you haven't got to worry that anything's shifting unless you want it to. So I'm just lining up an inch and a half. So you go through all of your strip and you end up with 16 of those for each colour set. So this is my F and G colour set. <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? That's that one. And then I've also got one which is a D and an E. So I'm going to put those to the side now. Done with that for a minute. So the next thing that we're going to do is deal with our squares. So we're going to go and make some half square triangles. So the thing that we need for those are some full squares. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is you'll take one of the squares and they said on here to take C square. It doesn't really matter, but I think the reason they've said C square is because they have put that as the light green. So the lighter fabric, the more you'll see. Take your good old friction pen and you just need to go draw a diagonal corner to corner. So let's do a few of these. When you're drawing a diagonal on the back of a square, these edges are cut on the straight grain, which means they're very stable yeah. edges. You're not working with bias edges. No. Now, no. As soon as you go from corner to corner, you're working on a bias. Okay. So when you're marking your edges, uh, your center line, go from the center out, from the center out, just so that you don't drag it up and down and you're not distorting it. The whole point about using um, accurate seam allowances and everything else, making it square and, and all the rest of it, is that you're keeping it square. Yeah. You're keeping it in line. So if you then go and start distorting your biases now, things are going to go a bit more mm -hmm. wonky. I mean, they might anyway, but there's less chance <laughs> if you're careful now. Well, that's it. You're putting yourself in the best position yes. for it to all go to plan. <laughs> Rather than go to pot. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do a couple of these. And the next thing that we're going to do is to make them into the half squares. Now, this is a favourite bit for me because I love chain piecing. Why is that? <laughs> Just because it's fun. It speeds up time and it's, sorry, it sounds like I'm, it's really fun. I'm a bit of an anorak, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it means that you don't, yes, you're speeding up time, you're not using so much thread, um, and it just, yeah, it just rocks along, really. Again, with your precision, the accuracy, I feel like you get on a bit of a roll and you get that accurate yeah. um, stitching. Yeah, you do. Doing, yeah. Are you going to be sewing on the line or a quarter of an inch to the So, side? I'm making two. Right. So, if you're making two, you want them both to be equal. Mm -hmm. So, if you were sewing on the line, one would be, uh, have a, a, a seam allowance and the other would be smaller. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what I'll do, I'll actually do one on the line and I'll do one properly and you'll see the difference in oh, the okay. sizes. Um, so if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do a quarter of an inch from that line on each side. So this is, this is the fun bit because you, can, you don't even have to take it off the machine. You can just kind of whiz it along. <laughs> Obviously you won't use your thread cutter because that that completely defeats the object so keep <laughs> chain your, piecing. Yeah. Don't use your thread cutter yeah. at the end. So right sides together. I'm running my um, quarter an inch guide along the, uh, the line that I've drawn. So you guide on the line and then you sew quarter an inch to the side of it. So we'll do another one and then I'll just turn it around as well. So right sides together. And because you've only just cut these, they should be all square. You shouldn't need to pin. If you want to pin, go ahead. It's, it's, it's your call. The fabric blender that Jules is working with is the yellow pattern three shades, um, the main graphic, which is $39.99. You're getting a lot of fabric. It's such a great chance to try out these different blocks, try out piecing if you've never done it before. And um, especially these smaller scale prints, they are perfect for this, aren't they? You're not losing any of those lovely fabrics. No, it's nice. 
So what I've done is I have not even taken it off the machine. I've just yeah. turned it around. And again, I'm putting it on the line and sewing the opposite side. Now, I cleverly chose matching thread. <laughs> <laughs> and so at home, that's what you would do yeah. for telly. Yeah. Sorry, I should have put the see. black in there, shouldn't I? <laughs> and then this one's flipped over, so I'm going to just flip it back. So I've got my line there. And this time I can cut it. And then the one that I was going to do intentionally wrong, I'll just do this one and sew it on the line. Okay, so the next thing that you do is that you snip these apart. So you can see how much thread w there was between those two. Uh -huh. Really minimal amount of thread. Whereas when you have an end, you've got certainly lots more than that. Well, I suppose it all adds up, doesn't yeah. it? It yeah. does add up in the end. Yeah. I mean, not that we're kind of misers, but, you know, in this day and age, we like to conserve where Absolutely. we can. Absolutely. So on these, I'm going to cut now along... Ah, are you cutting down your friction pen line? I am. Right. With hopefully a nice... See, so I've seen so many different ways of making half square triangles. There are, there, aren't there? there are quite a few different ways. Um, and I think, you know, if you're creating your own pattern or if you want to see what it, you know, what one thing does and you'll lose the size of different things, cutting it in different ways, um, just play around with it and see what variations you get. With this, uh, with this method, do I need to then trim it to square it up to the right size or would this be the right size? Um, leave it Yeah. at the moment. Um, I didn't trim any of mine. Brilliant. Uh, she doesn't recommend you trimming it. Well, she doesn't mention trimming them. Um, if you've gone completely out, then yeah, you'll need to, but they're pretty consistent when you do it that way. Oh, that's good. And then this one is where I have just sewn down the centre. So you would normally cut it at a quarter of an inch seam. So this one you did to just show us. Yeah. If you sew down the centre, it's, you get a smaller one and a larger one. Yeah. So choosing my thing so that is the size and you end up with two triangles that effectively are waste well not waste but you use them for a different project whereas this is the size of the one that I've just and you'll just get two sewn. at the Can same time yeah. yeah you get two at the same time and this is a, at least a quarter of an inch yeah. smaller yeah so it's going to throw your pattern out uh, so yes, remember to sew either side. And once you've done that, then you'll be just pressing those open. So let's um, do a little bit of pressing as well. So when you're pressing, so is there a, is there um, a direction that you need to press your seams if you say we've got to do some matching? So no. Okay. But I would go towards the dark side just out of out of kind of habit. Yeah. Um, you can, if you want to, press your seams open and flat. Mm -hmm. It's more time consuming if yeah. you do that, really. Um, so when you're pressing to the, to the dark, you just set your seam, lift up the dark fabric and roll in and press over. So wherever you're lifting your fabric. So have the fabric that you want to press towards on the top. Yes. Yeah. You just lift it and roll it. Set your seam first, as in you're settling the, the thread down into the fabric so it's not a bump. Mm -hmm. uh, and then that means it's only a very small amount of difference, but it just means your seam's flatter. And that's what you want, really, to match things up. Oh, it makes such a difference. When you start in quilting, I could not believe. I thought, well, no, you don't need to keep pressing yeah. this much, surely, but it makes such a difference. I can't be bothered to press that. <laughs> and it does make such a difference, doesn't it, George? Yeah. 
and also it's very satisfying yeah yes if you've got to write iron the shirts and things like that Isn't that's that boring satisfying? but, but yeah. this is quite satisfying oh after, there's a yeah. difference between pressing and uh, ironing isn't yes there? absolutely Massive absolutely ironing, but pressing like you said it's very satisfying <laughs> just before you go any further can we just do a quick recap um the book that we're working from is very popular always very very popular um it's brilliant to know that you've got some quilts that you can do quite quickly which is is actually a rarity normally we're talking about projects that might take weeks or months whereas you've got some really achievable projects in here which as a beginner if you are starting a new year wanting to do a new craft or a new hobby I think it's important that you can see results quite quickly and there are some really lovely projects in here um, that are going to use some of your favorite prints some of your larger scale prints uh, and showcase those beautifully, but also come together quite quickly. So the one that we're working from was the uh, was the three uh, the three shades of green table topper. Obviously, we're working with different colours today, but giving you a beautiful lap quilt or tabletop quilt. So the colour that Jules is working with is yellow. You get a metre and a half with a saving today, can I add? You're saving £5.50, actually. We've done the maths. And it's actually even more so than what we've put in the graphics. What is it? We are un under sell and over deliver, under promise and over deliver. One of those. Is that a saying? Yes. yes. <laughs> um, so you've got a metre and a half of the lovely jars. Then you've also got a metre of your floral and a metre of this really cool one. Look, with little um, little hashtags. Just 39 99 little crisscrosses. That's so beautiful for spring. I am thinking, actually, this would make a nice size, a little picnic blanket outside. Yeah. Or a play mat. I'm thinking for Maisie out in the garden this year, it's going to be so different yeah. to last year. But this is going to be so perfect. Get a bit of OD coat on there. You're Absolutely. away. Absolutely. I was thinking, also, you could back it with some of the fleece that we've got in, oh, the, yeah. in the next hour and have it as um, like a, a, a cuddle, lap quill, snuggle a snuggle thing. blanket. Yeah, yeah. 39.99 absolutely amazing value to say you're saving today 550 um we've then got paul's favorite oh this is very popular remember a meter and a half of this lovely hot tomato color with the texture this is going to be your central one and then um you've also got the two complementing fabrics as well a meter of each of these it's a lot of fabric if you were to lay this all out three and a half meters of fabric it's a lot isn't it mm. well i was thinking you know the one that's the the next one which is just the color block one yeah you could actually make a dress a color block dress out of that lot couldn't you? oh this is it with yeah. the savings think outside of the box you're getting the book you don't get that in the in the um in the in the bundles so you can get that separately if you want but even think of different projects that you've got already at home that these fabrics are going to lend themselves to because that's a lot of fabric um, it doesn't need to necessarily just be for quilting for anybody who got Stuart Hillard's bags uh, for life book there's some yeah. lovely bag projects you could do the yeah. picnic blanket bags loads the one that's already been made up in the blues has been the most popular yes you've got the exclusive Japanese fabric brick here as well as the Lewis and Irene meter and a half and a meter of the blue see that one yeah it would be a lovely dress wouldn't it mm, I like that fabric really nice that's such a great combo isn't it yeah. this one's going to be your main print remember for your for your uh, borders and your binding it's also used still in uh, in the blocks obviously the big central squares that you see on the blocks uh, plus you're getting your two fabrics as well which are meter cut pieces making your table topper fabric uh, uh, quilt for just 39.99 uh, the other bundle by the way the solids very popular indeed the price of it is amazing it makes you do have make another saving on this one this is just 23.99 crazy for a meter and a half of your cadet blue a meter of, I think this was called slate and then a meter of cream as well 23.99 right so we've done a half square triangle yeah so now I'm just going to show you quickly how to get to there are two other cuts that you need to make on your main squares okay. and, and it will can give you an idea as to which one's which but on your H squares you need the square cutting half so it's diagonal to diagonal and just cut straight up the diagonal and then for the I and J, mm -hmm. you need this cut and 
at right angles to it. So when I'm cutting to make four triangles out of a square, I put it on my cutting mat and I have it point to point so it's on point because that means that I don't have to move my cutting mat. And I'm not cutting towards me, I'm just cutting across the way. Oh yeah, that's good. And they're all cut perfectly because I haven't had to move them, I had to have to fiddle around. Mm -hmm. So these are, well, they would be cut perfectly, I forgot enough Sharp pressure on my <laughs> but you know where I'm going with so with those the h square is cut in half so I've done that and the post-it note again yeah post-it note and the i and the j are cut in quarters like this one so the next thing that you'll do is to make another unit so we're making lots of units and then it all come together quite quickly okay so that means that you can get your head around what unit you're making make a batch of them and and you won't go wrong then you if you keep making your batches so on this one we have got a unit that we're going to let me show you on here make a triangle out of so i've got two right angles here i want those right angles to face each other so that was my i and that was my j so that's how i want them to be okay so if you pop them on your cutting mat like that take them from there and sew them together. You get yourself a bit of a production line going there, yeah. can't you? So you won't go wrong. So again, you we're lining them chain up. piecing. Chain piecing. Now what I would do is, although I put them that way up on the cutting mat, because that matches that and it's the brains in gear, I'm actually going to sew it from the right angle um, because feeding the point through, sometimes it can ruck underneath there. So if you feed it the other way, um, but if you folded it like that, you know which way you're going with it. Yeah, and I think sometimes if you start at a point, it can drag down into the yeah. the machine a bit, whereas it, the machine tends to like sewing from a straight edge, isn't it, better than yeah. the edge? It, Morning, Carol. It grabs it better on both of the um, uh, feed dogs. This is another of. benefit, actually, of chain piecing, is I find that it does eliminate that process of being dragged down into the feed dogs. Yeah. It, if you just do one continuous um, sort of stitch line, it's going to stop getting that bird's nest underneath your fabric. Which... It's because the bobbin thread's already up, yeah. so you haven't got to worry about that. Well done on the machine, by the way. There's now two machines <gasps> left. That's it. Who's it going to be? <laughs> That's a lovely bit of post, isn't it, when you get a new machine. Oh. New year, new machine. Yeah. How exciting. We'll talk about a bit more about it at 10 o'clock, by the way. It is good. Every time I come to do a show, I think... The only thing that I can find that's threaded up halfway decent is one of these. Yeah. Oh, well, I even <laughs> said to you, we, we said this morning, you said, is there any machine that you want me to use in particular? We just said, use whichever one you're comfortable with. Which one did she go for? 578. I said, yep. I was like, you planned it. We yeah. found out that we only had a few of them in stock left. So, yes, I'm pleased that you, uh, you like that one. I think because generally I'm just doing straight stitching on the show, although I will be doing zigzag, but hardly ever do I do... Um, decorative stitches or buttonholes or anything no. like that so there's no kind of uh, necessity in in a way for me to use anything different on the show but obviously it's nice to have at home <laughs> hi Vix Jules and team I finally treat myself to the 578 Yay! I'm just a little bit excited love straightforward explanation as well that's lovely <laughs> Helen oh Helen. you'll love it yeah, you'll love it, definitely. You are in for a treat. Oh, hello. Helen, you've got the thread cutter, you've got an alphabet, so you can do personalising and monogramming. What I love about it as well is it's got a memory, so there's lots of pictorial stitches. It's not an embroidery machine, but you've got loads of pictorial stitches. You've even got, like, sewing ones and everything, so I'll get a bit carried away. <laughs> Helen, watch in the next hour, and I'll show you some more cool things about it. I'm sure you've um, watched lots of demos if you've been umming and ahhing and finally treating yourself. Very exciting. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so we've got our IJ units as well. I'll just refer to the letters, but you'll see when you get into the whole thing. Um, I'm just wondering if I've got any done, because we're motoring Don't or not. Don't you worry about yeah, time. We okay? We're only on our own in the next hour, so oh. you have as long as you want. <laughs> so we need to, again, give these a press. Um, and we're doing the... I love this little iron. Don't have to faff about with it. So again, we're going to the dark. Sometimes um, I found when I was putting them together, not always, but sometimes it didn't work, but it's quite easy to, to jiggle them around. You can even open a seam if you wanted to. So, so 
So you've got your little triangles. Have you got any New Year's resolutions, Jules? Do you make New Year's resolutions? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too late. Don't have that to was straight away. <laughs> that was my issue. That Those my daughters were saying, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to do it. What was yours, Paul? What do you mean? When is it too late to say Happy New Year? I said it today, it's the 12th. No, it's not too late. I think it's if you haven't seen someone. Oh, I suppose, though, if yeah. I haven't seen somebody and then it'd be in like no November. <laughs> Happy New Year, by the way, I've not seen you. <laughs> Did I, you have a nice 2022? <laughs> I don't actually think that it's, it's too late now, though. I think in January it oh, can still be well. Happy New Year. Reject those two, because I've done it the wrong way around for whatever reason. Anyway, you can unpick. There's couple to unpick but I'm not going to <laughs> right so those are my IJ units okay so the next thing that we're going to do is to combine it so we can get this square going yeah so it all gets exciting now you think have I got it right yes let's hope so <laughs> so this is my H so following my diagram and this is my IJ and they they will, will match will match they will match so what I would do just because some things do go awry and it's better to have it matching in the centre than it is the edges. It's just quickly finger mark the centre so that you can line up your centre seam from your mixed block okay. to this one. And I will... Oh, will you use pin? <gasps> She's I uh, will use a pin just down the centre. Okay. And you can chain piece these all if you want to as well, but I think... We'll just do one and I'll show you. Jules, you always explain things so beautifully. Love the demos. I always love her outfit. Oh, oh I love it. Your you. shirt today is amazing, Jules. Thank um, you. It's got foxes on. Did you see? Is it a mermaid pinafore or dungarees? It looks fab, said Collector of Merseyside. <laughs> no, it's a pinafore. I've got legs today. Pinafore <laughs> is it a me make. Did you make it? No, I didn't, sadly. But, um, I might be you taking it done. apart yeah. <laughs> and making it when I'm fed up with this pattern. <laughs> but it's very comfortable, so thank you for saying thank you. <laughs> so I've got a few of these made, so I'll just do a quick press on this and you'll see how that comes together. So now you can see you have got some dog ears, but don't worry too much about them. You can uh, trim them off if you want to. Um, it does get a bit tedious, but you, you can, if you, if your seams are getting a bit bulky, which right. they might, so if you feel happy, you can trim them off. A again, um, it's not going to make a difference to your end block, but it will, no. like I said, reduce the bulk a bit. Yeah. So there we go. So that, those are going to be the H configuration blocks, which miraculously nice. there's a few more there. So I'll label that up because I'm no doubt I'll have to finish stuff later. So even though if you look at it and you think, oh, there's a lot of half square triangles there, there's a lot of quarter square triangles, you get yourself in a production line, you're making these yeah, yeah. differently. Yeah. yeah, it's not, not horrendous really ah. by any means. So the next thing that we're going to do is join this little lot together. So these are my VC squares. Um, and what we'll do is we need to add a little bit onto the BC squares. So you will add the strip that you've cut. Now in the instructions, it says that you need to cut one, one and a half inch strip mm -hmm. per uh, lighter two colors of fabric. So these two colors of fabric, one, one and a half and two, three and a half. Right. And the reason that you're doing that is that the three and a half one, you are going to line it up along the edge sew it on and trim it off yeah fine however i measured that and thought i don't want to do that mm -hmm. so i want i made it so that i had two one and a half strips and one three and a half strip you get it all out of your fabric don't worry but by doing that what you can then do is take your whichever strip it is the relevant strip and it tells you on here take your relevant strip and you can piece it down the side so you might want to pin it 
But effectively, you're ending up with, let's put it top and bottom and you'll see. What you want is that. So you can either cut each piece for that, yeah. or you can cut a long strip and add them all on. Oh, good idea. Just have a little gap in between. You will need to straighten them up. You'll need to do some cutting, but I just Is think this that your that hack is, again? Yeah. Anything that makes it easier and lazier. <laughs> Another quick and lazy tip. <laughs> no, these are all great uh, hacks. I love a time-saving hack. So if you just, I'll just do three and then you'll see that it actually works out the same as if you were doing it the other way. So, oops. So have your um, strip, so your, your unseen strip on the bottom, because it feeds through better, mm -hmm. and have all your um, seams on the top so that you can check where the seams are going to be. And then just whiz down them. So you might want to pin or not, depending on how you feel. The only thing with um, this machine on the quarter and inch foot, it's got a guide. My one at home hasn't got a guide and you can do it probably a little bit easier when there isn't a guide on it. Because sometimes if you've left the dog ear at the end, it kind of goes into where the guide is. So you just have to watch it, make sure that it stays level. Or trim the, trim the dog ear off, whichever way around. So by doing that, you can just then yeah, this is your trimming bit. Trim it up, and I would trim it one side so that those are level, and then open that out. You need new blade jewels. I really should. You've bring. got two blades. I know. There. Which one's sharper? Neither. Are these yours? No. Or these ours? No. Oh, I'm going to bring need, mine. <laughs> I was going to say blade mask. We definitely need to change our blades. <laughs> right. Okay. So by trimming one side off the strip, you can just concentrate on the other side to get it level. And again, use your seam as the kind of level marker and then trim it up. So those are your little units. And now what we're going to need to do is join those two together. So I get I've done all the same colour there. Uh, I just need one of a different colour. We've literally got a few minutes left, Jules. I knew this was going to happen. So what you would do now, you do your other blocks okay. with the... So that would have, on this side, it would have a dark colour. I'm with you. So you'd end up with blocks such as this. So that on one side. Yeah. And that on the other side. Then yeah. we're going to attach the relevant top block. So this is the one that I've just done. Yeah. So this will have that at the top of it. Mm -hmm. So all you need to do is, and this is where you need to look at your seams. So on here, you'll just need to make sure that the seams go in the opposite way, and then you can lock your seams. So ah. if you feed it down. Yeah, would you pin there then? I would definitely pin there. And I would also pin at the end because when you're whizzing along them, sometimes that goes askew. So I'd just pin there as well. It'll make a difference, won't it? And yeah. I mean, it takes seconds more to pin and it does make yeah. a difference that they're going to lock. So once you've got those blocks made, you're going to join two together. So you'll have this okay. going on. So it's just another just seam. Just down slightly, sorry. Or Joe come up, that's it, thank you. Yeah. So it's just another seam here that you join together. Mm -hmm. So you'll make, a few of those ones. So your centre panel. It's a really clever block, actually, yeah. isn't it? Looks way more complicated yeah, than it is. It does. So your centre panel is 
an A block, which is your biggest square. Okay. Fold that in half so you know where your centre line is. Yeah. Line up one of these against it. No uh, points to match there, just no. to make sure it's central. Yeah. So that will be that one. So we're getting to just, just do the pins now. So that will be your centre line. And then the top block is two of the side panels that we just made, uh -huh. plus these triangles that we just we made earlier, um, adding those onto the side. So that's that's the top. Yeah. It's also the bottom. Oh, nice! So it's that so again repeated. So you've got one there, and you've got one that away. Okay. And once you've done that, that is actually your. It's back. the same again, repeated four times. Yeah. So you're stitching the rows together. Yeah. I'm with you. And then that will go that away and another one there. So that will be what your yellow mm -hmm. will look like as a block. And as you say, you get four of those. So side by side, top and bottom, stitch them side by side and then stitch that to the top. And once you've done that, then you'll put your sashing around it. So you'll have already cut various strips and it'll kind of go down the side. So right. down the side and then across top and bottom. So that's effectively... Oh, I love seeing that come together now. That looks lovely in this colour. That is going to be what the quilt will look like, but four of them. Yeah. But you could do... Just that. A big floor cushion. Yeah. And that would be fab. Absolutely. Well, you could do a few of those, couldn't you, with the amount of fabric yeah. that you get? Yeah. Oh, so gorgeous. it is very straightforward. Um, it looks complicated, but when you break it down into just combining blocks together, little uh, half square triangles together, it's very straightforward. And that's a great thing with the Annex Quilting, but is it, it does literally break it down step by step, and that's what you've yeah. just been doing. Follow your instructions, jot down today's date. We've gone through all of the elements, really, of that block, yeah. and um, yeah, watch it back. Thank you ever so much, Jules. That's all right. Oh, we're going under the sea, Money. under the sea. Um, <laughs> I bet your daughter loved these. I nearly had to kind of drag her out of it, oh. bless her. She went, oh, I just got a look for you, Mummy. It went, okay. How is your daughter, 12? 12. Does she love mermaids? Yeah, and, oh, yeah. well, goodness. anything ethereal blesser oh look at her <laughs> look at her with a plot and so everything I, she's like Ariel yeah guess what I've got to make when I get home yeah mm. I was going to say I, I was going to say I bet these have already got home please, please leave some lovely. fleece for me <laughs> uh, coming up in the next hour with Jules we've got the mermaid blanket and we've also got the uh, the mermaid right so next hour bit of a change of plan what was it that I was hearing you talking about just then what, what is it a bit of a surprise maybe a surprise after the break stay exactly <laughs> where you are do not go anywhere i've got quilting toys and uh, tools toys and maybe also a surprise don't go anywhere we're back after this <laughs> are you a fan of sewing street and yarn lane why not join our growing facebook fans pages just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring, and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street's Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares, and needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. 
If you have any issues, email us and Director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello, I'm Jane Greenoff and I'm stood in the barn here at Pink's Barn in Gloucestershire, England, which is where I live with my husband, and I stitch. I, st I think I stitch in my sleep. Um, I've certainly been stitching for over 30 years now, and by stitching I'm talking about counted cross stitch, or counted embroidery in general terms. I also collect old samplers, and I've got one to show you here. Now, if this smashing, it was actually stitched in 1796, by a little girl of eight or nine. And it's absolutely charming. So I collect antiques. I love to draw and create antiques for the future and look forward to seeing you all on Sewing Street sometime in the future. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring, and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares, and needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and Director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello, I'm Jane Greenoff and I'm stood in the barn here at Pink's Barn in Gloucestershire, England, which is where I live with my husband, and I stitch. I, st I think I stitch in my sleep. Um, I've certainly been stitching for over 30 years now, and by stitching, I'm talking about counted cross stitch, or counted embroidery in general terms. I also collect old samplers, and I've got one to show you here. Now, if this smashing, it was actually stitched in 1796, by a little girl of eight or nine. And it's absolutely charming. So I collect antiques. I love to draw and create antiques for the future and look forward to seeing you all on Sewing Street sometime in the future.
Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Right, sorry about the slightly longer break. There is a reason behind it. Can I just give you a bit of a um, sneak peek? A bit of a clue. Right, so I was supposed to be standing here with a 570A, by the way, um, and they've all sold out. Well done if you managed to get it. And I would normally sit and talk through bits, but there's no point because they've all sold out. So if there's anything anybody who's bought one wants to know about it, please let me know and I can explain or I can talk through. Um, as I did say, I'd go through it. So let me know if there's anything you want to know about it. But that's the 570A. Um, so I said there was going to be a bit of surprise. There is going to be a surprise before the end of this hour. And this is a clue. It is absolutely amazing. It is the Tula Pink quilt kit. Um, we're curious and curious arranged. It's absolutely gorgeous. And we got a surprise. A special somebody is coming on air with a bit of a surprise. Need I say any more? Uh, anyway, that's coming up before the end of the hour. Now, we're talking about New Year, and it's not too late to say Happy New Year to everybody. It's only the 12th of Jan. So I was saying Happy New Year to Jules, talk about New Year's resolutions, New Year, new crafts. Now, my very good friend, Delphine Brooks, um, she does something that's called a felt and fizz night at our local pub. And I haven't been to one yet because she hasn't done one this year. She's been too busy here with us. So I've said to her, can we come over to yours or come to mine and let's do a felt and fizz night. So I'm getting myself one of these ready for our felt and fizz night and I urge everybody at home to get involved too. Um, now this is a brilliant starter kit which Delphine actually got in with our team to get everything that you need to get starting with needle felting. Now if you've never seen needle felted designs before, um, they're absolutely amazing. Delphine does beautiful landscaped ones uh, that are uh, like three-dimensional. In fact, I asked Delphine, I said, look, I will buy one of them from you for my mom's birthday. And then I said, look, let me sort one for Christmas. And we've just gone round and round. Um, uh, but I'm definitely going to be purchasing one. Or I could make my own. I just get, you know, when you look at Delphine's and you think, oh, will mine ever look that good? They will. I've seen them on uh, the, the Festival of Quilts, lots of people who are doing her tutorials and they end up you know just like Delphine's looking amazing and artistic so you get in here your felt block which is what you do your needle uh, felting with you get your needles as well so this one has seven needles so you get all of your wool and you punch it into your felt which you use your felting block uh, to protect your surface and then we also have put in there this is what Delphine's put with the team uh, together so she's put your own her own needle um, felting starter kit together this one's got three needles so this would be for more finer detail pieces so if you're just doing strips maybe a felt that you're creating trees or you're creating different colors then you would use the three needles and then the one needle is for really fine detail as well but this is the one that you're going to be made mainly using now for the whole bundle we're less than 20 pounds do i want to see what sorry Oh, we can do them individually as well, but for the whole bundle, it's just £19.96. Now, what other, what other hobby can you start where you get everything that you need to get going with a budget of £20? How good is that? So you can get all of these uh, bits and bobs ready to go. Maybe you're buying multiple for, for friends or getting somebody else into into, uh, into needle felting. This is perfect. There are also some really lovely toys that you can make needle felted i was on our sister channel jewelry maker and they have um lovely mel green who does the most amazing figures as well little toys or um little animals woodland creatures she's done she's done christmas decorations all with needle felting it's so so clever so addictive and just really really beautiful £19.96 for your whole starter kit. We are limited on the starter kits now. So if you are starting a new hit hobby, new craft this year, this is a really good one to start with. And have a look on YouTube. See if you can find any of Delphine's tutorials of needle felting. She's done lots of different workshops here live on air so you can learn lots of the techniques there with her. We do have the film felting block available individually as well. 
Now this is a great price, this is only $1.99. If you do want to get multiple blocks maybe, if you're getting friends needle felting, obviously you've got the different needles in the starter block, but if you want another um, felting block, it's only £1.99. And then the largest tool is the seven needle. Now you can buy replacement needles for this if they start to get blood. Be very, very aware that they are very, very sharp. Inside there are seven needles, which you literally just punch up and down in a vertical motion. You don't want to break your need needles. Pardon, sorry. Nine pounds, 99. And this is going to be probably your most used tool for needle felting. This is the one that we see Delphine using a lot. Uh, we also have the three needle one individually. It does show you on the back as well how um, to replace any needles. Needle felting with three needles, quick and easy. Used with felt, wool, denim, fleece as well. Untwist and remove handle, remove the placement needle and add necessary attachment, um, reattach the handle. So it shows you how to, uh, to use the needle felting here, but also how to replace your needles. Three needles, just five pounds and 99 pence. And then finally, we've got the singular needle. Be very, very careful with these as they are very sharp but this would be perfect for all of your fine detail so if you're doing for example really little strands of um of, of trees or detail in faces with animals that you're making if you're just wanting to add different strands of wool different color strands singular color strands then you can use this one as well that's your felting needle for just £1.99. A brilliant addition to my embellishment toolbox. So Sarah, thank you for your FIFO review. This is an independent reviewer. When you purchase uh, any product from us, you'll get an email if you wouldn't mind leaving us a review. This would be brilliant. A wonderful little tool. The single needle felting tool is easy to use and handle. As I suppose it's got this uh, rubber grip, so it feels like a, a, using a pen, I suppose. It does say, just remember to go uh, vertical don't go in at an angle if you are going in at an angle still remember that it, it's going um, straight you're not bending your needle at all pound ninety-nine. and don't forget for the full shebang you can get your felt your foam needle uh, felting block and the whole bundle sold out just check in you're getting your seven needles your punch your three needle punch and then your singular plus your felting block Sold out, sold out as a kit. Right, we've got a tool back in stock. Do you know who absolutely loves this one? John Scott as well. This is a brilliant tool. Um, now, I always worry about burning my fingers. If you're working with a, a mini iron, if you're doing any quilting, if you're doing any patchwork, if you're doing any dressmaking where you're using your iron, this is brilliant as it's a silicon long stiletto. Well, it's got the silicon end. It's also got that plastic um, body, which is designed to use like your finger, basically. You, you hold on to it. Uh, let me, is this, have you got an open one or am I? Thank you. I'll open this one. The silicon tip means it's heat resistant. So if you are doing any ironing, any pressing, you don't you don't want to get your hand near it. Oh no, I'm making a right pig's ear of this. <laughs> Portia said, whatever you do, don't open it. So let me get my mat. Um, I might need to plug my iron in as well. That might help. Let's plug me in. Sorry, just doing, um, just getting the floor manager to plug it in. <laughs> so we'll look through it first whilst it's just heating up. Also, if you're, if you're working with an overlocker, for example, obviously it's got a knife. You do not want to get your hands anywhere near the edge of your overlocker and you can't use pins with it. So if something shimmies out the way and you just want to hold something in place, this is perfect. It's got the silicon tip on the one side. You can also use it as your pokey tool. It's got a nice point on the end. It's not sharp though. So it's better than using your scissors for poking out any edges with your, with your dressmaking for collars. If you're doing Peter Pan collars, you want to get this nice crisp seam. If you want to do, um, if you're doing little 
little bags or points where you, you, you've got to um, bag things out and you want to get your points with toy making. This is going to be really useful for your stuffing as well in the fin, in the tail of the mermaid for the toy that we're going to do, as you can get right to the point of the fin and get this lovely shape on the edge of the tail. Um, but also, as I said, it's very useful to use in conjunction with your iron. So if you are pressing, Instead of getting your hand near, if you're holding something in place, if you need to make sure that something's held in place, you can hold it right up to the iron and it's heat resistant. So instead of getting your fingers in the way or instead of um, worrying about melting something uh, that's plastic end, it has got that stiletto tip to it that is flexible, but also got the silicon head so it's heat resistant. So you've got your stiletto with the heat, uh, the heat resistant end and also your pokey tool on the end. And it's only $12.99. This has always been one of our favourite tools over from a previous slice of sewing quarter. Imagine if you're doing things like a binding. So if you're doing your lovely mitered corner, obviously I'm not doing it properly, but if you imagine you've got to do something that you've got your lovely mitered corner. I'm just going to do a folded edge instead of a mitered corner. But you imagine you're holding this in place. You want to then give that all a good press down. You're not getting your fingers anywhere near the end. We've got a really good quantity on this today. Really good quantity. I'm so pleased that it's back in stock. Your Clover Stiletto for £12.99. For poking out any of your... Uh, for poking any of your, uh, your end out as well. I'm thinking for the toy making show that we've got coming up next, The Mermaid, this is going to be brilliant. There's lots of demonstrations of this on air. I remember watching one. So it says here, control fabric when you're sewing. So if you're using a stitch, if you are using your sewing machine, you don't want to get your hand near the needle, obviously. Um, maybe you're not using pins. You can control the fabric as it has got that uh, really lovely silicon uh, edge is going to have a bit of friction as well isn't it so it's going to hold your fabric down holding it literally like a pen so you can literally just hold this like a pen and um, uh, and use it hold fabric near heat of an iron without it melting I like that it's really well designed that it's got this sort of tapered edge you can see so it will just sit flat to your table when you're holding it near your fabric Obviously, be careful, do not press the iron directly onto the tool as this part is plastic, but this is your heat resistant part that's silicon. Uh, ideal to use with your sewing machine, with your overlocker, with your iron as well. Just £12.99 today. If you have got it in your basket, check out as soon as you can. Brilliant for binding, I hadn't thought of that. But if you are doing anything where you need to get right into the corners uh, and you're using a larger domestic iron, it's sometimes difficult to, to get to the corners without getting your hand uh, close to it. So this is just replacing your hand, keeping it away from the heat. Ideal for with your sewing machine. I remember when Becky Alexandra Frost stitched over her finger oh my word it was so sore all her nail you can only imagine obviously your sewing machine is sharp now instead if you use your stiletto to hold your fabric in place as you're stitching you can still get the accuracy it's still going to hold it down but you're not getting your hand anywhere near uh, the needle hence why I'm suggesting using it with an overlocker as well you can't use pins with an overlocker and you certainly don't want to get your hand near them uh, back in stock today added to baskets just £12.99 very very useful it's one of those tools that you probably think do I need it will I use it but then when you've got it you wonder how you went without it for so long and you'll find different uses for it as I say it's like a Derek the Dobber as well here we go message from collector in Staffordshire morning Vicky I use my clothes a hand all the time brilliant bit of kit thank you mandy it it is a, like another hand isn't it it's like having that extra uh, finger isn't it <laughs> give us a hand here you go it's like having just that extra finger to be able to hold things in place without getting your heat anything in it <laughs> you know that famous saying <laughs> Oh, I don't know why that's tickled me. Right, so. 
<laughs> not the clover finger right oh dear um i've got so much still to talk about what should we go for now should we do the rotary cutter and blades we've got a bundle of rotary cutter and blades the reason i want to show this is because pure poor jules over there she was using our blunt blade wasn't she this is brilliant because not only does it become with your sharp blade it also comes with two replacements so your 28 millimeter blade is ideal for cutting curves if you've got any of delphine's applique projects then this is perfect fifteen pounds and 98 pence um this is your clover one which i love because let me see if i've got one open to the side of me here Oh, as if by magic, I do. So, it's got this lovely soft grip on the side here. So, even though you're looking at a 28 millimeter blade, this is generally a smaller blade than what you would use for your everyday cutting. It is ideal for cutting round curves. It's ideal for cutting out your F for using for FPP. It's going to be brilliant to use, as I say, for your applique templates, especially if you're doing Delphine's. Um, intricate curvy edges I, I wouldn't feel as in control using a larger blade whereas this is brilliant uh, it does come with the two replacement blades and these obviously can still be sharpened with you know the little purple uh, rotary blade sharpener you can use it with this as well it's got that safety lock you can use it as a right hander or a left hander you can swap the blade round at the moment as you can see it's got an R under there which means it's set up for a right hander um, functional design that fits in your hand for fine cutting so if you have got the 45 millimeter blade maybe you're looking at getting a 28 mil blade as well okay right do you know what we need more people involved we know that we've got a special surprise at the end of the hour if you want the whole bundle, three pounds less. There you go, saving three pounds. That's basically like getting your replacement blades for free, surely, isn't it? £12.98. And I like the fact that, can you see the replacement blades have also got this protective holder, so you're not touching the blade, which is obviously very important, as they are extremely sharp. Don't be afraid of using them, though. You can obviously, um, you can... Uh, You've got to just make sure that you're using it safely. Always cut away from yourself, as Jules was saying earlier. And always remember when you're not using your blade to lock it, to, to, to shut, the, shut the cover there. And you can actually change this, reverse the cover over if you're a left-hander. So you can change it around. There's the instructions on the back for how to do it. I think this is the first time that we've ever offered this with a saving, bundle with a saving, your clover rotary cutter and your 28 millimeter blade all for 12 pounds 98 it's very 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 busy by the way did you give me the bag for this joe which what, what did you put on the the desk what did you put what did you come and bring me why oh okay oh 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 so that was that uh, oh no that was this one well done £12.98. Oh no, hang on. We've got the blades on their own now. We've got the blades on their own. Don't you worry. Blades on their own. 28 millimetre blades. Right now. Stop right now. I'm just thinking. These ones are obviously designed for your clover, but I wonder if there's any other 28 mil blades that these uh, rotary cutters that these fit with. Maybe stick with the same brand for this one, just to be sure. If you've got the the, the rotary blade already, don't be cut short, called short by uh, like Jules was earlier on, where you're maybe just not quite catching, uh, or you're starting to slash your designer fabrics. We always talk about changing your machine needles. It's a good idea to always change your rotary blade before starting a new big project, especially if you're doing projects like Delphine's, uh, Applique, Sasha Tiger. There were loads of those projects <coughs> that she always recommended the 28 millimeter blade. And we always were out of stock when we had her shows. Definitely worth making the most of those two. Two 28 millimeter blades for just 6.99. Thank you, Paul. Um, Talking of changing your needles then, should we do these? Oh, also, sorry, 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 I'm speeding ahead. We've got four available of the rotary cutters on their own. If you do want that, it's £8.99. The Clover 28mm soft touch handle with the safety lock. Um, I know that lots of people favour the, the, the Clover brand, and I suppose at that price, it's a brilliant way to, to, 
to get those fine cut details, cutting curves, doing smaller projects, working with your FPP, the, the smaller rotary blades are always useful. Maybe start with your 45 millimeter. They do go as small as 18 millimeter rotary blades as well. But this is the nice one in the middle. So if you are doing more intricate cuts or um, as I said, curves, this one's gonna give you a bit more flexibility to do that. We talked about changing your rotary blade. Another thing that's very important is to change your needle. Now, all the 578s have now completely sold out. We'll have to look, have a look at what machines we've got in stock at the moment then. Now, they always say, please use the same bobbins and it's always a good idea to stick with you know your your, your needle as the same brand as well so if you've got an, a janome or an elna machine maybe you've just purchased the 570a uh, today do you want some extra needles i'll always remember um, a guest over at uh, sewing quarter actually who always would recommend the purple tip needles it says on the back here the purple tip needles efficiently prevent skipped stitches when sewing stretch fabrics, quilt layers, and also for sewing hems. Uh, it's, it's about having the right tools for the job, I suppose, isn't it? And don't get me wrong, there's universal needles that lots of people might not change between and just wing it, but having the right tool for the job and having the right needle for the job is going to help. If you find that your machine is skipping needles, uh, is, is skipping needles, is skipping stitches, it's a good idea to change your needle. That can often be the first troubleshoot that a manufacturer will tell you, re-thread your machine and change your needle and that will probably help. This one is designed to help to stop skip stitches, especially when you're working with jerseys and knit and stretch fabrics. So dressmakers, they're brilliant. We also have the red tip needles. Oh, I'm not seeing the red tip. Right. There's only two available. This is the larger eye and groove to accommodate metallic threads. Right, we're going to be working with metallic threads in the next hour for the fin, uh, for the tail of the mermaid blanket. If you are working with metallic threads, then you do need the right needle for the job. These are again to go with your Janome machine or your Elna machine, size 14s, pack of five, ideal for with your metallic threads. Um, they are really, really limited if you need to stock up on those. We don't normally bring those on the show, but it's just good so you can see what we have available on our web shop. These ones are your super stretch, so your ballpoint needles, um, which are obviously, as it says on the tin, for your super stretch. So rounded tip needle for sewing knitted fabrics. And the reason it being is normal needles obviously have got a sharp point that pierce through the fibers, whereas these separate the fibers and go between them. So you're not actually piercing the, uh, the knit or the jersey fabric you're working with. Just five pounds 50. If you're working with stretchy fabrics, get yourself the right needles. It's always good to have in your stash. Five pound 50, if you've opened your order already today, that's one of those to just add to your order. By the way, loads of you now checking out on the stiletto tool. If you did manage to get it well done, there are still availability. Um, is there anything you want to do next, Paul? Maybe stripology, please. Um, I don't know whether we've got any of the other sizes available in stock. I think, if, as far as I'm aware, the large one is now sold out. Um, there was the squared one on, I think, the other day. But the mini, oh, is brilliant. If you want to dip your toe into the world of creative grids, um, or if you're expanding your stash, maybe you've already got the larger stripology and you're thinking, right, I'm ready to get the smaller one now as well. I always thought, if you've got the larger one, would you need the smaller one? But actually, this is brilliant for more intricate cuts. If you're working from charm packs, if you're working from fat quarters, Joe, could you do me a huge favour? Could you come and see if in the box here you can see this one open? No problem if you can't, but well, it's worth having a quick look as I'm talking through. So. This here is a pamphlet which has got all your instructions in. Don't throw that away. My producer cat will always recommend to laminate it, keep hold of it, look after it. It's got a QR code as well, which has got um, lots of demonstrations on YouTube, um, uh, which is brilliant. Now, if you're working with smaller pre-cuts, cutting and sub-cutting, you don't just cut strips from this. You can cut squares, squares into triangles, 
diamonds. You could cut hexes with it. They've also created extra markings on the mini stripology. So whereas your first slot um, in the regular stripology would be your zero line, they've actually moved it across to uh, the left, a quarter of an inch to the left, which means that now, obviously they're still half inch increments, but you've now got more intricate cuts it makes it a lot easier if your pattern calls, for example, for two and three quarter cuts and you're trying to work out where that is on your ruler, you can literally see it there straight away, butt it up along the dashed line to the edge here and you can see where your three quarter, um, th two and three quarter ruler is. Oh, it is there, it's hanging up, I can see it in the middle. And then on the opposite side it's got the turnaround feature thank you joe that we see in a lot of creative grid rulers which also means you have here to the left of the zero line your eighth of an inch marking and three eighth of an inch marking so even more intricate cuts you can still square up your blocks from anything from two inch right up to six inches um, the line here you can see also has, uh, as I say, your, that's a quarter of an inch extra there. But even though this is six, you can cut six and three quarters from here to hit, from here to the, from that dashed line as well. It's an amazing ruler. We've seen it in action quite a few times. I remember when um, Victoria Peake came in, she did a great demonstration with this. But Gudrun, who who actually who actually introduced the uh, and, and designed the large tripology she also designed this perfect for half square triangles for quarter square triangles as well there is demonstrations from Gudrun on YouTube using the QR code I always thought when I looked at them they look quite daunting looks lots of measurements lots of angles but actually it is designed to cut out all of the maths it does the work for you they're designed by quilters they're, they're made by quilters uh, and you, you you can see that when you're using it also it's got that non-slip grip one of the favorite trademarks of uh, of creative grid rulers is this patent non-slip grip so it's it's not actually a sticker there's lots of rulers that you can buy quilting stickers that mean it won't slip whereas this is built into the ruler if you imagine you're putting a sticker on it it's going to raise it slightly which will sort of mean your accuracy might not be as precise as it would be uh, with using the creative grid rulers this is i find potentially the most used creative grid rulers stripologies are game changers if you own one message in i'd love to hear from you and they are more affordable obviously with the um with the mini stripologies Loads of you coming in for this today. I'm so pleased this is back in stock. Diane reviewed it saying, brilliant ruler, uh, using this instead of scissors worth the money as well. It's one, if you look after it, it'll last the test of time. It's something you'll use and you'll use and you'll use. The little grooves in between mean that you get a nice straight line as well. If you're using scissors, I find that I can go off piece a bit. Uh, Bernadette said, I couldn't get the big one from you, so I'm now trying this one. It's mini but mighty. It absolutely is. And don't get me wrong, you can cut larger cuts from it because you can fold it and you can double up and as long as you're confident cutting through multiple layers there's nothing stopping you from layering up with this as well um, we had Tracy saying it's perfect for what I need um, and easy to follow instructions which are included remember in the pamphlet your instructions are there and then we've also had a review from Zoe creative grids enough says quality as always they are, they are, um, you can see that it's designed by quilters. They're made by quilters. I was talking to Stuart about his photographer for his book and he said the photographer um, and the person who was doing, sorry, not the photographer, person that was doing the diagrams for him, he said you could tell that they sew because they get it. And it's the same, if you're designing a ruler, you can try and tell somebody what it is that you want it to be. But if you are a sewer, you are a quilter, you understand what it needs to be. And, and it's just spot on every time. To use with your rotary ruler, uh, your rotary cutter, in fact, the 28 mil blade would be perfect for this one. Perfect, get those hand in hand. Right, so, <laughs> now this, you need to watch back Susie Duncan's demonstration that we did, because she did a fantastic demonstration with these. This is, oh, right, 
very looks very complex there is a lot going on but actually there is a, a lot that you can do with this ruler so which one's this which one have you got in is that the correct one yeah that's the right one so the reason being I'm saying is this is the fat robin. We've also got the skinny robin. So this is the fat robin one. Are we ready? Watch the price. Just because, willy nilly, we don't have a demonstration on this today. Just because we don't have a demonstration. Look, 39.99. Oh, I've got to open this up. Look at it. So not only do you get your book, you also get your Robin Ruth ruler to create all of these different sizes from six inch to 36 inch, obviously not to scale, six inch to 36 inch Marinus compass. And it also has your template to do the central circle on all of these. Oh, Joe's getting it. Joe's getting it. He's calling now. Um, remove obviously the, the paper backing on this. It's got a, a just a brown paper back so you remove that it that's your template a this is your ruler template b it will all make sense in your instructions there aren't just um, instructions of how to use a ruler there are also quilt examples in here so mariner's compass few tips before you get started it will talk about creating your strip sets and how to cut from your strip sets to create um, this is the, the ruler here broken down uh, to create block 6 inch to 20 inch and all of it's all in grids. It's really clear to read. Uh, then if you're going through, so it talks you through how to make that perfect mariner's compass. It looks like it's been foundation paper pieced and it hasn't. You're getting incredible accuracy just from using the ruler. And can you see that it's got how to actually position your ruler onto, thank you, um, your ruler onto the onto the fabric and really clear diagrams as you go through then it goes into your different quilts so look you can do the sunflower quilt it's amazing doesn't it construction instructions all there you've also got there your template so pull out templates for the circle um, you can change the edges of them. So look, can you see here, you've got the pointed. You can also change them that you've got a, a, a smooth edge around the, around the edge like you see here with the, sun, the, the sunflower quilt. Everything you need to know about finishing your blocks, whether you want to do a reverse applique, if you want to do a central applique, if you want to do a centre in a square, if you want to do centre applique in a square. There's so many different ways of finishing your blocks. Uh, and have that as a massive central block in the middle of a William Morris quilt. Imagine. It should be $59.99. If you've been umming and ahhing about this, today's the day to do it. I don't think we've ever discounted this before. Not £20 off, ever. Absolutely brilliant. $39.99. Design options there as well, different methods. And then also, look, you can colour it in so you can design your own colourways and colour patterns. Oh, it's brilliant. We've done lots of different demos with this again over um, on our YouTube channel. It's definitely worth watching those back. As I said, the most recent one that I can think of. Does it, does it show a date of when Susie Duncan will have done this? On both of these, she had them both. Um, if I remember rightly, we had them on their own. We never discounted them to $39 nice style, I can tell you that, but she did a great demo. Yeah. I think this has all been taped. So, this one, the difference is, this is the skinny. So, can you see the difference? You've got the finer, the small, uh, it's a different angle, isn't it? Your 45 degree angle, whereas this has worked with a 60 degree angle. So, you're getting different blades on your Mariner's Compass. Skinny 16 point Mariner's Compass book and ruler. So, it was back on the 4th of March. That is so weird. Do you know what I literally said? I said this was just before Christmas. Time is such a strange thing, isn't it? Well, it's only a concept, isn't it? I'm going to get the scissors because somebody's taped this up with um, somebody's taped this up with cellar tape. Right, because we did it with the last one, we're also going to take twenty pounds off this. Bear with me, Joe. Sorry, I'm going to have to cut it open just because 
we've got to have a look in haven't we and i think this has been taped up 39.99 today the absolute famous robin ruth rulers when we started sewing street i mean it was me joe and paul day one wasn't it and we had meetings with um, Hayley and Neil and we talked about what it was that we wanted to bring back onto the show, um, certain guests, certain... Uh... I watched that back the other day on YouTube. I watched it back because I was looking for something on YouTube and then it came up, mine and Paul's little interview on the first day pre-record. So I watched it. I did watch it. Um, really random. So, from sizes 6 to 36 inches, the first time we've ever taken £20 off these. Absolutely amazing. Uh, I'd get both of them. I would get both. I mean, look at the different patterns that you've got here as well. £39.99. This is absolutely absolutely brilliant look at that so it isn't just um it isn't just the sort of mariner's compass center that you imagine you can use it and incorporate it into different blocks as well that sunflower love um there are loads of inspiration on robin ruth designs website but trust me to get this with a discount of 20 pounds is huge 39.99 you're getting the book and you're getting the ruler today. Now, we are very, very limited on these two ruler bundles. If you do want the book and ruler combo, never been discounted before until now. That is absolutely amazing. All 16 point skinny ruler compass blocks are here. You've got the compass sunflower, the round sunflower, the raw edge applique sunflower, the mariner's compass in sizes six inch to 36 inch. For 39.99 how ridiculous is that so good value 20 pounds off today if you're just tuning in and you're getting your robin ruth ruler included as well with both uh, templates a and b everything you need the great thing about this the end result the reason i love it is because it looks like it's been foundation paper pieced i can't say foundation paper piece it isn't for me because i've just been a bit too daunted by it to have a go it's just the whole sewing on the reverse with the paper i know i'd get it and every time i speak to wendy orlando she's like no it's easy it's brilliant and stuart hillard's been trying to get me into it but the end results are always so precise you get the precision with this technique using the robin ruth rulers as well um, it isn't just for one project you're going to be doing this over and over and over again can't recommend it enough. Just $39.99 for your 16 point Mariner's Compass book and ruler. Okay. We are going to move on because we've got a surprise still for you. Do we know any more? This hour. Right, our surprise is going to happen this hour. If you're just tuning in, can I give you a clue again? Look, look at this. This is your clue. We've got somebody coming in to do something. I don't know. I mean, this is, this is, um, this is again going to be, this was not planned. Uh, our office staff are in today and they have got a really extra special surprise for us. So stay tuned. I've heard it's coming up this hour. Sorry for me rustling away. Um, it's coming up this hour. Whatever you do, do not miss our surprise. Tell your friends. Any lovers of Tula Ping have got to be in it to win it. Got to be there to watch um, the, the deal that we're going to be doing. Stay tuned. Okay. Talking of creative grids. Oh, the mini one's back in. Right, I thought this was the larger one from the um, graphics and it's not. This creative grid ruler is genius. What a great idea. So if anybody who... It loves creative grids. Anybody who wants to add uh, a really cool one to their, their order. The only thing is, I wouldn't use this with a rotary blade. And the only reason being, I'd say that, it's still a really lovely thick acrylic, but it's because I don't want my hands to go sort of near it. Um, but it's got this gap in the centre here, which you could use. If you were watching Jules' demonstration of half square triangles, you use your pen to draw down the centre line, and then you've got a perfect quarter of an inch either side to be able to do your half square triangles really 
really quickly, really accurately, instead of having to stop and reposition your ruler uh, to get quarter of an inch either side, Creative Grids have done it for you. It also has the non-slip grip on the reverse and each side has got that pointed angle so you can get those right into the corners of your nine inch square. You can obviously use it in smaller. If you use it in larger, you could just shimmy it across, but perfect for a nine inch uh, square or eight inch square. £14.99, probably the most affordable creative grid ruler I've ever seen and a handy little size to be able to fit in your pencil case as well if you're off to any workshops or classes. Um, that one is always very popular. I had it on with Sally Ann Harrison and she absolutely loved it, absolutely loved it. Um, okay, do we have time to just squeeze in one more thing? before a surprise. Uh, add a quarter ruler, FPP. I just mentioned it and maybe your New Year's resolution is to have a go. Don't be scared. I know that Stuart Hillard did a whole show last week demystifying foundation paper piecing. This is a brilliant ruler for FPP because you've got this lip here, which is a raised lip. It's a quarter of an inch perfectly. So you're not having to get another ruler out to measure a quarter of an inch to trim away. You butt this up against your seam and that will give you your perfect quarter of an inch to then trim away. Also, this edge here is tapered. So you know on, on foundation paper piecing where you have to fold back your paper, you can literally fold it back and get a really lovely crisp edge. There are again lots of instructions on the back with this to use it um, for foundation paper piecing. It also says use add a quarter plus with templates. Oh I'm thinking what about for your e uh, 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 EPP to do your seam allowance for your EPP. This is really handy. £12.99 £12.99 for your add a quarter ruler. We've only ever really seen it in the, um, the double ruler uh, pack, haven't we? So useful to just have that one on its own, especially another one to go in your pencil case for all of your workshops and classes that we're going to be going to soon. Okay, it's surprise time. So, um, yeah, uh, this, this wasn't planned, just so you know. I am absolutely over the moon that we get the chance to do this today. Are you ready? We're going to just show you a very short clip of Tula Pink herself talking about this very quilt. Have a look at this. Hey guys, I'm Tula, it's TC. We're talking about quilts. Today I'm showing you a quilt I just got back from Angela, the queen of all long arm quilting. So this is another quilt that I designed for Curiouser and Curiouser. This one's called Checkmate. So what I tried to do is create like a little chess-ish reference without being over the top. So I designed all of these face prints to be cut down into eight and a half inch squares for a finished eight inch block. So I had to come up with a little, some quilt ideas that would actually use an eight inch block, but not be boring. I mean, eight inches of one fabric in the center of a block is a lot of fabric in the center of a block that takes up a lot of space. So trying to create something, a quilt that was still interesting while having a large open space in the middle was sort of what I was going for. And I love, love, love traditional quilts. So I wanted to make something that felt sort of scrappy and traditional, even though it was using essentially a single fabric line. Um, and, but I wanted it to feel like it was put together with parts, right? So there's a couple ways I did that. And I wanna talk a little bit about how I chose the fabric for each block. So for a quilt like this, that's meant to be just sort of an overall collage of print and color, I did a couple of things here that are a little differently than a more curated quilt, like the um, teapot quilt that I showed you last time. Um, is a little bit more organized. Everything's kind of in order and put together. This is des designed decidedly to be a little bit more scrappy, a little bit more PC and kind of, spontaneous looking. So I came up with this really traditional large block. So we've got our eight inch square in the center and then we've got this sort of sashing and checkerboard cornerstone design. And then 
sort of an eight pointed star off the corners and then a big rectangle in the middle of each sort of block border. Here's why. This collection has a really wide range of prints. So we've got our big focal prints. We have a lot of medium scale prints and then a bunch of smaller scale prints like this little floral. So I wanted to create a block that would showcase the large print, the medium sized print. So I needed sort of a big ish patch, but not huge. So that's my points and my rectangles here and then smaller patches here to show some of the smaller pieces and how that all works together. So I use True Colors in with this, which is exactly what True Colors is designed to be. It's designed to be an accessory to my main core fabric lines to kind of fill out the gaps, right? Because I only get so many pieces in a fabric collection, so I have to fill in the gaps with other colors. Hello, welcome back. Right, so the reason we've just shown you that is because obviously we're all huge fans of tuliping. I've been saying all morning, I'm done with the whole doom and gloom of January. I'm so ready for fresh, beautiful, new, bright colours. Hence why I put my bright pastel jumper on today. And just to put a spring in our step and bring us lovely joy, look who it is! Hello. Oh. You, you, can, you can tell this is unplanned because I'm wearing a, a NASA t-shirt. Well, this is going to so, be out of this world, isn't yeah. it? Boom, I, boom. I usually, when I'm going on TV, I usually put something on as something a little bit smart. So nothing too smart. I don't know. Smart, smart well, you clothes. Wear, you but. wear the blue polo shirt, I usually go for my blue you? polo yeah, shirt. Yeah, we know you smart uh, shirt. Today, oh, there was, I didn't even plan this. So I was literally wearing what I usually wear in the office, which is usually, you know, just a t-shirt. So I do apologise for my NASA attire. But it does fit in nicely with the overall theme. Yeah, because this is out of this world, isn't it's it, this world, deal? Yeah. So, obviously, I just want to say happy birthday and what an amazing show it was on Monday. Oh, thank you. There was loads of messages all still coming in for you yeah, about think, what an amazing show. I think my car's show. got lost in the post, haven't I had it yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I think it'll get to you, you know, probably by, I don't know. Next birthday. Yeah, next birthday. Um, so, we've put this quilt out. I mean, this is one of the most amazing Tula Pink quilts, isn't it? The Checkmate quilt. And she actually designed it. Yeah. Yeah, she did. And <clears throat> on, but I had loads of birthday messages, so thank you everyone. But I had lots of messages about this quilt in particular. Right. So, if you, and I, I haven't read them all, to be fair. Like I so said, I know if you've sent me a message I've not read it yet, I will get to it. So thank you for those. But lots of people said, you know, we really love that quilt. You know, can you do a famous special Neil offer? And usually when we do a special Neil offer, we've got enough quantity that every most people should get one or a lot of people. Oh, this is so limited. But today, you know, we're doing a Neil special, but we're doing it on something that's really limited. So I am sorry that people are probably going to miss out today on this um, because we haven't got lots in stock. But because I got asked for it, I thought I'd bring it on. So I'll apologise in advance that not everyone's going to get this. So if you do want it, you're going to have to add it to your basket quickly because we are uh, very limited on stock. And we're going to do the best price today and it will be the cheapest in the universe. I mean, that is a statement, <laughs> isn't it? So you don't think you can get this quilt kit anywhere <clears throat> else? Not cheaper than what we're going to do it today, no. How amazing is this? So we've checked, we've checked all over the internet, we've checked everywhere. I mean, it's very hard to get this quilt anyway, to be fair. Well, um, uh, Tula Pink is notoriously you... difficult, especially in this country. She's obviously an American designer, very popular designer. So here in the UK, we really struggle to get her products, don't we? Yeah, and even if you look online, there's places that have got maybe ones and twos in stock. And you know, we've got a few more than that. But we are quite limited and uh, and we are going to drop the price in a bit. We're not going to tell you just yet, but we're going to drop the price and it will be the cheapest that you can get it anywhere. Well, I need to warn you, by the way, Neil, you've told everybody to add to their basket and they trust you. Everybody is adding to their basket. Just so you know, if everybody checks out, we're then down to single figures, which we haven't even dipped our toe in. We're about to open up the box and see the amazing fabrics that are included. Because this is, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the biggest Tula Pink quilt kits that we've ever seen. We're never going to be able to replace it. We're not going to crash the price just yet. We're going to have a good look and make sure everybody knows this is happening. Remember, is it still going to be on split pay when you do this reduction? It will still be on split pay, yeah. So you can still uh, wow. pay a bit today, a bit next month, a bit the month after. If everybody checks out, it's gone. Just be aware, if everybody checks out, remember everybody pays the final low price at the end. So you can still check out if you know you definitely want it and you're happy to pay less than $249.99. Just go for it. Let's be honest. I mean, this has been on air before, hasn't it? And we sold a lot at two hundred forty-nine ninety-nine. Yeah. 
It's a great we price have. anyway for the amount of Tula pink fabric you get. But by popular demand, I'm doing a deal, doing a neo deal. <gasps> oh, you know what that means. You know what that means. Right. So it all comes beautifully presented, wrapped in tissue paper. Yeah. I'm going to try to get this out of the tissue paper without ripping the tissue paper, but I'm going to show you some of the fabrics that we've got in here. Um, I mean, we're so limited that uh, this is one of the ones that will go out as well. So oh, it's I'll sign beautiful. it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> well, I won't ruin it. <laughs> We've got a bit of a problem, Neil. Um, we've got double the people that we've got in stock than we have available uh, in baskets than we have available. So please remember, if you desperately do know you want this, you need to check out. In fact, you don't even need to do anything with the price. I know this would sell out anyway, Neil. It's amazing, isn't it? It is. It's it's very nice, and it is one that too. Oh, because there's lots of fur quilts that are made in tulle uh, pink fabric but not all the quilts are designed by Tula herself. Oh, no. And this is one that she's actually designed this herself. And there's a, I mean, we saw a clip of it we showed there, but there's a video where she explains her, her thoughts behind it. And I think it's really interesting getting in the head of the designer. Yeah. Because you see a quilt and you think, oh, you know, I wonder why they did that. You know, she's talking, it's interesting how she's talking that, about this quilt having a, a large or an eight inch uh, charm, but she wanted to make sure that it still looked interesting, even though you had quite a big block of fabric. Yeah. So she designed these big, uh, blocks around that that focal point in the middle and you know because it's checkmate she's kind of doing the checker patterns like a check chessboard it's just really there's just so much thought that's got into it especially when you know Tula Ping if you've watched any of her Instagram she does her um, her Tuesday regular videos on Instagram and I often watch it and when she's going through all of the different fabrics she will talk hang on she will talk so much in depth about the designs and the there's so much thought that's gone into it so for then to her her to put her fabrics into her very own design it's it works perfectly obviously and you're going to get all the instructions of how to make this checkmate quilt right do you know what they're telling me in my ear and i'm saying hold on i'm trying to cling on to these moments with this quilt kit and they're telling me look it's last night it's gonna go we need to crash the price there's 37 of you that want to know the price are we ready neil yep so I'm just trying to get all this fabric spread out. But yeah, so today we're going to take this down. We're not going to sort of because we're going to go straight to the price. We're going to go down to one nine nine ninety nine. <gasps> so less than two hundred pounds for this quilt. Neil, that is so unnecessary. I thought you were going to say if we take ten pounds off it today, that would be an amazing saving. We've all known and loved it at two hundred and fifty pounds, fifty pounds off like that. And the amount of fabric That's you get in, in the box is amazing. I mean, literally, it is proper crammed in there. You can see how many, how many different fabrics you're getting. I mean. To be fair, I mean, some people might buy this just to add the fabric to their collection, and I wouldn't blame them, but... Oh, yeah, you don't. There's nothing telling you you have to do this quilt, but as we said, she designed the fabrics. She designed the quilt around her fabric, so you can't ask for a better design. And the size of it, by the way, you can see on the graphics, is 218 centimetres square if you choose to make this quilt. And I do love the curious and curious arrange with the, the Queen of Hearts, the Alice motifs. Oh, they're beautiful. And I mean, Tula, she's an artist. Yeah, the, the detail in the Tudor fabric is absolutely amazing. Well done, everybody who's got this. There are six left to be six confirmed. Left. Five left Five to be left. confirmed. That is everything. Like you said, this normally with nail specials, <clears throat> we like to get a big quantity. Yeah, we usually try and pick something with a lot in stock, so lots of you, you know, can get it. But with this, people will miss out today, unfortunately. But it's only because so many people messaged about it that I thought, yeah, let's do something. I read the mail. message today, and that's why I said, oh, let's, you know. Let's get, you know, let's get it in and let's do something for the customers, so. A lot of people very grateful. Lots of thank you, Neil, messages coming through already. Um, four chances remaining, and we have got 40 of you battling it out. Now, can I just say, if you miss it, will you please go to the call centre, speak to the call centre and go on a wish list because we're never going to be able to bring this back. This is a complete one-off, isn't it now, Neil? We can't bring this quilt kit yeah, back. Yeah, when, it, when it's gone, it's gone. I very, I very much doubt we'll be able to get any more of these because there's only so many that are ever made. Um, it's not something that's in continual stock. So, you know, they make a certain amount of number when they're gone, they're gone. Barbara McClay, you've got to be quick. You've got to be quick. She's just put, sh amazing. She says, I love, love, love this quilt. Good morning. Definitely buying that one today. There are two spaces left and it is still on split pay three split payments interest free of just 66 pound and 66 pence the last two are about to be confirmed i think they're about to go oh see I, you always need to like bring on an encore or something if you're <laughs> going to do deals like this because that was just too quick <clears throat> well i might have a second item i may have a second item <laughs> okay 
I have no idea what's going on, by the way, because this was not planned. If you're tuning in right now, you're tuning in at the right time. Well done, everybody, who managed to secure the Checkmate quilt. As Neil said, the lowest price that we can find it anywhere in the world. Anywhere. You know, nobody else has got the chance to get that under £200. So well done if you got it. OK. I think it's about to sell out if it's not already. Item number two. OK. I'm sorry. The desk, the desk's still a mess. But are we, can we get that to the joke and get this in the picture yet? So going on with the, carrying on with the uh, Tula theme. So if you just missed out on the Tula um, quilt, oh, sorry about that, threads. but we've got some Tula threads as well. Oh, um, how exciting. Again, got an amazing uh, price on these today as well, the lowest they've ever been. 10, so. 50 weight threads. I know how popular this pack has been. The packaging was signed by Tula, the colours selected from her as well. So I suppose if you've got the Checkmate quilt, these colours are going to be perfect to use to quilt it. They would be perfect, yeah. To piece it. And the really nice, uh, really, you know, really nice colour selection in there. Kind of like, you know, light pastel colours, but yeah. probably a bit more colour than pastel, but still on the lighter side. But really nice colours. And obviously the Aurofil thread, um, you know, it's used in, you know, by craft, you know, by sewers, crafters, and also in industry all over the world. It's, uh, you know, renowned thread, isn't it, for its strength, durability, quality. Well, absolutely. Normally with cotton thread, you would you would think, oh, if I'm going to go for more durable, I might go for polyester, whereas actually it's Italian, beautiful cotton thread. Now, this is going, again, to a Neil special price. It's a Neil special price. We have got a few more of these in than we did have the quilt. Uh, but again, not, an, not lots of quantity, so... If you don't want to miss out, you probably do need to check these out quickly. So we've got a few more, but we're still quite limited on these. Next time I come on, I'll try and do um, an offer with something we've got lots of stock on. And this is something, again, we can't get more of? No, we can't get more of these. So again, once they've gone, they've gone. So if you want them, and you know, buy them today, because you'll never see them again. Uh, just, now lots of people have got requests coming in That's for you. So you just said, if Neil is, is Neil feeling this generous? Have you got any William Morris quilt kits that you fancy reducing, please? They're, everyone's just going to start getting all of their uh, all of their yeah. requests in as well. Right, should we get this lower today? Yep. So today we're going to take this down to the lowest it's ever been, which is twenty four ninety nine. Never can we do this again. All 10, 58, Tula Pink Aurofil threads for $24.99. Now, you don't need me to do the maths. 10 spools, £2.50 each. Bearing in mind you're getting how many metres on each spool there, Neil? Is it 200 metres? How many metres on each spool? It should say on the top of it, on the, the white... 220 uh, yards. What's that in English? I think, it's, I think it's, it says on the top <laughs> there, 200 the metres maybe. I think it's 200 metres on each, which... Actually, if you look at your regular polyester yeah, sewal thread, you're probably looking at about £1.75 per 100 metres. So this is even better value than your just run-of-the-mill standard polyester. And this is luxury cotton orophil, Tula pink colours as well. A lovely box as well. So if you're buying for Mother's Day, either for your own mother or for yourself, um, you know, it's a nice gift. Absolutely, and you're saving £50 on the Checkmate quilt kit. Get this and you're still saving £25 today if you're getting both. Yeah, because when, when I'm buying gifts for people as well, I always look for stuff that looks really good value. So, you know, if I see something that's on offer, I think that's brilliant because, you know, to the first thing getting it, it's still a expensive, um, you know, gift. But if you've saved a bit, then everyone's a winner, aren't they? Well, this is it. As soon as anybody researches Oroville, they're going to be over the moon with their, the purchase. And especially if you're sewing with fabrics like Tula. We always think about the fabrics, don't we? But actually, if you're piecing, think about what's holding them together. You want to make sure you're using a really lovely quality thread um, when you're stitching such beautiful quality fabric. So this one is perfect. Everybody, again, very, very grateful. Loads of you got that in your basket. Keep checking out. Thank you ever so much, Neil. No worries, thank you. <gasps> Amazing! Right, keep checking out on the Aurifil thread. I'm pleased that we've got a bit of a better, better quantity. Has the Checkmate quilt gone, Paul? Completely sold out. Completely sold out. I'm not surprised. When are you um, back on air? I don't know. I wasn't planning to say, but I'm going to try and keep a polo shirt in the office so I don't end up coming. You look great in your NASA <laughs> shirt. We love it. Uh, thank you ever so much, as always. And happy no birthday. Yeah, thank you. It's just like the birthday celebrations. Just keep on continuing. Speaking of which, look at this. We're going under the sea. Have you seen our Joe posing as a mermaid earlier on this morning? Lounging. Do, show it whilst Neil's on air. Look at the fun that we were having this morning in prep. We tried to get Paul on the desk, but um, we got Joe instead modelling the blanket. Um, so he says, I'm not showing it. I'm not showing it. No, you've not deleted it. 
You've deleted it. I'll get it back up from Instagram and show you all. Uh, don't go anywhere. Jules Mayuf is going to be back with our mermaid toy and mermaid blanket right after this. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring, and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares, and needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and Director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Do you love sewing? Are you creative, inspiring, and love to share your skills and tips with others? We're excited to announce Sewing Street Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares, and needlecraft. To join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. 
If you have any issues, email us and Director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck. Ian's just running and said we need to make this more realistic. Here's a scarf. I know. Under the and, sea, you obviously need your scarf. And Vicky said they've been very generous with the fabric if it fits around you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Right, hang on. Let me just correct myself. The reason I said that is because your daughter modelled this, Jules. Yeah. She's 12. And the Neil comes in. She's definitely not this size now. I will model it. No offence. No, I couldn't, I couldn't, you know, resist wearing it. Here's Jules' go. daughter, who looks absolutely adorable. <laughs> and then here's Neil. <laughs> Who looks absolutely looks adorable. <laughs> now, we've put bundles together, which proves whether you want to be a merman, mermaid, whatever size you are, it's going to fit. It's brilliant. Um, you look really cosy and comfy. Is, I think I'm going to take this home. It's very warm, isn't it? How on earth are you going to get down? Um, I'm going to ungraciously roll off the table, I think. <laughs> right, stay there for a moment because we're going to just keep you there whilst we're showing you how to sew it. We're going to keep you there all hour. <laughs> it's better than work. Have you got it? anything else you need to do now? No. No, no, you just mind, mind your own business there, little merman. Um, right, so Joe's deleted the photos, but never mind because we've got Neil here. This is brilliant. <laughs> MD of the company, by the way, everybody who's not met Neil before. <laughs> so I'll talk through the the the, um, the the book, of course, which has all of your amazing patterns for today's project. We've got the toy, also modelled by Neil, the mermaid toy and the mermaid blanket. So, so unicorns, dragons and mermaids. Did you have great fun with this? Uh, it, yeah, Jules? it was fun. I wish I'd had Neil as a model, though, to measure up and everything. Well, it, it looks like perfect. it's made to measure. Yeah, it's fine. It does fit perfectly. <laughs> Uh, we've made the the blanket. I think it was with Barbara McKay actually. We made the the uh, the storage basket from this before, but there are some really lovely projects. Um, there are bags. There are uh, all of your pull out patterns as well. There's a scarf in here. There's pencil cases. There's tote bags. There are lots of projects, aren't there, Jules? Working yeah. with lots of different fabrics as well, and felt actually um, for the toy, which is is going to make it really, really affordable. All of your techniques at the front of the book, but look, there are such cool. I mean, my goddaughter would absolutely love every single one of these projects. It isn't all girly, girly though, is it? You've got look dragons in here as well. Here's our mermaid tail. £14.99, which today, um, Neil has offered another saving for you. So you're getting £5 off the book today. It's been savings galore all day. I love the the, uh, the donut. The unicorn donut, Jules. That sounds cool. This is, uh, of course, what we're going to be making, though, the, the, the mermaid doll and the mermaid tail. So, the bundles. We've got the bundles for the toy, which we'll do in a moment on our own, just while Neil is here. <laughs> the one that you are modelling so grac graciously is um, the blue. So, in here, you've got all of your fleece. So, you have a metre of... Mm, I might need to ask Paul. Light blue. Of, of light blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your favourite, what is it? What's your favourite colour? Something green, navy, navy oh, green. I said navy blue, didn't I? Navy, navy, green. navy green, navy, navy green, green, wasn't green. it? No, these are both blue. Um, so you get pale blue. How much of this, sorry? A metre. A metre of your darker blue. And then also, you've got half a metre, or a metre, sorry, of light grey. So that's for my, uh, for my t or Neil's tail, which is... He's, he's waggling. So you've got a light grey hyacinth and your pale blue. £18.49. Three metres. So this is enough to make an adult size as well. Yeah, yeah I'm a probably larger adult than most. <laughs> <laughs> but you could, yeah, you could make, and you've also got off cuts left over to make something probably maybe toddler size. Oh, fantastic. Oh, yeah, man. there is a little bit left, yeah. Love it, absolutely love it. £18.49 for your three metre bundle. We also have the option in pink. Exactly the same uh, fleece. It's going to be beautiful in pink. Oh, I'm thinking embellishing the tail with metallic threads yes, as well. Yes, definitely. 
that's going to be amazing. Very popular on pre-order. Um, the pink is lovely, isn't it? This time you're getting a metre of pale pink, a metre of pink plain, I think this one's called, and then this one's light grey. Light grey, one whole metre. Are you all right? Are you comfy there? Yeah, I'm getting a bit of a dead arm, but I'm all right. <laughs> Three metres, 18 pounds, 49 pence. Um, we'll go through anything else that we might need as we get to that demo. That's coming up later on this hour. Right, you could swim away, please, so we can get on with our show. Oh. <laughs> please keep it in, in on the camera. I'm going to wait till I switch if I fall off oh. the table. <laughs> oh, they're going to... Joe's just going to stay there until you... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. Well done. <laughs> All you can see is rich. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Right, so the, the toy. We've got the one that Jules has already made up, which is this one. Thank you. You have in here, a oh, round of applause for our amazing assistant. We couldn't get a glamorous one, so we got Neil. <laughs> Um, we've got here, I heard him use that joke on our cat the other day, so I thought I'd get him back. Aww. Right, this one we have. How much? You go for it, Paul. Is this a fat quarter of your mermaid fabric? You also have your natural seeded cotton. And then we've also put with it your felt. So you've got your lovely pink felt, your blue, and your... Oh, I think the green was from another one. Well, I'll let you know. Go on. Fat quarter of your mermaid. Fat quarter of your natural seeded cotton. And three squares of felt. Two pink and a blue. Your calico, your mermaid fabric. I love that mermaid fabric. It was Isn't really that good. Lovely. I don't think we've ever had that by the half meter. It's been cut especially for this project. Oh, look at this one. You've got pirate mermaid. You've got a really bright pink hair. Oh, that is lovely fabric, isn't it? Whole fat quarter, £12.99. What an amazing price. Plus, you're also getting a pack of your toy filling included as well and then what? yeah Woo. toy filling included all for 12.99 absolutely amazing price Worth and whether doing. you're choosing to make something else from the from the book or you want to have a go at the mermaid today it's a good size toy as well isn't it for 12.99 yeah that is really good and you've, got and you've used the felt as well um on that one i did pom-poms but on the one that i'm going to demo i've used the felt to, to do, do the necklace, the necklace i'll yeah. show you how to do that good one to raid your stash to you can yeah. put shells on there buttons on there yeah go crazy also sequins we blinked up the blinked up her bra for the next one brilliant <laughs> can't wait um so that's the one that jules is uh, has made up which one are you working on today uh, the pink the fish scales one this is i love perfect this perfect fabric to go with it so you're getting again three squares of felt your pink fin oh look at that with the gold metallic and you're also getting your fat quarter of calico all for 12.99 don't forget you get your toy filling included as well all under 30 pounds 13 pounds and it's absolutely adorable full mermaid for 12 nights we've got people multi-buying on this oh yeah definitely can i just show you how much filling you've got there okay oh brilliant you Brilliant. could stuff her a little bit more. I didn't want to overstuff her, but you could. But um, yeah, you've got loads left. Oh, well, hang on. Will you have uh, any of the fat quarters left? Uh, you have a little bit. Little I don't bit. know if you get enough to do Still another two. one. No. Poss possibly. If you're cute. Could if you scale it down? Yeah. If you're cute about cutting it, you probably could. And yeah, and the same with the cotton. Because your calico is wide, isn't yes. it? That's yes. That's a lot of calico look that yeah. you get. Yeah. So yeah, you might be able to actually shimmy out too, depending on your uh, your cutting, because you've certainly got enough toy yeah. stuffing there. And felt actually, you've got three squares oh, of felt. Oh, loads of felt, loads of felt. The only um, thing about the felt is, the reason you've got two of one color for the hair is because the felt is nine by nine inches and her hair length is 14 inches. Yeah. But you, you could adjust that. You don't have to have it as long. You could have it um, maybe three quarters and have more of a kind of waviness yeah. in the hair. Yeah. You, you don't have to do that. You could that. use your wool stash. You could, could yeah. You yeah. yeah. But it's wool. open to all sorts of stuff. Oh, brilliant. At 12 99 though, what an amazing way to get started with that. Um, and I love, that is perfect for your, for your fin. Look, for your tail, mermaid tail, you couldn't get a better fabric. No. That is perfect. Um, and then we've also got... 
Um, what have I got here? The blue. Oh, this one's lovely. These must all be new fabrics and especially for this collection. So you've got your calico. You've Ooh. also got this fabric this time with the mermaid tail. Ooh. Oh, this That's is really nice. nice. So we imagine this one. That will work really yeah. well as well. Whole fat quarter. What colour have you got for her hair? Sorry, I've got jumping ahead. Ginger <laughs> hair. <laughs> Woo! I've got ginger hair. Isn't that And um, I've got a green bra to complement my tail. Isn't that aerial? That's very aerial esque. Yeah. <gasps> She's got gingery hair. She yeah. has. Yes. I got gadgets and gizmos of plenty. I can't see any more. I get into trouble. <laughs> <No>. But <laughs> you have got your orange hair. It does look like a very, very fam famous mermaid, that one, doesn't it? Very famous mermaid with the orange hair and the green, green bra. Love that one. I think that might be my favourite. And that fabric is perfect to go with. Absolutely perfect. Finally... We have got one other colourway, I believe, to show you. Oh, no, maybe two. Let's see. What have you got? Is that it? Yeah, brilliant. So they're the three kits that we've got available. Um, right. Should we dive into the demo? Just because I'm aware of time and we've got two projects to do this hour. <laughs> Um, we'll, we'll put the book as the main graphic, by the way, but definitely go through for those kits at 12 99 That is a bargain. You will need the book with a saving of £5 today. So all your templates so are included. Just a quickie, all the templates are included. So grab yourself a something. You know, it can be anything. I've used kind of baking paper. You can use proper tailor's paper. You could use wrapping paper that we might have hundreds of sheets of. So you can use that. Just trace off your templates, and it tells you what to trace off. Um, in the kind of supply list if you like mm -hmm. at the top so first thing that we're going to do is to make the head so the head will have a front which will be this one and the back there are two backs so on my uh, little uh, sheet that I'm cutting out of I've just written on what there is and also put the markings on there's also straight grain lines so if you're not used to sewing and you wonder what this long arrow is with a point at the top and a point at the bottom so a double ended arrow that's called a straight grain line and what you have to do is when you've got your fabric just make sure that you've got selvage to selvage and you'll be cutting this one it, uh, back and front together just when you are putting it on look for the grain in the fabric mm -hmm. and then line up your straight grain with that pin it then draw around your fabric or just cut around your fabric. Right, okay. Okay, so that's a quickie about the, the grain. So for the head. What have you tried what have you um traced? Have I missed this? Have you said already? Uh, what this is baking it? paper yeah, because uh, basically I didn't have anything else. No, that's um, good um, but idea. you can use, use what you've got at home. Yeah, you can use um, any kind of see through paper really. Mm -hmm. if you, or or even if you want to, you know, sometimes the wrapping paper is really thin. Yeah. You can look through it anyway, so you yeah. can use that as well. Okay. So with this one, what we're going to do is we're going to do the back seam first. So if you imagine this is the head, that's the, the face, mm -hmm. and just look at where that seam is and where it matches to. So you can see that that is going to open out and be the face right, if we okay. do it that way. So we'll do... We'll stitch along the long seam. It gives us a three eighths of an inch seam allowance. So you just need to adjust your um, machine accordingly. And we'll just nip up that seam. Sharon just said, I just walked into my living room uh, to see Neil <laughs> on the desk as a mermaid. <laughs> I know, it was a bizarre moment, wasn't it? She says, I'm genuinely killing myself laughing right now. Oh, gosh, we're not laughing, are we? We're this, crying. This is a Wednesday morning. I know, Wednesday <laughs> morning here at Sewing Street. Just a normal day at work. And the face, you will just mark your markings for the eyes and the mouth and then just do a quick transfer with a friction pen. I've sewn it with a long stitch there, so just, just literally two back stitches. Oh, amazing. So it's really easy the to do the face. Really phase. easy. Um, they did all black. I thought she needed some lipstick, so I've done a red mouth. Oh, love it. <laughs> There's loads of skeins on the website. I think on today's show, on the pre-order section, you've got a black skein, but there are also lots of colours, yeah. and you might need you can a bit of your stack. You can use anything, yeah. really. And if you haven't got that, you can just um, do two doubles of normal thread yeah. and do it with that. 
So that's the face and you can do some little cheeks. I used a marker pen. We've got fabric markers that you can just give her some little rosy cheeks with. Or blusher itself or you could blusher. do. Or blusher. Yeah, use yeah. actual makeup blusher to do the cheeks. So that's the face done for the moment. The next thing that you'll do is find your body. So you've got two pieces to the body as well. You've got one for the front and one for the back. And this is where you're going to put her bra on. So take the front piece and you need to lay on the bra piece that you've got. So again, there's templates for all of it and you just trace off your templates. For the bra, you'll have a main kind of bikini top, bikini top, let's call it that, not a bra, and then a piece that goes down the middle. So if you grab both of those, I did some bling on this oh, one. Oh, so would you bling it up first? Yes, I got some sequins. The only thing that I would say is if you're going to do that, um, it advises you to sew the, the bikini top and then sew the piece across. I didn't, so you can see where I've gone with all the, the sequins there. Just make sure that you leave enough to do like a top stitch around the edge because that's what's skewing it to the front piece. Because mm -hmm. uh, if you don't do that, you'll be going through your um, sequins and you could break your needle or something like that. Right, okay. So have you um, just glued those down? No, nope. nope, sewn them on. Oh, Literally. <laughs> and you need to line it up. Now, don't worry too much, but you will find the natural shape um, according to your pattern. So go down until the sides match. Oh, I see. And it's as complicated as that, really. You don't need uh, bond aware. You could literally no. position it down and stitch it straight down. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just put a couple of pins in and I'll show you what I mean about top stitching it. Good idea, though, to add a bit of bling. You could put well, a rick rack on. You yeah. just raid your stash. It's a perfect one to really embellish, isn't yeah. it? I like what you've done with the earrings. If you've got any gold bits or, you know, anything like that. That was an extra piece of um, felt that I nicked from the hair of the other one. But you don't have to do that. You know, see what you've got in your stash, really. So just a little stitch around the edge. Try and do it like a top stitch. So maybe about an eighth of an inch away from the edge. So mm -hmm. just take your time to go around. So. Is there skill level three here? What are the difficult bits? Turning through the, the um, arms, I would say. I suppose they're quite um, yeah, and slim limbs. Just lining everything up, really, I think. But I, I would not put it at a very high skill level, to be fair. I don't know whether the skill level is to do uh, to, for like younger sewers. Okay. It could be because it's there's a lot of fun projects in here that younger sewers could tackle very easily. Obviously, supervision on the sewing machine and that sort of stuff, but it's not a it's not a horrendous project to do. I love that donut unicorn. That's so cute, and that says level one. So maybe start with the level one. This, if you're if you're a, a beginner sewer, you've also got in here unicorn pillow, the storage basket. We've got um, a, a kit for. We're mer working on the mythical mermaid doll. To be honest, um, if you are willing to have a go, I, I wouldn't necessarily look at skill levels. Okay, I would just. Go, go for it, it. Um, and especially if it's for a child because you don't really want to say to them oh this might be a bit hard no. for you no, you know you just yeah. kind of go for it um i haven't sewn down the sides but you can sew down the sides as well so that's as complicated as the body is so we've got um a head and a, the back of a head we've got her front and the back now we're going to do the arms okay so i've done one because it can be a bit fiddly it, which is all yeah. I think it means really. So you'll cut two out of your little template as per and then what you'll do is you'll sew them so you want to sew them down I'm just going to pin this one a little bit you don't so you sew right to the end but when we're stuffing it we won't stuff it right to the end because you need to have a bit of movement to be able to attach it to the seam. Oh yeah, I can see here, yeah. Otherwise, if you try and sew through the stuffing, it's uh, very awkward. Okay. And I can imagine my um, goddaughter, she's seven, 
literally like walking around with her dolly holding him by the arm just yeah come on come on yeah <laughs> oh it's so, i just love her love her. and the earrings i thought you've made this um a bit of a hack but no they've got earrings on the actual pattern are they um yes she's These got pearls. a little star wow and then um i just found some beads in my stash and just attach them on what you will need is a long needle so a doll's needle if you can don't necessarily really uh, well it's better if you do have it because it's easier right so but if you, you haven't you, you have to struggle through. a little bit yeah yeah, yeah. They look like fancy pearl earrings, don't they? Yeah. Right, and okay. would you believe our um, Jules, she's a fantastic jewellery maker as well. You can tell <laughs> from her skills of a pom-pom necklace. <laughs> We've got pom-pom maker in today, but um, Jules is also going to show us how to do Suffolk puffs and make your own with the felt that you've got in your stash or in your kit. Um, it's on the web if you want the pom-pom maker though. So this is the most fiddly bit. Just so turning it. Turn through. Tool. Oh, you can use turning tool. I'm going this one. Just give me the pokey bit from the inside because yeah. I started it off. But you can use the turning tool. I, I'm a bit old school, really. But this is essentially what your turning tool will do. There you go. Oh, this is. See, this make if this is like potentially the most fiddly bit. Yeah. Look at how quick and easy. Even on the telly, you've made that look. And then just make sure that you have curved. So when I um do the curve, I actively curve along mm -hmm. that seam. So I don't trim it or anything like that, just make it kind of look more curvy. And then all you'll do, which this might take a little bit of extra time, when you're stuffing the sleeve, what, uh, the arm rather, what you need to do, don't go in with a wadge like that because you'll get a lumpy arm. So you need to go in with smaller amounts and make sure that they go right down to the bottom. Oh, this would be good for your stiletto again, you know, what we had in the last hour. Perfect yep. for that, pokey tools. Because you want to make sure you... You actually do use more stuffing than you think you will in the doll itself, don't yeah. you? Don't get me wrong, you still have loads left over from the kits. Every kit comes with your toy stuffing. I know I didn't show at each point, but every kit does come with toy stuffing. I mean, you definitely get... Probably three dolls out of the stuffing. Fab. Possibly more, but pro probably three at least. Well, there's there's quite a few projects in here actually that you might need that the you stuffing need it with, for. Yeah. I love the hooded unicorn blanket. Did you do this? No, I no. think it's Barbara McClay. We've done the hooded unicorn blanket before because I love that. There are some really cute projects in here. And I think if you've got. Um, a little one they just will love looking through that it's like a catalogue you know when we were younger you used the to look through the catalogues and yeah. go i'd like that I'd like that they just love going through that and saying right okay i want one of those and you can make it um so if they've got a, if they love orange or whatever you can personalize it to them can't you absolutely i love the narwhal love the uh, mermaid yeah. bag you've got the dinosaur in fact this book's for you isn't it really this is for me this is for me <laughs> Oh, I love it. It's so cool. You've got dragon. Look at that. Dragon scarf. That's pretty cool, isn't it? You could use the pink fleece bundle and do a pink fleece yeah. dragon scarf. Do you know what? You probably would have. The right sort of fabric, yeah. Yeah. Because you could use the pink, a different shade of pink, and then use the cotton for the spikes. Right, almost done. Brilliant. I won't do it. Oh, well, she'll have odd arms. <laughs> but just so that we can get it done and get the idea. So what you would do is um, stuff it to about an inch away from the top. So possibly a little, just a little squidge or more technical term there. And then you're going to sew it closed. And sew it um, within the seam allowance. So don't do your three eighths there, just do it probably a quarter of an inch would be fine. Right, okay, so literally push it away from the end, angle it over. Don't worry about that raw edge because that's going to be hidden in the seam and just sew it over. Just a slight gap. Three eighths of an inch. I'm trying to visualise three eighths of an inch. Is that quite a good seam allowance, or is it quite a narrow seam allowance? Um, it's 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why I'm so bad with visualising three eighths of an inch. I think when you sew a lot, it, you automatically kind of it's judge like it. It's making seam allowance. We've got five eighths and three five eighths. Eighths yeah. And three eighths. Right. But quilting is a quarter, quarter, obviously. So. Right. Okay. So we've got two arms now. So the next thing we're going to do is attach everything together. So I've already cut out body, no, legs, body and legs. Half the stock of the book's gone. Five pound saving today. Love this. It's going to be so much fun. As I say, it's my goddaughter's birthday on the 15th. I really want this for her. It's lovely. And the fabric bundle that uh, Jules is working with, with the fins, is perfect we'll yeah. check the stock availability and it's got such a lovely tail i'm so pleased the template's in there because trying to create that um would be difficult without because it's yeah. perfect so this is where we're going with it all yeah so the first thing that we're going to do is it. you can kind of see it so there we've got a front and a back right so i'm going to do this seam first oh it's so. really simple construction yeah. isn't it I always get a bit bamboozled with 3D construction, but actually, this is, well, it's Jules, isn't it? She's really good at explaining. <laughs> Thank you. I'll do them both. Normally, you would take your time and do kind of each one, but we'll, we'll whack it through. We'll whack it through. Technical See term. <laughs> See if we can get it done. And then we will have... Top to bottom, sorry. Oh, my pitch your scissors. Oh, no, it's all right. Got another set. That will do. This is me chain piecing. Can't resist. So now we do that. So that will just keep you straight to know where the top and the bottom is. And what we're then going to do is fit the sides on, fit the back to the front, leaving a hole, so a, a turning gap. You're sewing right sides together. And then that's pretty much done, apart from the hair. So shall I move on to the hair? Yeah, and just, absolutely, yeah, that'd be good. If you're happy to know that, that that'll be what you've got. So that's her front. Uh -huh. We'll have the same sort of thing for the back. Yeah. Then what we'll do is we'll position where the arms are going to be. So you can see that slope. Yeah. So you position where your arms are going to be. So that'll be how that goes. You'll fit those two together, but you will leave a hole in the curvy side of her, of her tail. So the front bit of her tail there. Um, around about that much, which is about three inches. Mm -hmm. That's so you can stuff it. Okay. So imagine that we've done that. The next thing that we'll do is do her hair. So this is where you've got to join the two together if you want the long hair. So I've joined it across there. It felt really good. You don't have to do a, a big seam or anything like that. You can do it quite a narrow seam. It doesn't fray. No, it doesn't fray at all. So what you then do is um, cut around it, which let's find something, just so that you can see what's going on. So normally I'd cut this carefully with a pair of scissors, not with a rotary cutter because I've got to go up and down and through it. So what you're trying to do is get these both out. I just wanted to show you the necklace so I'm, that's why I'm rushing and doing this. But the, the top piece, the curve here, so this is the back, mm -hmm. um, will fit on the front piece which I've got pinned at the bottom. So it might be a bit wonky. Um, and then, once you have stuffed your doll, you then fit the um, the hair on. Right, after you've stuffed. After you've stuffed. So, sorry, that's not very great. But what will happen then is you might find that the hair is a bit big for the head. Okay. Which means that you can just adjust this seam. Just say, can you do like a bit of a haircut? Yes, <laughs> by by sewing closer, um, like I'm extending your seam allowance is right. basically what I'm saying. So that's that. Sorry, this is not. No, don't be daft. Not it's speed cutting. Yeah, it's <laughs> speedy. 
just so that you can see. So that the gist. and we get there. That one. So I just want you to see where the seam will be. And you probably can judge it. So this will fit to this. If, by the way, you want to do different colour hair, if you've got somebody that says, right, well, I want a different colour bra or I want to do different hair, we've got a huge pack of felt. You get all of these different colours for £22.59. I tell you what, this is such a brilliant stash buster anyway. For £22.59, you're going to be able to make loads of projects with this. And felt is so good for loads of reasons. One, oh, yeah. it's affordable. Two, it doesn't fray. Easy to stitch with. Great for beginner sewers as well. For toys, Absolutely. It's, it's perfect, isn't it? So what you'll have now is you'll have the two fastening together like that. Oops. Take that off, she said. So the two will fasten together like that. Uh -huh. That will go with her head will be into there. Yeah, that's And you just adjust it a little bit, and you can give her a haircut. I had to give her a haircut because it was coming over her eyes. <laughs> she, looked like, she looked like a mod. <laughs> so that would be the hair. Right. So next thing, let's do our jewellery. Now you're saying you want about 15 minutes for the tail, don't you? So yeah, we'll do five minutes of this. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That will be fine. So I've done some, so you can see kind of where we're going with it so these are like little mini oh that's such cuffs. a good idea and is that with the felt this is with the felt so Cute. the felt that you've got um what i did was i found that i've got quite a big reel of um thread mm -hmm. and so i just drew around that and vaguely got you can see it's not perfect circle by any means but i vaguely got a circle yeah and then I well, suppose it's a mermaid necklace. Do they need to be perfectly? Well, terrible? I thought pearls aren't perfect. No, are they're they? not. No. And I thought we could have some um, uh, Tahitian pearls. And, oh wow! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Watching Charlie Harris. <laughs> <laughs> so the way that you'll do um, a yo-yo or Suffolk puff, however you want to call it, is you just take your circle and then you just do a running stitch. And this is as complicated as it gets. So you just do a running stitch all the way around the edge. When you've pulled it through, just leave a bit of a tail because you're going to tie off there. And do, do, do. So you can see how you could get a child to do this because you don't have to be precise and they'll have such fun being able to kind of make their own little pom-poms and what have you. So there we go, we're at the edge of that. So as I start to pull that up, you can see it starts to form like a little basket. Yeah. So just get some of your stuffing and kind of roll it into a meatball. Oh, see, these are all things that you can use uh, from the kit as well. Yeah. So you might as well. I mean, look how much you, no, nothing, it's nothing really. Pop that into there, pull it tight. And then you want to just tie that end off. So do a quick knot. Um, you can kind of make it as full or not as you want. Mm -hmm. And then that's that one done. And once you've done that, I then took, I got some pink thread. I took some pink thread for my necklace. So I've left a tail again and then just thread through the back. And that's that. And then that can go around her neck. And how many have you done here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you put little sequins on the end and everything. I suppose the little mermaid, they find what they can, don't they, from under the sea to yes. the necklace. So you might find little sequins or all sorts of bits and bobs. And all sorts. Yeah. So how many have you done in a row? So there? I've got uh, seven yep. on there. And then you just literally put it around her neck, tie it at the back. And then if you want them all to stay the same way, what I would just do is just run through mm -hmm. with my needle and thread just to make sure that they stay against the, the neckline. Yeah. And then for the earrings, you've got the template for the star. Oh, they've just got a template in the instructions. Yeah, Cute. just take the template. You'll have a doll's needle. So a doll's needle is quite a long needle. Mm -hmm. uh, just thread it up. You pop through one side, through her head, and out the other side. It if doesn't you, hurt her, I promise. No. Going, ouch. 
<laughs> put some jelly on it first, it's all <laughs> fine. <laughs> but if you want to put a bead on, obviously put your bead on that side, that's her head, and then a bead on that side and just tie it off. Amazing, and she's so gorgeous, so, so easy. well dressed, so well dressed, <laughs> exactly. You can have some real fun with, with embellishing. So that's the mermaid doll. Whilst Jules gets sorted for the tail, I will quickly round up the kits for the mermaid doll. So the one that Jules was working with was the fins. It comes with two fat quarters and three pieces of felt. So two for the hair and one for the pink bra. Loads of that left over. There's only five of these left, by the way. If you do want the, the, the one with the lovely fins, look, it's got gold metallic. Fat quarter calico, it's only $12.99 and you're also getting a whole bag of toy stuffing all for $12.99. We then also have the original, so the one that the doll is made out of, you have got your lovely green mermaid fabric, you've got the blue bra and you've got her pink hair, her calico and you get a bag of toy stuffing all for £12.99. Then we also have finally the green, very um, famous mermaid-esque, isn't it? With the green tail, the green bra, the orange, uh, I like to call strawberry blonde hair, and then also your calico for her body. Plus you get her toy stuffing, but this is a really cool fat quart, I love that. £12.99, but it does look a lot like a very famous uh, mermaid, doesn't it, with the green and the, the orange. Perfect. So, um, all the other bits and bobs, of course, you need the book for your instructions. From the same book, we have The Mermaid Tail, which was modelled beautifully by Neil earlier on. The blue, which the uh, tail is made out of. You have a metre of each of your fleece and a metre of your cotton. £18.49. Don't forget you'll need your book for all your templates and instructions. And then the one that Jules is working with is the lovely candy floss pink. You've got two metres of your fleece, metre of each and a metre of your grey. I could wear it with my jumper, couldn't I? It goes perfectly. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> uh, right, so obviously these are big template pieces, aren't yes. they? Yes. Well, you create them. Okay. So with fleece, you could just easily cut into it, but yeah. don't because fleece is stretchy and it does like to wiggle. So what I would suggest is do the measurements and make yourself template. Yeah. Um, I did it again in baking paper. I wouldn't suggest greaseproof paper because the things don't stick, hence the pins. So have something <laughs> that actually sticks. So okay. the, the way that you measure it, it's your width across your waist and you add... Um, some wiggle room and then the bottom is uh, I think it's something like 12 inches so you aim for the bottom mm -hmm. you will cut it um, so draw the shape on a rectangle and then if you've got a dressmaker's curve or if you've got a kind of an eye for it you just angle it down so you'll, you'll make it in a half so your rectangle of paper draw can you imagine that's where the rectangle is? Draw the arc, yeah. so starting an end point, and that's the shape that you end up with. Right. And you need two of those. Then, so that's out of your main fabric. So your main fabric could be the light or the dark. It okay. depends on whether you want the light at the bottom or the top. It doesn't yeah. make any difference. It doesn't make any difference. You no, get enough both of both. And then you do the cuff. Now, the cuff is only a rectangle. However, again, because it's slippy and moves, I would cut that rectangle out. So that's your cuff part. And then the final part, this template is in the book. So for the final part, you need to trace out the fishtail. Um, I drew on, because on the diagram it shows you, and I think on the, the photograph you can probably see, that there are some lines that come on to look like a, a fishtail. <gasps> oh, so this is where you could put some of your decorative stitches or... Metallic thread. Metallic threads. Yeah, yeah, any of those sorts of things. But I drew those on my pattern just so I could reference it. And with that, you'll draw half of the pattern. You'll fold over your grey fabric or whatever your end tail fabric is. And then you'll draw, um, you'll cut two out on mm -hmm. the fold. So it will open out. Mm -hmm. You also need to cut out um, two of H640 on the okay. fold. We have H640. Is a metre piece enough? Yeah. 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 And you'll have a few bits and bobs left, but yeah, a piece is enough. Fab. So, just moving on to the tail, just 
so that I showed you what I've done uh, with the H640. So there's the H640, there's your grey, grey, and then the H640. Um, so just kind of press it on uh, and firm it up. Okay, so those are your three main pattern pieces. And literally, you're just sewing everything up together. So I've sewn up, because I knew we were going to be strapped for time, I've sewn up the... It's a lovely the main soft tail. release, isn't it? Lovely. Yeah, it's really nice. So that's your main tail piece. So now I'm going to finish off the cuff. And with the cuff, first of all, what you do is you sew up the sides. So I've sewn one, but I've left the other one pinned just so that I can show you how to sew fleece, which sounds a bit strange. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to pull it around because it will stretch with you. Okay. So you need to keep it as steady as possible. It is slippy, it is bulky. Mm -hmm. It's not difficult to sew, but you just need to deal with it okay. kind of thing. So when I pin fleece, I pin one pin horizontally and one vertically so that as I go along, it doesn't matter if the material's sh shifting because the pin's holding it steady. Yeah. Uh, and what you'll do then is you'll just sew that seam so to complete it. When you're sewing fleece, sew with a zigzag but sew it with a narrow width of stitch and a longer length of stitch. So you've got plenty of give to go with the fabric stretch. So I am doing a... Are you using a normal needle? Yeah. yeah. You can um, use a heavier needle. Uh, I think this is a 12 in here. It might be a 14 actually. Um, you can use a walking foot if you want to. But I know these Elners are going to take it, so I wouldn't even worry, yeah. really. But just check your machine, obviously, because uh, not all machines will do it. But uh, you can use a walking foot if you want to. Uh, so I've got a width of one and a half, but I've got a length of three. Okay. And that should do me. So let's go down. And we've got half an inch seams on this one. So... And because you put the, the pins at opposite directions, it's not shifting. No, that seems to be really behaving itself. I know you said that it can slip and slide a bit, but prep and, and uh, Yeah, and it's all right. Um, the same happens if you're uh, pinning it, uh, sorry, if you're cutting it. Just be careful if you're using a rotary cutter. Okay. Um, you can use a rotary cutter, it's not a problem. But just make sure that you've got a gripper on your ruler, because otherwise that will slip everywhere. There we go, so that's the end of that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fit the cuff to the top. So the cuff is not just this, it's folded over. So what we ah, want to do... So it gives it even more sort of luxury. Yeah. Yeah. And also you don't have to finish the seam at the top. Perfect. You ended up with something that's really nice. So what you want to do is... <laughs> I need to put it the opposite way around, so I'm going to have my fin tail. Let's just get this prepared. The right way around. And then I'm going to get my um, cuff, just fold it along the seam so that it's wrong sides together. So you're making um, effectively a, a kind of border Tune. around it, yeah. yeah. And again, we just want to hold it together. It says just to pin it, but I um, ran a machine based around it just because it's slippy. Pink yeah. is your main graphic. Get three meters of fabric in total, or two meters of your face, one meter of your your grey for your tail. Don't get your H640 and your book. Have we got a, a most popular? Is the pink mermaid tail most popular? Yeah. So what? I don't know that we're going to get we all of it finished. 
So we might just have to pin it and do it. So don't do this at home, baste it. As in, a long stitch, you, it doesn't have to be, a, you can put a five length on there, um, just so it holds these tops together because they will shift if we're not careful. So I'm pinning it and then I'll pin it again onto there, just so that you get the idea of what is going on. So now what you want to do, so you've got a right side here, a right side there. If you imagine that the cuff's got to be at the top, so therefore you've got to turn it over mm -hmm. and the seam's got to be that way. Right. So if you always think the way that it needs to finish up, um, it will keep you right. So here, you have got three layers of fleece. This is where your walking foot might come in handy, yeah. actually. So at home, you would most likely use a walking foot. So just pin this around. If you get um, any kind of bunching up or gathering or whatever, um, you can, if you want to, stretch the bit underneath if it's causing a gather on the top. Okay. Um, but I would try and avoid that if you possibly can. Like you said, lengthening your stitch should help with that anyway, shouldn't it? Yeah. So we're being brave and just, <laughs> just going with the flow. Have you used clips? Do you think clips are going to be good for this? No, no. you need to pin yeah. and slippage. Yeah, definitely you want a pin in there. And the long quilting pins are brilliant because they will manage with all the three layers that you've got there. Are those those clover ones yes, you've got there? Yes, yeah. yeah. I've got nice. the flower heads here, but um, there's some magic pins as well. You could use those. Just while Jorts is pinning, can I show you the metallic thread bundle that we've got? It's got two metallic threads in here, but then the others are like machine embroidery. They've got that really high sheen to them, which are gorgeous. So there's the two that are actual metallic. You've got bobbin threads in here, and then you've got um, rayon viscose, um, really lovely shiny threads. Really nice to work with, those are. Nice. Really nice. They're, they're quite strong threads as well. Which, when you've got a thick fabric, it's quite nice to have a strong thread because you've got confidence in the thread then uh, that it's not going to split. Well, they're designed for ma machine embroidery, so yeah, yeah they're going to be really lovely and strong. Right, okay, so let's see if we can get around this. And then I just want to show you what the tail, uh, how to do the tail. Fab, thank you. Another couple of minutes, Jules. Actually, I'll go straight onto the tail then. So you would sew all the way round there. And so this is basically what that section is going to look like, obviously longer than the, the counter. So that gives you a good idea as to what what's going that on top. at the top. Love it. Then at the bottom, so we've got the tail. You've ironed on your H640. Mm -hmm. You've done the seam all the way round, mm -hmm. left the flat piece at the top open because you've got to turn it. And then I've trimmed all the way round and cut, clipped into the curves, clip into the angles, so that when you turn it through, it's got that nice shape, doesn't it? Yeah, your your the pointy bits at the end just go in and do a fold, a fold, and then push it through because that will give you a better corner. So we we usually do that in a dressmaking um, kind of product, but you can do it on these if you've got a sharp corner. So it's just fold on yourself and fold back around and then yeah. push it through. Nice. And then with your curve, again, take something like your pokey tool, your yeah. stiletto, whatever it is you've got to hand, and give it a good pull around. So you keep that curve, so you create that curve. So that's what the tail's going to look like. Then what you would do is you would transfer your pattern that you've got from, excuse me, behind the curtain, and you would draw on. You've literally got a minute, Jules. <laughs> so you draw on your shape with a pen that might work. There we go. So the top one goes all the way down to the point here, mm -hmm. and then approximately a third down. Like you said, they're actually on the template, aren't yeah. they? That you can follow. So you can. This is where you do your quilting bits. Yes, and you would just. That gives you an idea, but this is where you do it with your metallic thread. I oh, love it. And then that fits on the bottom like that. But obviously, um, it, this is going to be a solid piece just fitting in there. 
Lovely. And then that's your tail. It's all in the instructions, Done. isn't it? So sorry that we're uh, no, that's <laughs> short. Well, uh, I'm sure there's two projects yeah. to get into that one hour, which I think we started a little late, didn't we? But well, no. for some reason, I don't know. I what don't it was. know who it was who was taking up the start of the show, <laughs> wanting to lounge around on the deck. <laughs> Jules, it's been so good to see you again. Yes, Please, thank can we you. not wait another I know, year nine months or whatever. <laughs> um, thank, when are you back? I'm not sure yet. Um, it, I'll post it. I'm not sure Fab. yet. But, thank yeah, you ever soon. so much. And two amazing projects. Don't forget, all of your kits for the toy and your kits for the blanket are on the website. Grab those whilst you can. And there's also pom pom maker, metallic threads, the book, anything that you need is there. Have a look on the break. Um, we're going to get Claire from Native Lighting on as we've got some brilliant lighting solutions for these dark, dull days. Um, all of the best sellers and her favourites are back in stock. So we'll see you in just a few minutes. Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also a plique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Do you love sewing? Are you creative? inspiring and love to share your skills and tips with others. We're excited to announce Sewing Street's Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares and needlecraft to join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good luck! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. 
You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also a plique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Do you love sewing? Are you creative? inspiring and love to share your skills and tips with others. We're excited to announce Sewing Street's Search for a Star 2022. We're looking for talented sewists of all genres. Dressmaking, quilting, homewares and needlecraft to join the Sewing Street family and share their sewing wisdom with our viewers. Live on air. To enter to become our next guest designer, all you have to do is send us a video submission of you introducing yourself and a brief demonstration of some sewing. Send your video to studio at sewingstreet.com with the subject, search for a sewing star. If you have any issues, email us and director Elliot will be sure to help. Please keep your videos under three minutes in length and in landscape. For more information, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Good, Good luck. luck! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us.
Hello, welcome back. Um, sorry about the long break there, but as you can imagine, it is quite a task to, to be able to put all the show together for, for Native Lighting, as we have tried to get as many back on the show ready for today. Um, we don't know we see you, Claire, this at lunchtime. Have you had a nice lie-in this morning? <laughs> yeah, I did. It's nice to drive in not being pitch black. As yeah, well. oh my gosh, you missed the, <laughs> the worst day today. It was literally scraping the inside of Paul's car this morning of, of the ice. Right, sorry that this is cut down a bit shorter because we, um, we've we had a slightly longer break, but we'll try and get through as much as we can. So as we say, we normally see Claire at eight o'clock in the morning, but we're all quite familiar now, I think, with, with her brand and native lighting and, and trying to expand for every sort of need now. So we've got the large task clamps, we have the small portable ones as well. We do. So no matter what craft you're doing, you've now sort of hopefully got a light that's going to suit all needs. Yeah, it's definitely. Brilliant. Yeah, definitely. We've got um, lights for people that obviously work in chairs, people that work at tables with sewing machines. We've got rechargeable ones. We've got portable ones that you can take on a plane. Now we can get to go away again Fab. and go into classes, ones where you can use a power pack if you can't get close to a plug. Um, if you're going on a train, working from home. So, yeah, lots, Perfect, something yeah. for everyone. You have literally covered all bases there. <laughs> so, um, if you've got any questions about any of these lights, please get them in whilst Claire from Native Lighting is here herself. We've got, yeah, you're telling me where we're going, Paul. He's like, right, where on earth do we start? We've got so much going on today. Go on, Paul, where, sorry? Yeah, we're going to start with the Luminas because these are always the ones that we get the most requests for. I've got the desk lamp available today only in black. We also have the floor lights. Oh, sorry. Did you say we've got it in white? The desk one is only in white now, which is the one that... Um, have you got the floor one? Oh, no, he's wrong. He's got both. He's got both. We're fine. <laughs> I thought we had both. Um, right, so the reason I think the Lumina is, is probably the most popular is this amazing gooseneck colour. yeah yeah it's really because to be able to position the light exactly where you need it so depending on when you're where you're working you can just angle that light wherever you are yeah and it bends twists you don't have to worry about bending it and worry that it's going to become sort of like loose after lots of bending it always stays in position what i love is that when you bend it to an angle for example if you're lighting up your sewing machine or you want it to stay there the amount of lights that i've seen that have a similar flexi neck then seem to droop or seem to drop or don't hold in the position that you set it whereas these they stay put claire yeah they do and that's because we've obviously had like a reinforced neck put into these because we we've been told in the past that a lot of people have had problems with these when they say a year or two old right that they don't hold their position and they droop so that's why we've had a reinforced neck put into all of our lights whereas you can see here they are absolutely strong now also the led light all of your lights are led aren't they why yeah. why is that so led are much more cost effective they don't generate any heat um and leds are obviously so much tinier than like a bulb mm -hmm. or, or like a strip light so it means that we can design the much more sleek ergonomic looking lamps where you can use the leds in them brilliant so and they don't last... worry about changing bulbs no, because they last up to 40,000 hours. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> so if you use your lights <laughs> for eight hours a day, that works out about 20, 20 years. Wow. So you'll probably want to change the style or the design, I think, before it actually stops working. And um, the, the desk one, because we've got the floor light as well, but this one, um, suitable for going on any sort of thickness of desk. These are quite thick desks here, aren't yeah. they? And they sit on perfectly. Yeah, so they go down to as small as um, a centimetre. So right. you can clamp onto like a, a really small glass table if you needed to. In and fact, then, we've done that before, haven't yes, we? we have, and they've got yeah. pads underneath, so they're not going to damage any of your tables either. No. And then they'll open to six centimetres, so you've got like a quite a big variance there where you, you can you can do that with as well. Brilliant. So the keypad on the front here has got um, the power. Uh, switch there you can see power on off it's just a touch button you've then also got color and brightness yeah so the color button gives you five different colors so you've got daylight warm light and cool light and then a couple other ones in between so five different colors yeah so five different colors color temperatures and if you're working with colors or you're matching or you're doing something very fine you need the daylight setting okay which 
is very good for working with colours. So if you're looking at colours and you need to make sure they match up. Yeah. So the daylight setting gives you the same type of light as if you were out at midday on, on a sunny day. And then each colour temperature also has five different brightnesses. Yes, yeah, that's right. So you can literally flick through them and find the right light for you. We've had lots of questions in before asking, right, what colour light do I need for this and what brightness do I need? Whereas actually, it's good to be able to play around in, in your yeah. own home and find the right light that works for you. Yeah, because a lot of people sometimes find just daylight on the brightest setting a little bit harsh. Okay. Depending, some people may have some eye conditions and then that's why it's such a good light because people can find the light that works the best for them. So you've got 25 choices yeah. of colours. And I suppose as well, it depends on what time of year it is. At the moment, yesterday, I had my my lamps on like all day yesterday. It was so gloomy yeah. and grey. Whereas depending on different times of year, you might need a different brightness or different times of day. Does this one plug into my mains? Yes, it's mains operated, this one. Fantastic. £95.99 pence, or available on three split payments. Your main graphic at the moment is for black, also comes available in white. And, oh, talk me through this picture that's on the so screen. So here, this is the, the, the lamp on the same settings. And so one's on warm and one's on daylight. So it's just showing you the difference of the colours. Um, so obviously this piece of material is sort of like a turquoisey blue, but when you put it's just you can see as you take it away there it was the same piece of material and it's happening here as well where you can see on the warm light that the material goes to like an orangey oh, pink so rather different. than the normal orange i didn't realize how important it was to have the right light when you're color matching yeah it sounds so obvious doesn't it but actually i don't think especially this time of year when you think right it's actually really important to have the right light when you're crafting not only like you said to make sure that you're not straining your eyes yeah but also to make sure you've got the accuracy and the end results that you want absolutely love this lumina light i can put it i can put it wherever i need it the amount of adjustable light shades is great everyone needs one says laurie uh, okay. thank you for your message laurie that's a lovely message so this is the the desk lamp we also have the floor lamp version now this again comes in the two different colors now i'm going to be careful of the uh, the lights up here but i just want to show you how streamlined this is it's got a really lovely flat sort of uh, disc base so this can sort of be positioned i'm thinking like in your lounge behind a sofa it's not going to take up no. loads of room like floor lights often can no and with having the, the relatively very flat base that will go under most sofas yeah. as well so it can be tucked underneath the sofa and the floor lamp's ideal if sometimes you work in a chair and sometimes you work at a table. Yeah. Because it's so light and compact, you can just move it from room to room. Right. And so that's what I'd choose if you sometimes work at a table and sometimes sit in a chair. I think this well. is one that John Scott actually owns, it isn't is, it? And he yes. absolutely loves it. I mean, you can see here, once again, I'm going to put it back on the floor, but it's got a great height and also the gooseneck. The gooseneck Just as like well. what we saw with the desk lamp. So it's got the full LED light with all of the same light settings, what we were talking about, five different colours for each colour temperature, five different brightnesses. Um, if we bring the lights down, you can see, I think this would be a really lovely reading light as well. Look, you can see how focused this light is without yeah. spilling all over the rest of the room. That's an ideal thing as well if you sort of share the room with a partner and they complain that your light's glaring at the television. Yeah. So you can angle it so that it doesn't interfere with the television and you can just obviously have the light on your project that you're working on as I mean, well. That's brilliant, isn't it? And once again, you can change the brightness. I mean, this is the, the brightest setting at the moment, but if I change, if I just press this with the... Uh, the brightness button you've got five different brightnesses and five different colors as well look at how different they are it changes it completely doesn't it the cool lights the warm lights the mixed light um, and each color has the uh, the five different brightnesses as well plus the touch button and i believe this one comes with a remote control yeah. am i right yeah they do they all come with it they all come with the remote control so i've got the white one here just if people wanted to sort of have a look at the white one Brilliant. so exactly the same as you can see you've got the flexibility ideal to to put it there if obviously you you want to just have the light on your on your own um on your own work that you're working on so they all come with a remote control white one with a white one black one with a black one mm -hmm. it does all the same things as on the control panel but you get a few extra things as well so you get a 60 second timer you get a 10 minute timer 
Um, and so if like you think, right, only 10 more minutes, set the timer and then the light will go off when it's time to go to bed or finish. And then you get some uh, a, a moon on here, which is like a night light, which just puts a glow around the outside of it. Then you've got a plus and a minus for the brightness, plus and the minus for the color, and a 20 and a 50 and 100% for the brightness as well. So just obviously you can use the control or you can use this as well. Brilliant. So they come both with the desk lamps and the floor, and the floor. Lumina lights. Yeah. Fantastic. Now this is also on split pay, three split payments of 38.99. Everything this hour is on split pay definitely worth making the most of that interest free option just 38.99 on split pay we had a lovely message on the screen then from glennis sorry i just missed it um it should come back on the screen now hi girls love these type of lamps i need to vary the light color depending on the colors i'm working with when i'm cross stitching yeah exactly yeah, perfect for that and i suppose having years and years of experience in the lighting industry working at craft shows yeah you had a lot of people coming up to you saying right i could do with this actually from a light so you gain all of that almost like um consumer uh research of, of what everybody needs from lights especially in craft yeah and that's important. really where we introduced the gooseneck because one yeah. of the biggest things was that people said we can't get the light where we need it so that's why it's the only ones on the market with the length of gooseneck like this to be able to obviously position it exactly where you need it. Fantastic. Um, so that's the floor and the desk. They're both available in white or black and it is just dependent on your decor I suppose isn't it. I do love the black. I think they're really sleek especially if you're using them in your living room. It depends on your decor though. You might want to go all white but I love that. Okay speaking of love my absolute favourite you've got over there is your reverse light. It's the one that I own. I use it for Maisie's nursery. <laughs> I think this is potentially one of your most um, controversial yet brave <laughs> this might be your your most versatile light actually because you can use this for not just crafting now we're going further you could use yeah. this for camping you could use this as i say in my, my little girl's nursery yeah there's so many uses for this um i mean you can use it as a craft light because it does give out good good daylight when it's on the daylight setting um you can use them in the garden so that you don't have to have candles in oh, the they're evening really light, yeah aren't they? they're really lightweight yeah um if you're like you say if you're camping walking to the toilet with the little handle that you get with it as well so you've got a little handle on the top here have we charged ours uh, hopefully <laughs> we'll soon find out Oh uh, yes, so we have. Do you know what? Go. You always say conservatively that it's got about eight hours on um, lower light and four hours on full light. Whereas yes. actually, I've found that I could go nights and not need to charge mine. So yeah, I love it. In fact, Derek's just put a fun lamp to have around. Very soothing light when required. Very bright when needed. Yeah. So you've got obviously. So on this at the moment, we've got it on this side, and this way you've got the warm light. Mm -hmm. But if you turn it around, um, it then will change to daylight. Wow. So you can see it doesn't always show that well when we, when we've got it on on the screen. But um, we're just dimming the lights a bit, I think, to see if maybe we can see see the change now. Laura said when using sewing, it's brilliant for the daylight. But then she says she u uses um, it for camping and outdoor yeah. with that warm light as well. And I, if you get a power cut then you know you don't have to light the candles now just just obviously keep this charged up and then you Good can idea. just put it, pick it up and then obviously switch it on does it have different brightness well i know it does yeah show us the brightness level so you just run well. your finger along along the top and then that obviously takes it right down to, to, to the lowest to the lowest level so that's on that setting and if we turn it round on, on the daylight and then run it back down again so you can see it obviously going down and then going back up oh, again I on there. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I think it fits in, it's very streamlined. It fits in with all of your, you know, like your, your Hey Google or Alexis, yeah. the, the towers that you have at home. Um, it looks really sort of swish, doesn't it? And if you lay it on its side, you get half and half. You get half white and half, obviously, warm light as well. So a lot of people just love playing with it, really. Just keep twisting it round to see the colours change. Absolutely. So. It's really lovely um, bedside light. Or as Derek said, actually, it gives off a really soothing sort of ambience. And especially this sort of time of year, I think if you've got particular, we've just had, I've lived for three or four months now with no blinds and we've just had our blinds fitted and I've realised oh my word it's so dark in every yeah. room now <laughs> yeah. so just having this light on just gives it a really lovely feel to the room like you said Derek it's very soothing um, yet adds great light to it to any room or any space 63.99 three split payments of 21.33 
I personally can't recommend that light enough. If you haven't yet dipped your toe into native lighting, this is a brilliant one to go with. Message come through. Uh, I got the desk lamp for my dad for Christmas. He is 85 and still does his woodwork and model making. What an amazing man, he <laughs> loves this lamp. Oh, thank you for your message, Kletcher in Merseyside. I'm pleased he loves it. But yeah, anybody who's doing things in the garage, maybe actually, who doesn't have power in the garage and needs something rechargeable, it's perfect. Uh, hi, Simone. Hi, Claire and Vicky. Happy New Year. So it's not too late to say Happy New Year. It's the 12th <laughs> and it's not too late, Simone. They were telling me off earlier for saying Happy New Year to Jules. Uh, I got the magnifying desk lamp. One for me and one for for my dad, another one who's 93, it's fabulous. Oh, I love this, everybody <laughs> getting it for their family. So Simone, the magnifying desk lamp. Um, would it be this one, this one, which Don't one is it, do you think? Don't think we've got that one out today, the magnifying desk lamp. We've got one where it's actually on, on a base that sits on the desk. But right. I think it's on the website. Brilliant. Um, but it's, it, uh, it's not on the show today. Um, we could do the clip on magnifying yeah. light, which I've got here. And this one, again, has got a really good extendable reach across. So if you're doing things like cross stitch, I know a lot of people were talking about doing embroidery and hand sewing, you have got your magnifying glass on this one. That's called the Chameleon Mini USB lamp. You got it? Yeah. Brilliant, he's got it. <laughs> yeah. The Chameleon USB, so this obviously can plug into your sewing yeah. machine. Yeah, so this one comes with a mains plug, but you also get the USB connection with it. So you can put it into um, a sewing machine, you can put it into a battery pack, you can put it into a computer, a laptop, so lots of lots of different different things you can you can power that with. And as this well. doesn't only have a magnifying; it also has. Let me plug it in so you can see that it also has the uh, the ring light as well. There you go. Yeah. So that's again. So you've got your controls on the on the little cable there. So yeah. you've got um, one control which is for the different colours. It's got warm daylight and cool light. There you go. Can we load the lights again, please, Joe? No problemo. There we go. I'm going through Daylight, the different lights. Warm light, cool light. And then you've got three brightness. So the other button is the brightness on each colour. So you've got three brightnesses on each colour of that as well. So there's plus and minuses again to yeah. go through, changing the, the brightnesses of each colour. So that's one colour. Let's go to the next one. I can dim it down. I can brighten it up. This is so cool. Joe, you're very good at this lighting thing. Elliot needs to take notes. <laughs> It's so good to show. So each colour temperature has all of the different brightnesses as well. I think five yeah. brightnesses on each one. Um, and oh look, hang on, another shot. He wants to see the different colours from afar. Just to show the difference if I'm changing the brightnesses again. Um, but it is very, very useful if you are working on embroidery or even you know painting your nails things like that or I even this art, is really yeah. artists use them as well and it's got a 1.75 times magnification a 1.75 yeah. times magnification fantastic it's still got that lovely long arm and you can uh, turn the the magnifying lamp obviously i've got it facing you at the moment at home but obviously you can twist it around however you want to to face uh, face your project we've got another message come on screen postman has just delivered the native lighting task lab or oh, we'll do that very soon by the way fiona uh, for anybody who who wants to see fiona's lamp this will make this will be in my sewing room this afternoon ready for my fantasy doll making oh very exciting mm, yeah um, the task lamp is another amazing one but if you do want the the chameleon magnifier 137.99 or, or available on three split payments oh no it's the wrong one wrong price yeah. you've got the wrong you've got the wrong graphics and i think they're paul i think it's 95 that one this is the chameleon mini usb chameleon mini usb this one's called which one's the chameleon then? The big one. Oh, the big one! Mm. Right, so this one is actually under £100. He's going to bring the graphics live for this one. There you go. This one today. This is the mini chameleon USB, please, Paul. As you can imagine, there are a lot of lights on his <laughs> system that we just want to make sure that we're getting the right graphics in for you. Sorry about that. I should have noticed that sooner. Um, there it is. We've got it. So it comes again in black or yeah. white. I think you've got the black one there. Um, the, the main graphic at the moment is for white. Um, and right next to you here, Claire, we've got the, the black, which we can show you again. And that can 
swing all the way left to right. It can all work, so extend forward and back. Um, so it's really nice to be able to put in and out, um, out of the way. Look at how far that reaches across the desk as well. Modelling beautifully there. Thank you very much. <laughs> back and forth. Ninety-five pounds and ninety-nine pence. Now all of these come Claire with a warranty as well. Three. They years. do. Yeah, everything's um, guaranteed for two years. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, so that comes through Native Lighting. Um, our split payment, our post and packaging of just £3.95, even if you're getting the larger task lamps as well. Um, so that, just to clarify, is the mini USB desk magnifier. The one that we had the other graphic in for was the large task lamp, which has a really big magnifier on. So yeah. who do you find that, um, that uses the, the larger? The really large one. So maybe people that want to be able to see through a bigger area, so maybe that they're using it for reading and reading a newspaper and want to be able to see a bigger part before they have to keep moving it. Yeah. A lot of um, people that work on big quilts use this one. Um, with the cover as well. Yeah, comes the so the cover comes off, and that's mainly because of the reach um, that we've got on here as well, because it has such a long reach. So if you're working on a big quilt, you can swing swing it around that Ow. table if you're working on that as well. So that's that's ideal for that. So it, once you've, you've switched it on, you've got your on button up here. Then again, we've got the three different colours as well on this one. We've got daylight, we've got warm light, and we've got cool light on that one. And again, we've got three brightness levels on each colour. So majority of the native lamps have got at least three colours. There's a few that only have daylight, yeah, because obviously daylight is the really important one. So, But the majority of them have at least three colours. Mm -hmm. um, just because obviously we are talking before about people having the different colours and being able to use the different colours yeah. for what they need as well, really. So again, this big magnifier has got 1.75 times magnification. Yeah. The magnifiers, are, they're glass lenses okay. um, rather than the plastic. They do tend sometimes to do plastic lenses out there, but we just find that the clarity is a lot better with glass. So our lenses are glass in Brilliant. our magnifiers. Uh, so that's the, the larger one, it's 137.99 or 45.99 on split pay. There you can see it on the, uh, the and is this a mains operated one? Yes, that one's mains operated. Fantastic, and that is clamp, uh, a clamp to your desk again, which is so useful to have. Right, can we do please the task clamps? Um, our John Scott's absolute favourite, if you've seen him uh, showing these. So, oh, in fact, actually, right, I'm saying the task lamp. What's this one called? So that's just the standard task lamp that oh. you've got there. And this one is, the, is the, task, the wide task lamp because this is quite a bit wider. Okay. Is there one in particular that you want to show? Probably the wide. This, yeah, probably yeah, the wide one. Yeah, let's do the one. wide one because this yeah. is the one that I was talking about with John Scott absolutely loving this. Yeah. And it's the only one that's got the auto uh, Yes, it's got setting. the auto feature on it, this one. So this one is a really good lamp if you are working on a sewing machine, if you're at Brilliant. a desk. Um, it's got a really flexible neck, so you can lift it up, you can, you can twist it round. You can, tw you, you can angle it pretty much wherever you want to angle it, really. And then you've got your controls here. So you've got your on button. And again, this one's got five different colours. This one's not on. Oh, sorry, we get you plugged in. The, uh, there's a really lovely photograph as well of mm -hmm. um, this one behind uh, a laptop being used in an office, actually. I don't know if you've got any of the shots on your um, computer there, Joe, or not. No, he hasn't. Oh. <laughs> okay. Right, so we've got, um, it's on the lowest brightness there, so just bring that back up. So again, I don't know if you can see the different uh, colours. Oh, there we go, we're on. Yeah. We can lower the lights down potentially to see it. Thank you. No, we're on. There yeah. we go. Okay. <laughs> so we've got the different colours there. So we've got the warm light, daylight and cool light. And that's just a touch sensitive button on the front. Yeah. And then you've got different brightnesses to obviously dim it right down and then go back up again. Down to that. It's got a timer as well, which is a 50, 50 second timer on this one. And then we've got the auto feature, which is what's is the, yes. the, the amazing thing about this lamp. So 
what it does is it picks up what the light is in the room that you're in so as the day and the light changes in the room so does it sort of works like what they call centric lighting which goes with the body um, and, and the light of the day so depending on what light it thinks you need in the room it adjusts oh, as, so as the clever. day as, as the day goes on um, so all you do is you just keep the auto button on and then it'll, if you don't want to use that you just don't put the auto button on but it is really good because you don't realize how the lights changing what you're working in yeah. um, and then it, this keeps it sort of like static so that you stay at the same light and then particularly obviously if you're working with colors and things like that then it, it's always kept you at the same light while you're working oh that's such an amazing feature isn't it that's the only lamp that we we've got on the show in the fact the only one that native lighting currently bring that has that auto button it is everything this hour on split pay to make it really accessible uh, it's so lovely hearing all the messages of people who are receiving their native lighting um products today let us know your feedback as well i'm sure claire would love to hear from you and send in your reviews um we also have the task lamp in black so what changes with the black one because it, does it still have the aluminium no so no the, no with the black one the whole thing is black so you obviously have the silicone neck yeah um in, in black but also the uh, this part of it the pole and and the top bit is all black whereas with the white one you've got silver across the top and then the silver pole and then obviously the head and the silicone and the clamp is white and so this again plugs into your to the mains. mains yeah and this one is quite a different clamp to to all the other lamps as well so if you don't want to necessarily um, clamp this to your table because you haven't got enough room you can actually clamp this one to the wall so you've got that panel on the back there with the with the screw holes in here so you could actually clamp it directly onto the wall i'm thinking if you clamp it onto a wall then you've got a de desk in front with your laptop and your office set up that will then just come fit over nicely over yeah. the back or if you've got a sewing desk that you've got lots of lots of things or even like a craft desk where people have lots of pens and mm -hmm. things and things like that so anything really um, if you just don't want it on the desk but it's perfectly fine on the desk and it's got a really wide opening as well this one's about eight to nine centimeters so this one's really deep brilliant clamp on this on one. a really nice big thick desk if you've got a good workbench maybe 39.99 on split pay today that's three interest free also yeah three interest free uh, interest free um, what's the word payments 119 pounds 99 and it is also with our post and packaging. Is this one that comes from you, Claire? Yes, it yeah. does. So anybody who's ordered from Sewing Street today, your order might come, well, it will come separately. Your Sewing Street um, will come and also your lights will come from Claire, but it's still all compiled under the same P&P of £3.95. We've got new buyers in this hour. <laughs> oh, it's so good. We've had loads of new bidders today. It's been brilliant to see new buyers in. And especially, look, if we're doing, um, if we're thinking about New Year, new hobby obviously we still got to think more this sort of time of year about yeah. what light we are working in yeah and it makes such a difference having the right light doesn't it on your oh it does product. I mean I think people don't realize until they actually get a good light what, what a difference it's made and how much maybe they've been struggling yeah so and thinking oh I can't do this for much longer because my eyes hurt but also a lot of people have given up crafts that they love mm -hmm. because they think they can't see anymore yeah um, and it's a case of just get a good light and then if you still think you need a little bit more help then get a magnifier and yeah. then you can still carry on so many ladies that I've seen at the exhibitions have said since they've had a light they've been able to carry on crafting which is what we all want well look we've had these messages come through of, of gents who are in their 80s and yeah. 90s who yeah. are still working and still crafting yeah. and I suppose the light does really help that especially ones like you said that, that have got magnifying glasses on now we've talked about the ones that you have sort of static in your home or your craft room Fingers crossed, for a new year, I'm really looking forward to going on holiday yeah. this year. And hopefully, you know, we're able to go back to workshops and craft fairs and things like that. So we've also got some portable lights, yes. haven't we? Yes, yeah, we have. So which one should we go with first? Should we go with the mini, the mini clip-on? Yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that one. Oh yeah, we've got to do those as well. They're yeah. relatively new, aren't they? Yeah. I've seen them. Okay, so this is the mini clip-on one. So this is a little lamp that you can either just stand like that on on its base, or you can clamp it onto something. So ideal to clamp onto a headboard, onto a book, a stitching frame, anything that it is is obviously where you can obviously go underneath that position there. So you've got a little on button at the side here. 
and you've got the little port here where you, you charge it. So you put it, charge it up and then you mm -hmm. put your little on button on there. And this again has got, this does need charging, I think, because it's not as bright as it normally is. But you've got the different lights. You've got the warm light, cool light and the daylight setting on there. And then you just, whichever setting you're on, you just keep your finger on it and then it dims right down and then take it off and then it'll go back up to the, the bright to the full brightness as okay well. which one this, is this called in our graphics just so we can find mini clip-on lamp um just seeing if we've got it i know that you've spoken to our team recently to yeah. try and get more stock in so we'll see if we can get it before the end of the hour but at the moment it's not loaded into our system so we'll, we'll come back to that one if that's okay, okay that's fine um <laughs> yeah we'll come back to it uh we've got a wide clip-on with a magnifier yeah, um, that one wasn't on, on today, I don't no, think. But, no, um, maybe those two have got switched yeah. around by, um, by some means. But it, we've got the graphics for it, so we'll load them. Have a look on, on our website or on Claire's website, and you can see all the features and functions. This is what it looks like. So it's very similar in terms of size, but it just has the, the magnifier as well. Is that correct? Yeah, that one, the clamp's a bit bigger on that one, and that's only daylight setting on okay. that one. That one, I don't think this one's on the website at the moment, but the magnifier one is on the website at the moment. Right, okay, thank you. £31.99 pence for that one. It just has the one one light setting. Um, I got the slim, a, a slim clamp desk in black for Christmas, and it's brilliant. Not only does it help in the dark winter nights, it helps, not only does it help in the dark winter nights if I'm knitting. Oh, I think there's going to be more on that message, Joanna. We didn't get it all. <laughs> uh, but yes perfect for winter nights when you're knitting and you just need if you're doing a bit of sociable sewing someone's watching the television you don't want to put the big main lights on yeah. you can just have your own personal light that you're not intruding on other people but you're still being social yeah nice. exactly so the one that joanna was just talking about is this one oh, so fantastic. this is the slim lamp clamp and got um, it got that one <laughs> So this one again is is really really flexible. John loves this one as well, and John's friend Dulcie has this. Oh, she does talks, she? Yeah, she talks. He talks about. She says she loves this. Um, so again, this one's really flexible with the gooseneck. This one's USB powered. This has got a different style clamp to a lot of the others. So it's a spring clamp. This one. So again, you can see the push the cushion pads on there for protecting any furniture. And it's a really sturdy spring clamp, which you just clamp on like that. You talked about the USB. What's the benefit of having a USB plug? So a USB means it's portable. Okay. So you can be using it without being plugged into the mains. Right. So obviously you can have it into a power pack. Yeah. Or you can have it into your laptop or anything like a, a plug. Obviously that doesn't make it portable, but that's how you can charge it as well, having that, that type of plug. The majority of us have probably got these plugs, haven't we? If you've got any of your smartphones, they all sort of come with plugs like that. And um, lots of, I know, newer houses as well, sometimes have the ones that you literally can just plug your USB yeah. straight into the wall. Some newer sewing machines have got USB ports in the yeah. sewing machine, so you could plug it directly into that and light up your, your machine. Yeah, I mean, this is a brilliant one for, for sewing machines. So to, talk, to put it on, you just tap it on the end there. Oh, how streamlined and cool is that? And a lot of people have it, and then they wrap it literally around their sewing machine like that. So they can yeah. either have it from the front or they'll have it from, from behind. It also dims as well, so you just keep your finger on the end and then that dims right down and then take it off and then that'll go back up to the full brightness as well. Oh, Lisa said, I got this lamp for Christmas with some money I was given. I love it. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, it's lovely to hear people have had them for Christmas yeah. presents and they're really enjoying them. Do you know what I like, though? People as well were given money for Christmas and they've chosen to go for this one. Yeah. So they, they've got the money and they think, right, I could get anything I want, and they've chosen to go for this lamp. I do think that's ideal for um, people who are working from home and potentially... I mean, my sister, she is literally the foreseeable now. I don't yeah. even know if she'll go back into the office. And for Christmas, she said she really could do with a good light yeah. um, because the glare on the laptop and things like that. But this one, she hasn't got very much space. So this one's ideal that it, it's not going to intrude it. on yeah. your office space, but still give you the quality. Yeah, the so light. I use one of these over my laptop. But anybody that has had one for Christmas and would like to send some pictures in of them using it, we'd love to have them and we'll put them on our, on our socials and, and oh, show people you using them as well yes please send any photos uh, not only this is the rest of the message from Joanna not only does it help with my knitting with dark wool but I also use it for finishing my project absolutely and then there's so many people that are probably saying right I'll have, I'm gonna finish that in the in the summer when I can see better or I'll come back to that but actually 
probably more likely yeah. to, to enjoy your crafting for longer, yes, aren't yes, you? Yes, exactly. Um, this one is, I think, one that's in the gallery, actually, isn't it? I think this is the one that Kat uses when in the we're gallery. Not, when we've not stolen it. <laughs> yeah, at the moment you're in the dark in there, Paul. I can just about see you. Um, so this is available in white. I think we also have availability in black yeah. today. Just checking is that one is very limited. I think there's now only three of them. So if you're umming and ahhing about it, there is only three available also in black. And that is exactly the same principle. Exactly the same. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to have these for a while, probably for a couple of months. So if you were thinking about <gasps> getting one of these, get it today. Oh, no. <laughs> right, if you want one, you've got to be quick because these are very, very limited. And this has got exactly the same as your Lumina. Yeah, the Really gooseneck. flexible gooseneck, but very slim. Yeah. Still has all of the different colour, uh, the brightness setting. Yeah, just not that, that one's just daylight, that one. Fantastic. 49 nine ten, which is actually probably the most useful for crafting. Yeah. You said you're going to need the daylight setting. Yes, that's why all of our lamps have at least the daylight setting. Um, and then obviously a lot of them do have three or five colours as well. Brilliant. Uh, 49.99, three split payments of just £16.66. and pence. What a great way of getting it home and enjoying your crafting before the spring. You know, you can get on with all of those projects that you wanted to. Um, and I think it's so important as we're in January that it's always, I always just feel slightly more sort of Glum is probably the word. It's just miserable weather outside, Christmas is out of the way, and it's just nice to do, think about your knitting, your crochet, all your, your mindfulness and things like this. And I think crafting makes such a big difference yeah. on, on your actual emotional well-being. I yeah. personally do. So being able to do it for longer because of the lights that you have, yeah. it's always going to benefit, isn't it? Um, okay, can we do the what these ones, please? Now, these... Uh, these are fold down lamps. Uh, I've got it in black and available in white. We're talking about going away, going to, to fingers crossed, going to um, uh, workshops and uh, and workshop, workshops and what am I thinking? Classes. If you're going to uh, if you're going to a hotel, they notoriously have bad lighting, don't they? Yeah. So this one packs right down flat into your suitcase, maybe even onto a. I'm saying onto a plane, but this just plugs in, doesn't it, to your mind? Yeah, so, so you, you can't probably... obviously use that one while yeah. you're on a plane, but if you want to take it with you yeah. to be able to use in the hotel, yeah, that's a mains operated one. Right, let's plug through. So you've got your odd off, which is, again, your touch setting on the uh, on the base, and then we also have, again, different colours. Yeah, so again, warm, cool and daylight. Three different colours. We'll bring those lights down. And we also have your different brightnesses for oh sorry i'm doing it very quickly aren't i strobe <laughs> <laughs> so you have the three different brightnesses for each setting as well um, it, it is lovely actually as a bedside lamp isn't yeah, it? yeah because you can obviously angle it as well so you can angle it down angle it up and, and, and across so depending on how how you want to have that um, just forty five ninety nine. Sorry, we're getting lots of messages in, a lot of requests for things. If there's anything that you want to see in the next ten minutes, let us know. Uh, we also do have it available in white. Uh, there was a message that came on the screen. Sorry, and I didn't get a chance to read it. It disappeared. We'll bring it back on. Uh, then this is in white. Oh, thank you. I got the ring light from you, Claire, after you said in the demonstration about using it in your office. It's been a, the best investment after my sewing machine, says Andrea. Oh, I'm really pleased about that. Yeah, I find that it just makes the room feel so much nicer. I like that use it just to light the room up when it just feels a little bit dull. And oh, that's exactly how I feel about the reverse. That yeah. gives off a really lovely ambient sort of glow and you would think oh is it, is it going to be quite glary when it's full lights round same with the ring light and it's not yeah no not at all it's really lovely both of them great lights thank you for your message so again this has got a sort of a two arrows switching around which you've got three different lights each light has got different brightness settings Again, full LED, so it's not giving off any heat whatsoever. You don't need to uh, change any bulbs with it. And it will flatten down. Let me turn it off. And it will flatten down, flap down, straight down, and then that packs down away. It's really nice and yeah, lightweight as well. Really lightweight as well. So like I say, ideal if you're staying in a hotel. 
Um, if you're going to visit one of the craft shows and you're staying overnight and you want to do a little bit of crafting, then it's like ideal. Absolutely, and I do like the flexibility that you have got um, that extending arm. So if you do need to reach the light across, maybe for reading uh, at night, you have got that possibility as well. Forty-five pounds and ninety-nine pence, or available on split pay at fifteen pounds and thirty-three pence. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Now I don't know whether we've virtually gone through each one. Um, three more. Go on. I've That's got this task lamp here. Yeah. Fantastic. I love how smooth this is. This is really nice and lightweight. You think when you see it, oh, is it quite um, heavy and clunky? And it's not no. at all, is it? It's really nice and smooth. So, so this, this is our brightest lamp in the range. This one is really, really bright, really high lumens on this one. There you go. So we can increase the brightness. That wasn't even at the brightest. Oh my gosh, this goes really bright. Yeah. How many different brightness settings have we got here? This isn't actually bright. So this is um, a, what they call a continuous dimmer. So you'd keep your finger on and it just dims down and then you, you'd obviously brighten it back up. There you go. If I hold it on the, that's gone right down to the, the and then it's going back up to the brightest setting. And another brilliant one to be able to light up all of your work desk. I mean, yeah, you can see how bright that is. Yeah. It also extends right out. Yeah, it's got a really long reach on it. Um, a lot of people use it for photography. Um, you can also adjust the wing nut and position it horizontally, laterally. <gasps> so you can position it like oh, lots of different ways as, oh, as, as well. Oh yeah, if you want to light something up yeah. like that. Or like you've got a dressmaker's dummy and you want to light that or a, a canvas or you're painting and a, a big light against that. Photography, so, yeah. this is perfect. Isn't yeah. It? And it does have a really, really smooth, look at that, really lovely smooth and long reach. Available on split pay at $29.99 and that swings all the way around. Even though it's cl it clamped onto the desk here, it's still got a really, lovely uh, smooth motion when uh, when swinging it from left to right 89.99 or available on split pay 29.99 one of my favorites absolutely does this come in black it does Claire? yeah got it in black as well uh, haven't got it physically here but you can see uh, you can see it's exactly the same but just in black 89.99 is your main graphic there you go the photograph so you can see what it looks like Oh, that is fab. I really like I don't think I've seen this one on air before. Have you not? No. First time for me. Mm. And that's another really lovely one to light up all of your sewing space. Okay. There's another couple that or one more that we haven't done. White LED desk lamp. Not here. Well, it's over there. Over there, we'll yeah. go and grab it maybe. Yeah. Right, you, let's have a look. So, it's is a it, little one. This one? No, not that one. It's a, li it's a little square base. No. <laughs> I'll have a look on screen and see what I'm looking for. There, yeah. Right, so uh, we could do it from the graphics or do it yeah. from the, uh, the picture if needs be. 23.99. So, talk me through the features of this one, Claire. So, this is a little USB powered lamp as well. So, it's a really bright spotlight, this one. So, this one is ideal if, again, you can take this on a plane because you can use a battery pack with this. Um, if you use it with a laptop, that's ideal as well. So just a little laptop to, to have a spotlight over the laptop. And it's quite good for people that are studying as well because it's just ideal to have, in, it's nice and small and able to pack away when you're mm -hmm. not using it as well. But the spotlight on this is really very bright. It's, um, it gives you daylight on this one as well. How affordable is this? Twenty three ninety yeah. nine LED light, seven pound ninety nine on split pay. It's got that really lovely flexible gooseneck as well. Thank you, Joe. We got it. We found it just in time to save the day, Joe. You are a good egg. Thank you very much. I will plug us in. But this again has got a really lovely, sturdy, flexible Goose neck. Hasn't yeah. It? Yeah, and it's an, a nice little bedside one as well because you can, if you're reading, you can angle the spotlight onto your books as well. So, 
there you go lovely bright spotlight 23.99 oh it was like seamless telly then wasn't it <laughs> has got the on and off switch on the base um you can see there that, that, that it has got that really flexible neck and it holds in position so if you are reading for example and you need it to stay there it's not going to wilt it's not going to droop it's not going to move out of position and what a great way to try out native lighting if you're watching maybe for the first time seeing claire i know she's normally here early in the morning um, so it's really good to try her products out as they're all fantastic quality no matter what your price budget is yeah 23.99 get all your messages in as well and send your photographs to claire of your your lights in action yeah because like you say you'll share them on social we will share them on social so we love to see the see people using them and what they use them for so yeah if you've got some pictures and you had one for christmas please send them to us on our socials brilliant have a look back through on the website obviously we've covered the the larger task lamps the lumina the desk the floor lamps the the, the fold away ones the clip on ones the usb ports as we said at the start of the show there is literally something for every need we've covered all bases with with uh, native lighting Thank you so, so much. Thank you. I know it's been a quick pit stop through everything, <laughs> but you're always available to talk to anybody yeah. on social media. We can find you on Native Lighting's Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, or on the website. Send any, any help or advice that you need. If you're thinking about buying a lamp and you don't know what one to get, then let me know what it is you're going to be doing and, and where you do it, and then we'll help you advise what's the best light for you. Oh, thank you ever so much. Do you know when you're back on with us, Claire? I think I'm back on the 4th of Feb. 4th of Feb and yeah. what we're going to try and do is do it in the morning so if you if you have watched um, the show for the first time with Claire definitely set your alarm bright and early because we're going to try and do it at 8am the reason being because as you can imagine it's quite chaotic at 11 o'clock to um, to change the set over so we hope <laughs> to see you at 8. Um, right tomorrow's show we've got lovely Adam Brooks here and we've got a new fabric launch the Boho Blooms that sounds interesting tomorrow at 8 o'clock Lovely Adam Brooks is going to be here from the Great British Sewing Bit at 9 o'clock with the Salt Dean dress. Tools and patterns, dressmaking related at 10 o'clock. 11, we've got a zipped jacket. And at 12 o'clock, sewing machines and adjuster forms back. I haven't seen an adjuster form show for ages. New Year, new craft, dressmaking tomorrow. Um, do make sure you join. Is it John tomorrow? I always just presume it's John. He's here all the time. He lives here, doesn't he? My friend Tom watches all the time. He's like, it's John again today, Vic. John again. He's here again. So John's back with you bright and early tomorrow. I am back on... I don't know when I'm back. I'll see you next week at some point. Sunday. I'll see you on Sunday. Enjoy the rest of the week and I'll see you at the weekend. John will join you bright and early at 8am. Bye.